Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I know my hair's grown, it's too long, having to go to the barbers on Monday. And you know the detour through Studley this morning? It took me up, round, I went round that funny roundabout where the slough is, round, down. Oh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, I'm glad to be here. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy weekend, it's Friday. Uh, shall we start with today's early bird? Tweet, tweet. Stuart's just messaged me. He's at home doing feeding. There's a, they've got a home lamb or an indoor lamb or something. And I went, oh, how cute. And he went, not at two o'clock this morning when it was hungry. Anyway, look at today's early bird. Ideal for the coming uh, celebrations on May the 6th. You know what? Because soon we'll have to stop saying that, won't we? Because today's full of gorgeous coronation stuff. But very soon after that, we will have to stop. Right, there is an issue, Ben, with your microphone because I can't hear you at all now. £11.37. pence. Oh, he's getting up. Not today, not today. You get half me to reach, half me to white, half me to the blue. Oh, 7.99. Roy, don't walk in front of the camera, Roy. 7.99 for all three. Bruce, you just talked to me. Oh yeah, Bruce is fine, you see. 7.99. Laurie says, hi, John, hope you're well and happy. Have a great day. We will. Susan says, good morning. The other Jan says, good morning from a very wet Portland. Pam Minihani says, good morning. The, uh, Margaret says, morning, John and team. Oh, looking forward to some of today's show. Oh, in interesting. Which bit are you looking forward to? Paula says, good morning, John and team from Paula in Deep Cut. Anne says, good morning. Right, check out, check out, check out. Once you've checked out, that's your P&P paid for for the day. Oh, I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? 7 99 uh, that's too that's too cheap too affordable you'll be getting a phone call in a minute ben that's too cheap that 7.99 jill says morning john and team no bowls this morning because the hideous weather so i can stay with you all morning oh i see bowls as in not with your cereal in bowls as in chucking balls down the what's it jane says morning john cold and wet here this morning snug and watching in bed <gasps> Do you know, I had, a, I had a, a, a meeting with my new publisher yesterday and I rang her on her office phone. There was no reply. So I rang her on her mobile and she went, yes, I'm taking all my calls from my bed today. So she was in bed taking all her business calls. 7 99 make sure you check out, check out, check out. Loads in baskets, make sure you check out. No. Uh, so uh, what I need to tell you is I've bought two pairs of new boots, right? Now, the same boots I've been wearing for years and years and years, but I've bought two brand new pairs. The other pair are so tatty, I can't tell you, they're so comfortable. And I got it this morning, I was like, I'm definitely, definitely wearing the new boots today. And then I heard it raining outside. I was like, oh no, I've got to wear the old boots. So the two brand new pairs are sitting there waiting to go, but I've still got my really old tatty ones on. 7 99 check out, check out, check out. Today's early bird. 
Oh, message on the button. Uh, morning, John. Looking fabulous. Will there be any more of Ben's deals today? Why? What did he do? What's he done? What did you do, Ben? What did you do? Mm. Which one did you have in? Which one did you have in mind? What did you have in mind? Was it Christine that just sent that message? There's, we got clearance in the last hour today. Fat quarters and pre-cuts in the last hour. Denise says, good morning, John. Hillary says, hello, John. Looking forward to Janet Clare's shows. Sandra says, morning from a sunny Glasgow. Very nice. Viv says, good morning, John and Roy. He's gone. He comes in and he's gone within minutes, Roy. He doesn't hang around. He's like a little ninja turtle. No, that's not the right thing. Is that the right word? What is it that comes in stealth person that comes in and goes out again? Like a ninja. Anyway, let me just, um, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. That's, I can hear you, but it, you're coming through Bruce's, um, you're coming through Bruce's microphone, not your own microphone, that's all. I just have to be aware, if I, if I ignore you, just shout. That's even worse. Yeah, that's really quiet now. Oh, there you go. Now that's much better. But not, not right, but yes, you're, you're obviously coming through Bruce's mic, not your mic. Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, yeah, you can really hear you now. 7 99 sorry sorry to do our house housekeeping ow oh, that was really loud i'm here all weekend folks ben's not though ben's got the rest of the weekend off cat's in all weekend with me bruce is in all weekend with me we've got hannah coming in tomorrow hannah's booked yet another holiday at 7 99 i think she's going to france isn't she this time bordeaux, bordeaux she's going to bordeaux with our friend lucy i don't think she's taking her boyfriend i think she's going with lucy It's not a lad's holiday because they're girls. Anyway, here we go. 7.99. Keep going through for that. Loads of you there. Right, now normally I'd read out the menu, but they had a launch yesterday. I've only been away a few days. So I've missed so much. They had K-Facet's Timeless Themes. £30. No, no, no. It is, it is, it is, it is. £30. £30. It says so here. £30. £30. Oh, it says there. All blurred. It says £30 on there. There you go, 30 pounds. Oh, here's a Ben's deal coming up now. Honestly, 24.99. K Facets Timeless Themes Books hardcover. <laughs> hardcover. And it's lovely, because how many patterns do you say I had in 30 patterns? Look, look, look. So it's got patterns in at the, look at all these patterns at the back. Oh, 23, not 30. I've, I've, I've rounded up a little bit too far. All the patterns in the back. Let me move to cross three. There you go. And then, oh, flowery vases. Uh, they're, oh, they're Sol. Oh, no, it's not quite Sol, is it, that one? Sunrise is called that one. But look, look, look. Log cabin, stripes, bricks, squares. Yeah, yeah, imagine there's 23 patterns in there. At the moment, you're paying a pound a pattern and then you're pay, paying one ninety nine for the rest of the book. Ridiculous, because look, the rest of the book here then, themes. So we've got flower themes in eight, chapter eight. We've got, oh, pff. we've got spot sprays and small florals in chapter seven. In chapter six must be leaves. Let's have a look. Organic shape, sorry, was, oh, hang on, was six. Have I missed one out? Oh, yeah, I must have missed out one. Vases, baskets, and bowls. Then you've got all the different themes here. What's this one? Circles. They'll be stripes and squares or something in this one, won't they? Bold stripes. Beautiful, lovely coffee table book there. $24.99. Be Christmas soon. <laughs> Put it in your present drawer, $24.99. Have you not got one? Oh, well, you might, you've got room in your new house have a present drawer. There's no cupboard to put your vacuum cleaner in. There's no under the stairs cabinet. Why? Where is it? Oh. Oh, cat! Good morning, John, and Northside Street. Another fantastic shirt. Loving the cave book from Vet Windy Circle Chat. I met Kat. 
Last week, she's got pink, she, you love, she's got pink dreadlocks. And she's got pink eyebrows. She's very, very classy. I know. Uh, she used to do costumes and her husband or partner used to work in the... Uh, Mr Sunshine is back. Oh, thank you, Carol. Looking forward to spending the next few days in your company. All the goodies to tempt. Thank you, Carol, my love. Low says morning, off in the moho for a week, maybe near Stratford. Oh, low, might you let me know if I'm around. Mari says morning, missed you this week. Now I've got to go out, but looking forward to Janet Clare's new colour. I'll be able to see that. Watch her new hair colour, you mean? Oh, Let's move on, let's move on. Shall we look at that menu? Here's today's menu. Right, coming up now, I've got mode de French General Bleu de France. Bleu de France. Now, you normally they do red, don't they? This is blue, it's gorgeous. I've put a picture of the bundle on the fans page. You want to start buying it now because it's very, very, very popular on pre-order. Uh, morning, John. So glad to hear your voice to make me smile. I'm a bit battered and bruised as my car got hit at traffic lights on Wednesday. No sewing for me. Oh, Michaela, Michaela, no. Claire says, morning, John. No. Right, then at nine o'clock, Janet Claire is here. Our first anniversary show. She's been here one year today. And to celebrate, she's brought us the Globe Trotter Quilt. There it is. Now we've got it in two sizes. We've got it in a 51 and a 97, was it, Kat? Was it 51 and 97? Something like that. I'll tell you when we come on in. 95, 90, 57 and 95. Then at 10 o'clock, Jane Greenoff is here with the April calendar pockets. April calendar pockets. Look. We've also, we've still got January, February, well, not still got, we brought in more January, February, March, January, February, March, in case you've missed them in the past. We've also got the most gorgeous globe. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know if Bruce has got, have you got a picture of it, Bruce? Look, how it's big, it's big, it's big. Actually, if you can cut to me, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but you can cut to me here. Are you able to do that, Kat? Look, here it is, here it is, here it is, look. There, oh, blimey. That was a bit of a swinging in one there. Beautiful, be lovely in your new living room, that, Ben. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got down beside the seaside wall hanging with Janet Clare. There it is, that's the colourway we've got available. We've also got the pattern if you want to do it in your own colourway. And then there's no picture for 12 o'clock because that's clearance pre-cuts. Clearance pre-cuts. Now, 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 now. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first, now, is it working, the email? Yep, yeah, because yeah, last week when I was in, it wasn't working, was it? Uh, the email is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. The second one is by Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. I've got a few more to shout out. Oh, we've missed you, says June. Welcome back. Julie Vaughan says, uh, morning, John. All. How's your week been? Well, I, I know I shouldn't say this, but I've been to a lovely funeral. And, then, and I love a funeral, if they're good. Uh, it was my, my Francesca, my friend Francesca's mum, Nonna. Well, no, Nonna's grandma. Uh, Lana, is her, it was her name. Um, and uh, it was really sweet because I only saw her a few weeks ago. I put my picture of her on my Facebook. Um, she's gorgeous, such a lovely lady. But she uh, was suffering. She had dementia and things like that. Anyway, she got uh, uh, an infection and passed away. But we had a lovely celebration of her life. It was Italian, so it was very... Um, um, Effusive, is that the word I'm looking for? Lots of uh, emotions. Are, and then the best food afterwards. Oh, fantastic Italian food afterwards. So that was that. And what else have I done? Oh, be, oh I went to the physiotherapist. Physiotherapy, nothing wrong with me, apparently. I was like, so why is my hand facing in the wrong direction? She went, mm, well, it sort of is, isn't it, really? Anyway, that's by the by. So I had a lovely week, all in all. But I'm back here now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so the last way you can get in touch is go to the website www.sangstreet.com what you do is you go to the front page you click on watch the live show on the right hand side there there's a box you can write your message there and they, those messages will come on the bottom later and then if you scroll down the page now can i see that on the big telly please bruce because i can't see it from here there we go look watch scroll down the page there's two two columns today's show deals are all the things you've seen so far and then come in oh they've gone in a funny order again there's the Shane Green off scissors right at the top there. Then a bit of Moda. Then we've got yellow country garden, 10 pack fat water. These, this is for, for at the end of the show. Then there's a bit of Janet Claire there. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. You're gonna have to literally scroll through everything because that's 12 o'clock, that fat quarter, that fat quarter thing there. Nightmare, but you can look. 
Now let's just see where the bundle is for the for, uh, for um, eight o'clock. If we come to that, oh, it's all over the place, isn't it? How weird! There's the globe, big one. We've already seen the small one a minute ago. There's the tw twin globes there. Oh my word! I'm so sorry about that. You'll have to really rummage through to see. See, there's one of the sewing kits there. That's all over the place, isn't it? There's a bit more of cross stitch. We haven't even got that dog today, that French poodle thing, no French bulldog today. There's the there's the eight pro no, that's the March one, that one. So it's all over the place. All over the place, all over the place. Just scroll through it, have a good look through it all. Watch your shirt theme this week, Claire says. It's navy blue. The theme is navy blue. Julie loves the shirt. Gemma says, um, watching in Torquay with her mum, Pauline. Lovely, jubbly. Apparently they call it the English Riviera. What am I looking for? There it is. There's the Moda Bleu, French General. Bundle they're selling already, by the way, just so you know. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Anyway, there's five hours of gorgeousness there for us to all enjoy and relish and have fun with. Yes, I know, it's a funny the way it's all set out, isn't it? I know they haven't put a light up there, so yes, it does look like I'm sitting in the darkness over here. But this is my orange thing, so I've got to be here. I can't move over there. I have to be here. Haven't I, Kat? She's told me. She gave us a lesson this morning in camera work. Right, shall we start? This is the gorgeous... Now, I need to tell you that all of these are available by the half metre except that one. So if you're loving that one, the only way you can get that one is in this gorgeous bundle. Now, I've got to warn you that the... Yeah, so when, it's, when this bundle's gone, I can't replace it because all everything I've got is in this bundle here. And it's, it's, a, it's brand new, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? There's only 16 left already. 16 left already. Uh, right, so Lo says she's going to be... F uh, oh, hang on. Oh, She's not five miles from me. She's five miles away from um, Gemma. Louise says, morning, handsome. Don't know what Louise is watching. Anyway, look, I'll be better when I've had my hair cut. I'm feeling a bit kind of bouffant today. Aren't these beautiful? So you get half a metre of every single fabric in this bundle. So you get half a metre of the feathers on blue, half a metre of the feathers on ivory, the birds and the flowers on navy blue, the birds and the flowers on your cream. Then you've got those lovely, like, then it's not holly, but I don't know what that one's called. So we've got that one in the navy. That's the one that we haven't got on its own. Then we've got the lovely uh, wildlife flowers on the blue and on the, uh, on the cream. Then we've got like kind of garden flowers on the navy and garden flowers on the cream. So that whole bundle is 67.41, but look, someone's taken £7.49 off. Hayley Marshall say it's a Hayley's deal, this one. 14 left now, lots in baskets. How many baskets? Oh, 16 in baskets. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. If you want it, check out, check out, check out. Remember, you get half a metre of each fabric. They're gorgeous. Now, normally, with the French general, they're red, aren't they? But this is bleu. Bleu de France. And you're getting half a metre for free. 12 left. And 14 in baskets. 15 in baskets. 16 in baskets. 17 in baskets. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Check out. There they are. Ten left now. Oh, this was supposed to last me the whole hour. Ten left now. Ten left. Beautiful, aren't they? Works out at £6.74 for half a metre for designer fabric. Should be £7.49. I know. I know. Keep going through. Nine left now. Eighteen in baskets now. Oh, my lordy, lordy, which is your favourite? I like this one and this one. And I like this one. And I like that one and that one. Which is all of them. That one, you like the bird one? They look like uh, st starlings or larks or something like that, I think. No, I've not seen David Attenborough in the woods. Thank you very much indeed. 67 41 with what kind of cameras oh a, a, a nighttime camera oh 67 41 five left five left blimey blimey i should take more time off shouldn't i 
Beautiful. I believe Vix has had a very busy week with what with had sewing machines and uh, embroidery machines. I'm not bitter that that was meant to be my day. 67.41. What have you lost? Four left. Sixty-seven forty-one. Keep going through. How many left? Oh, four left. Three left. I've got, I've, I can, I can I offer you all the fabrics by the half meter, except that one. Except that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Except that one there. So many lovely projects there. It's going to be an expensive but worth it. Oh, Terry, tell me about it. Well, we've got, uh, you know, we've got uh, Jane Green off. She's only on for an hour today. Remember, she's only on for one hour today. Janet Clare with a brand new fabric. Oh no! What's it called? Not Globetrotter. Bon Voyage. Oh, French, isn't it? We've got Bleu. We've got Blue French, then Bon Voyage coming up later. I'll have to get Jane Green off to do her hour in French. How are your cats? Oh, my cats are a nightmare, but fine. Thanks, Gemma. Right, 6741. Three left, but I'm going to go. I'm going to move on because I need to do them by the half metre now. But I'll keep you posted on how the, um, the bundle's doing. Uh-huh. Right, I'm going to do this one first, the birds and the flowers here. So I'm going to do it on the navy first, which is LCW189. <gasps> oh, it's a bit creased. I'm ever so sorry. But look, gone are the days when the floor managed used to iron all the fabric. Every when we first started at Sewing Quarter, they had to iron every piece of fabric every morning. Cat wouldn't do that, she said. Beautiful, look at it. Now, obviously, you're getting it, but uh, this is now you're buying it by the half meter. So if you want to buy three meters off the bolt, you buy six units and things like that. Oh, isn't that lovely? £7.49 for half a meter. Message on my bottom. Jane's coronation kit is possibly going to be my first foray into embroidery. Oh, Terry. Terry, you know, the lovely the coronation made the sixth one. Yeah, we've got to be careful because we've got it on both um, cross stitch and not cross stitch, uh, Ada and linen. Ada and, this one, you mean? Make sure you get it on pre order. I think the globes are going to sell out as well before we even get there. Morning, John. Everyone says Donna. Morning, Donna. Look at this. Look at the birds. Now, what kind of bird do you think it is? They're all the same bird, but just in different um, what's it of flight, aren't they? So that one's resting. That one's about to take off. Just about to take off. There's not one in mid-flight, though. Oh, is that, is that one landing, maybe? That one's landing. Yeah, that noise is cat trying to sort out the other desk. 749, half meter, 100 percent cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Is it a what? A what? A throstle? Oh, the bird on the West Bromwich Albion football team. Well, I don't know. I was thinking he was saying something rude to me then. Leave that one with you. I've also got that one in the cream. Oh, see, this is pretty. This is like chinoiserie, this one, isn't it? Uh, here we go. Modar, Bleu de France, French general. Uh, I can't see this. There's normally a quote on the selvage. I love the selvage. Anyway, look. Yep, 7.49 half meter. We've been going on and on and on, haven't we? About old oh, price has got to go, price has got to go up. This hasn't gone up. Catch you later, says Low. You'll be fine, Low. That light orb is back on screen, moving over the fabric on the overhead camera. That light orb is my glasses, apparently. So are we on the over... Uh, yeah, oh, hang on. Has Hannah put together a complimentary not free bundle for the blue French general? Yes, but it's not Hannah. It's, I'll just tell you, it's not Hannah, it's Ben. It's Ben on today, not Hannah. I haven't seen Hannah for months. And Ben hasn't got curly hair, he's saying. Sorry, June, that's a reflection of my glasses. I can't see it, but it's a reflection of my... It's not, it's not I haven't got a spirit follow. Well, I might have a spirit following me, I suppose. Anyway, moving on. Now I've got these beautiful intricate feathers. Now I just want to show them both two together because one's on cream and one's on a very pale blue. I just want you to see the difference here, look. So this is pale blue and that's like a cream background. I'll do the cream one first. Most popular so far. P 
Pearl. Pearl's a singer. Dooby doo doo doo. She sings songs. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, never mind. It's uh, Elkie Brooks. £7.49. So what we call, did you say, sorry? Uh, pearl. Feathers on pearl. It's lovely, isn't it? Nicey quilting, dressmaking, uh, blinds, uh, little um, tubs to make for your dressing table, needlework cases. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, actually, you know, um, Janet Clare's, uh, in her second hour, we've got the seaside one. Um, we've got the pattern on its own. These would be beautiful if you made these into the seaside one as well, wouldn't they? Very popular. Very popular, those feathers. It doesn't say, it doesn't describe what the feathers are, though, is it? Then we've got the one on pale blue. They'll have called this grey, I imagine. Ciel. Oh, that's the sky. Sky blue. That's French for sky. sky, sky. Uh, French for sky, isn't it? Ciel. Le ciel est bleu. Yeah, le ciel est bleu. So it's mode de French general bleu de France feather ciel bleu fabric. Seven forty nine. Is it is it sunny yet outside or is it still raining? Oh, it was chucking it down when I left this morning. I thought the on days like this is normally when the fri the fridge the bridge gets flooded and I can't get out of the village on days like today. Bruce, don't let him call you that. Lovely. Now, moving on to the fabrics where I haven't got it in the pale. I've only got it in the dark. Now, I wonder what kind of leaves these are then. Clematis or clematis, as my mum used to say. Oh, in indigo, they've called this one. I think this one's got a direction, to be honest. I think that's the direction. Yeah. And it does a bit look a bit like a poinsettia, but it's not. But then, uh, I don't know what, my, my clematises don't have these round balls on them. So I don't know what they are. Well, poinsettias are only for Christmas, they're not for life. £7.49. Why would you want to, does it, because the red goes after Christmas, doesn't it? It's just green after Christmas, isn't it? Oh, okay. Never mind, moving on. Now let's do the big, big flowers on the two different colours. Oh, the neck and neck. Let's do the dark blue one first then. Because we can. There you go. So what do they call this one? Oh, floral. Just floral on indigo. Beautiful though, isn't it? Lush, in it? Stunning, gorgeous. Beautiful. Let me just do that one. There you go. The um, captions, the auto-generated captions, we're still on me doing the early birds. So I've just caught them up, yeah. Here we go, £7.49 for half a metre. Remember, you can buy it off the bolt, have as much as you want, as long as you buy it in increments of half a metre. It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. And do you know what? The I don't know if you can see this on the telly, but they've put like... Um, like a, you know, like a texture in the background. It's not a texture, it's drawn on, but it looks like linen in the background. Oh, I know. Beautiful. And then we've got in cream or in parchment, I had to call this one. I'll come back to the Mega Bundle in a second because they're going to run out. There you go. Uh, what's this one called? Bouquet, this one's called. Oh, hang on. So this isn't the same. Hang on, let me just check. 175. Yeah, it's the right number. So the last one wasn't called Bouquet, was it? But it's the same. Or is it? No, it is. There's the two petunias. There's two roses. There's the bud. It is exactly the same flower uh, fabric. They've just called this one um, bouquet. Oh, do you remember that bouquet of barbed wire? Very risque of its time, wasn't it? <sighs> Judith says, good morning. Good morning, Judith. Judith. Right, leave that one with you. Two more. Two more to go. These are neck and neck as well. Dark one first. Oh, that's nice. This one's got texture in the background as well, look. So what do we call this one? 
sorrel vines. I think they ran out of words, didn't they? Floral vines in the indigo. It's beautiful. It's lovely quality fabrics. Moda, isn't it? Bleu de France by French General at Moda. Beautiful. And then last one in pearl. Lovely. There you go. Oh, that's nice. That's got such a lovely vintage feel to it, hasn't it? £7.49 uh, floral vines on pearl by the half metre £7.49 what a gorgeous collection right let's just go back to the mega bundle because there's only three left and 21 in baskets that one there you can't buy that one on its own that's sold out on its own so here you go here's your mega bundle you're getting a £7.49 knocked off the price. There you go. 67.41. Five metres of fabric. You get ten fabrics there. And you haven't paid for one of them. One of them comes for free. Right, there's two left. And 21 in baskets. E. Just wait with your second while you check, make your mind up. Making your mind up. There's only two left. 22 in baskets now. Don't quite know what you're doing now. Putting them in your basket and just leaving it there. You can still get it. There are still two available. If you're one of the 22 people in your basket, you need to check out, check out, check out if you really want it. Because I can't make this bundle again because we haven't got this fabric. Once the bundle's gone, that's that fabric completely disappeared. Disapparu. Disapparu. No, it's not. 24 in baskets now, still two available. Well, I'm going to push it away then. If you can't make your mind up, my Gedge Bucks Fizz once said, of course it'll sell out. I'll come back to it in a minute. Because people want to see the complimentary bundle to go with coordinating, not free. This is a Ben special. So you get like a cream and actually, oh, is it cream that one? Then you get a slate, I imagine. Cream, slate, cadet, chambre, and terracotta. Now, terracotta. A pop of colour, and I've got to show you this, because Ben said, if you make a cushion, and what you do is you get your fabric, and you do a little flange like that, and then you get your blue one behind like that. There you go. Pop of colour. Little bit of piping or a flange, if you don't want to do a piping. Is it working for you? Ben wants to know. Do you like it? I'll get rid of that because that doesn't come in it, obviously. There you go. So there's your complimentary going with, coordinating, not free. Oh, now that one's got two labels on it. That's very confusing. I'll cover that one up. Loads in baskets. Oh, and there's money off it. I didn't see that. Sorry. Three pounds off. Wonder why that is. Fifteen ninety-five should be eighteen ninety-five. This. Now you see this bundle as well would be lovely for one of the Janet Clare projects coming up later. Wouldn't it? That that see what's it called? That one in the second day, seaside. It's called what? Yeah. Down beside the seaside. This could be your, well, it can't be your sand. Boat, or your, what's that thing called you get changed in? Beach hut. Not the toilets, there's no toilets on there, I don't think. Anyway, keep going through 15.95, you're saving three pounds. Loads in baskets. I've got 25 left, but how many in baskets? Okay, so half the stock will have gone when you've all checked out. Well, more, another half of the stock, I mean. Ben really is desperate to know if the terracotta's working for you. If it's not, then he won't do it again. He'll know for next time. Nobody's messaged in, Ben. Maybe the internet's down. He doesn't mind, he's used to disappointment, he says. It's his middle name. 
15.95 saving three pounds oh they're flying out right it's 20 left and 20 in baskets now oh it's going to be one of those days isn't it i can tell i can feel it in my waters no that's not what they say is it feel it in my fingers i feel it in my toes i did that film you know very nice ben says claire I love the terracotta with the blue. Makes it look expensive, says Hayley. That's our Hayley, though, saying that. It's not really. It's not really our Hayley. Uh, hang on. Yes, it's perfect, says Jade. Here we go. All these messages will be shown now. <laughs> Morning, Ben. The terracotta looks lovely. Thank you from Carolyn Anglesey. Gemma says it's gorgeous, Ben. I think the terracotta looks dreadful, says Sharon. Oh, fab. Sorry, fab. Fab, not dreadful. Fab. Uh... Terracotta, excellent idea from Melanie. All right, it's enough now, no more. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, that's my bad. Oh, okay, now you, so now hang on, you're not being charged for, six, for three meters. You're only being charged for one, two and a half meters and you're three pounds off and you're three pounds off. Sorry, there was another colour in there that didn't work, so he took it out. Can you put the complimentary bundle next to the motor? Of course I can, And Sorry, I should have done that. If I'd been doing my job properly, I'd have done that already, wouldn't I? Hang on, let me put out. So how many of the mega bundle have I got left? Still two with 22 in baskets. That's the mega bundle there. And then this is next to it. The complimentary bundle there next to it. Can you see it all right? Shall I hide the terracotta? I'll put that under there. There you go. Because you're only going to use that as a flange, aren't you? Or a highlight. There you go. So that's the complimentary bundle there for your 15.95. Uh, good morning, Sir John, says Jean from sunny Durham. Sunny Durham, sunny up north. Right, so there's 15 of the complimentary bundle left, but how many in baskets? 19 in baskets. That's the complimentary bundle, just this bit here. So I'll move that out of the way again now. Oh no, we've got four hours to bring you back down again. 15, 95, ooh. <clears throat> oh, maybe I have to have a day off. Right, leave that one with you for now. So those are going to sell out. The, the bundle is going to sell out if you're not careful as well. Let me just move that out of the way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do apologise. Which one? This one? Fat quarter pack sold out. Oh, sorry, cat. Right, okay. Let me put that there then. And that there. So I've got 10-inch layer cake. And I've got jelly rolls. And I've got chucker buns no they're not called chucker buns honey buns honey buns, honey buns. Let, let's do honey buns are they the ones right at the front i'm gonna have to wait for cat to reach out in for me thanks cat lovely got four honey buns now if you don't know what a honey bun is it's a design rob it's only an inch and a half wide instead of being two and a half inches wide oh there you go here you go she always goes in there for a kiss this time what time what day is what time is it what time is it? 20 to 9. She's gone in for a kiss. You see, now they've moved me to this new studio, I can see everything that's going on upstairs. They normally kiss at the door, but she's gone in today. Anyway, which one am I doing first? Which one? 109. Not that one. 109. Is so that one there? Dwell. You must never dwell on anything. Well, these are lovely, aren't they? Look. Now, I don't know if we've got them out. We've got slides all telling you what you can do with a honey bun. <coughs> you found it last time, Ben. Princess says, morning, John. Loving the shirt. It really suits you. Thank you very much indeed. Beautiful. These are an inch and a half wide. Lovely colours in there, aren't they? So you've got your greens, your greys, your reds, your pinks, your corals, your navies. They're lovely. Inch and a half 
wide strips. 39.99. What's that one there? Oh, that's a lovely green. It's a lovely like grass green. Oh, look, gorgeous. Beautiful blues in there, like Wedgwood blue. Oh, look at that one. Like Hex is made of flowers. Beautiful. Lovely soft pinks there. Then you've got your florals. Uh, Jean, uh, he's just looking for the slides now. You can make all sorts. You can make little log cabins. Do you not sell these in your shop, Jean? Beautiful. Navies and greens in there. <laughs> I love the filing system here. There you go. He's found it. There you go. These rolls typically contain 40 to 42 strips cut to one and a half inches times 42. Handy for so many patterns and eliminate all the time you would spend cutting strips. And there you go. There's some of the patterns. I'm sure if you went to Moda's website, you'd be able to find um, some packs from free patterns. I'm not sure. Look, 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 look. Gorgeous, look. Oh, yes, yeah, so a YouTube video there. Log cabin using honey buns. Oh, Jean's never seen them before. Jean's got a fabric shop. That one at the top there. Oh, that's another one. That one at the top there looked like, that one there looks like um, uh, Emma Bradford's design, doesn't it, that one? Lovely. That's it, that's it, that's it. Moving on. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're going to need to get the little vacuum cleaner out in the break. 147, yeah, that's this one. This is more greens and oranges, this one. And pinks. Lovely chevrons. Flowers, sunflowers, little hearts. Lovely quilting pattern. That looks like the floor of my lovely house in Twickenham. Beautiful. My lovely Victorian house. The flat next door to Francesca's that came up for sale that she thought I was going to buy. And I said, well, it was too overpriced. Nobody will buy that. Sold within two days. 700 grand for a tiny. And it didn't even have a window in the lounge. The, wind, the lounge didn't have a window in it. It had a, an archway going through into the kitchen, but it had no window. You haven't started coughing due to the fluff, John. Not yet, Julie. Not yet. But I've, I've been off for a few days. It'll take a while for it to kick in again. It settles in my pipes. Ooh, that's lovely, that colour, isn't it? Oh, no, you made that when I came in ages ago. Oh, yeah, an hour ago. Ben made himself a coffee an hour ago, forgot it, and it's gone cold now. Nothing worse. 39 this. Moving on. Dragonflies, that's this one here, I think. 147. Yeah, there we go. I won't open, I won't open that one. I'll open this one. 39.99. These colours are lovely. These are look, gorgeous, rich. Look, caramels and oh, dark, navy. Oh, oh is it black? Might, no, it's black, actually. Uh, aubergine. There's some navy there. Dark green. Gorgeous. What's what a? I've got to ask Ben. Oh, Ben, what colour would go? I'm not, don't ask me. I've only been working in fabrics for 50 years, but it's fine. Ask Ben, who does jewellery, really. did jewellery. You didn't do cardboard, did you? 
he did a little bit of cardboard. What colour would go with soft peach? It depends what you make it. Who's it from? Christine, making soft peach curtains. Oh, now that's a difficult question because in fashion I'd say navy blue, but I don't think I'd do navy. Oh, here she comes. Oh, no kissing today. Um, oh, no, but he's coming out now following her. Um, oh, I don't know. A darker peach? Depends where you're going to put it. Are you going to line it with them? Are you going to trim it? Where are you going to put it, Christine? Sharon says, good morning. Gemma, I've just told you what you can make with these fabrics. Beautiful. Look at that floral one in there. That's nice. Oh, rich. Oh, lovely. Look. Gorgeous. Just leaving that one with you. I've got th th one, two, three more one and a halves. I've got uh, AFW163. This is nice, this one. Oh no, there's so much fabric on the desk. Kat, can you send a trolley over? I just need to get rid of these off here, but I don't want to mess them up. Uh, have a look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, these are very um, Janet Clare colours, aren't they? I'm going to do that. There we go. Oh, never had that before. Ben's had a hiccup and uh, it got stuck in his throat. Jan Hill. Oh, she's up, everyone. 10 to 9, almost 10 to 9. Terracotta would go with peach. Janet would, but, but it depends how pale the peach is because this is quite a heavy terracotta. But also, um, it depends where she's going to put it, isn't it? My sister is painting her bedroom in soft peach. Oh, here we go. So would like to make some curtains for her. She wants a restful room. Well, in that case, I'd go with a dark peach then to make it restful. But I would make it the same as the wall. I'd make it darker. And I'd almost put a pattern on it rather than a plain. I don't know what they're doing up there. In and out, in and out, in and out. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me just pass that one to Kat. And then one left. Oh, oh, no, two left. Sorry, two left, two left. Uh, I've done that one. Uh, 109, KFW 109. Have I done that? I've done that. Right, that's all the honey buns then. Right, so I'm do fabrics by the half metres. Uh, right, let me just move that one and that one to one side. The which one? Mega bundle sold out. How's the complimentary bundle doing? Nine of these left. Let me just show you this before Kat puts this one away then. Nine of these left. Oh, sorry, I've pulled it right out of shot. There you go. There you go. I'll just chuck this at you, Kat. There you go. Nine of these left. Christine says, morning, gorgeous people. Just glanced at my coasters and duck egg blue goes beautifully with soft peach. Oh, it would do, yeah. Lovely. Right, let's do some fabrics by the half metre. I'll just pass that one to Kat. Right, oh my word, look at all these, sorry, these mode, mode of fabrics here. We'll never get to all these. They're all on, they're all on um, pre-order though, so you can see them on there if you want to see them. If there's any you want to see, because I'm not going to get through all of these in the next 10 minutes. If there's any you want to see, just let me know and I'll, sh I'll waft them at you. Right, where are we starting then? Start the top of Ireland, work the way through. Right, okay. So we've got roses on a cross stitch. Sunday stroll by Bonnie and Camille. Now, this is where you buy, buy the half metre off the bolt. You can have as much as you want, or as little as you want, as long as it's by the half metre. It's £7.49. See, this is what I mean, right? The brand new collection is the same price as the old collection. No price for increase at all on motor. Good morning, John. Great to see you, says Anne. Thank you, Anne, my love. So this one, oh, that's done. They're all going to be 7.49. Then I've got strawberries on speckled. Oh, do you want the number? Got it. Beautiful. Little strawberries on a speckledy background. Just called red strawberries. Well, I suppose you can get white strawberries because they were selling them on QVC yesterday. White plants to make white strawberries, yeah. They look very odd. 
they look very strange they look like they're not quite ripe and I've, you never see them in the s supermarket do you you caught that one right here we go flowers on crisscross on a pink coral background oh now you see is that coral or peach would you call that one they've called it pink beautiful John, can I ask you where you've got your iPad holder? When well, it was left over from, what's it? Lifestyle. Lifestyle. We've got two of them. Has it got? Oh, BNM Bargains Redditch, apparently. Lovely. Then I've got Red Gingham, which is on the crisscross. Makes it look like it's on the bias because it's the crisscross is going diagonally. We've called it what? Red and white block cross. It hasn't got a make. It hasn't got a make or anything printed on it. I'm afraid, Viv. So I couldn't tell you. I don't know what you thought they're meant for. I don't think it's meant for an iPad holder. It's just that the proper iPad holder. It kept falling over and smashing, didn't it? Moving on. I've got red and white stripe now. A cookery book holder says Bruce. Could be Bruce. Oh, yeah, actually, Bruce. You must. Well, I think you're right. Or a Bible holder, if you're redoing, reading the sermon. Any book holder, really. 749, this is that red block stripe. Okay, I thought those days had gone past now. Ben wants trousers made out of it. £7.49, oh, Ben sounds he's like he's under the thumb already. Oh, it was the stealing that was the issue, not the cardigan. Yeah, here you go, this is nice. Pale green with big red flowers on the front. Beautiful. That one's called Aqua Petal, that one. What was Bruce doing then? Oh. Oh, keys, that's what I could hear you. Gingham. Bruce says he'll see all day. She's going home. He's put it on autopilot. He's gone home for a few hours. There we go. Aqua Cross. You see, now they haven't put all that other words on this one. Have they just called it Aqua Cross, this one? You see, I wouldn't call that Aqua, to be honest with you. It's definitely green, it's not blue. Oh, apparently they've got them on the Long River. Shelley says, Viv, they've got them on the Long River. Then we've got Aqua in the stripe, but it's not Aqua. I'd say Spearmint. It's not Peppermint, it's Spearmint, yeah. Beautiful. I am going very fast, it's only because we're about to run out of time. Then we've got like an apple green spot. This is nice, this one. I don't know which. Oh, it's still on Sunday Stroll. We're still on Sunday Stroll. Oh, is it? Oh, uh, okay. It says black and... Oh, block. Block and white spotted. Oh, that's confusing. It's not black and white. What colour have they called it? Just green. Just green, okay. Then we've got the same green in a stripe. It'll be a block stripe, no doubt. I'll oh, just green stripe, missed out the block now. You be careful you don't fall any wire, fall over wires down there. Janet Clare's arrived. But I noticed they put a thing on the door. It wasn't there when I had my accident. There's a thing saying, warning, something cables, like wild, oh, trailing, trailing, not wild. <laughs> Trailing cables. Yeah, you see, they could have had if they'd had that on December the sixteenth, that'd still have fallen over. Oh, actually, is it the sixteenth today? 14th. Oh, fourteenth January. So December, January, February, March, April. Four months since I had my fall. Sixteenth of December it was. I oh, know, and I'm still not healed. Then I've got the crisscross in the green. Beautiful. £7.49. 
Just a couple more then. Yeah, here we go. So we've got the crisscrossing green with the flowers now. Trip. It was a trip, Julie. I didn't fall. It was a trip. I wasn't pushed either. There was nobody anywhere near me. Lovely. Now I've got one that's very different to all the other ones here. A little floral print. I'll just do these two floral prints and then we'll go for a break. So that's a lovely ditzy floral, this one. It's pretty. It's very fresh, that one, isn't it? And then last one, the, other, the others we'll put over. We will move them over from, um, we'll sort that out. But look at, oh, now it's the same as one with the blue background earlier, but just it's got a white background look. It's, it was called Petals on, oh, they've called this one Pink Floral, not Petals on Aqua. Right, yo, don't go anywhere. Janet Claire's up after the break. She's doing a brand new fabric, globe trot. no, Bon Voyage fabric in a globe trotter. Did you hear that? And we've got it in two different sizes, plus a sewing kit as well. See you in four. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests, and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 44 33. 
If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Janet Clare has been part of this family for one year today. Can we see Janet? Oh, hang on, we'll see Janet in a minute. We'll see Janet in a minute. Keep clapping, keep clapping. There she is, there she is. That's outrageous. It was indeed. And you had that apron on then? But not with as many bits and bobs on it then. It does change and has been laundered a few times. I should have you know. Oh, well, happy birthday. Oh, anniversary. It's anniversary, it's isn't an it? Anniversary. When's your birthday, birthday? June, 24th of June. Oh, same. Well, I'm June the 19th. Oh, are you? There yeah. You Henry's oh. the 20th. My mum's the 25th. How funny. My nan and granddad were the 16th and the 17th. No. Yes, yeah, 16th and 17th. Anyway, there you go. So you a go. year, a year ago, we should have got a picture of us and they've done a before we and after. We so young. Well, we, we look better now young than we did innocent. then. Young and innocent. Yeah, in, well. <laughs> I might be, but she might not be. Right, okay, to celebrate, we are launching brand new fabrics within a quilt kit. It is called Bon Voyage, and we're going to talk about it during the hour. I'm going to go through everything that's for sale, then I'll go over and join Janet, and we'll just have a good old um, chin wag for an hour. So, the first quilt, I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, this quilt. Now, I've got it in two sizes, so if you're thinking, oh, I don't need another big quilt, I need a smaller quilt. That's more, oh, it's just gorgeous. Right, look, look at this fabric. Look at this fabric. How gorgeous is this, right? This is the big quilt. This is this quilt here, the Globe Trotter trot, trot, trot quilt. Can't even say it. 95 inch square. Funny they didn't make the sample in 95 inch square. I'm funny, I wonder why I didn't. Yeah. I wonder why. Uh, so that's the, the one that you saw on the wall a minute ago is 51 inch square. 57, I 57 think. inch square, it's one seven. Yeah, 57. Uh, 57 square, but this is the 91. 91. There you go, you just got the 95, one. 95, 95. 95. We're go. all getting it wrong now. It's all written down here. Don't know why I'm struggling. So this is the 95 by 95. Look at all this fabric you get in here. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, look. Uh, we'll ask Janet in a minute what, what it all means in a minute. <laughs> this, this is like a BFPO envelope, this one. Yeah. Oh, not an not to be fair. Uh, M -M -M -L. Yeah, M -L, M -L. Love it, love it, love it. Bon voyage. Oh, look at that one. No, I hadn't even noticed that one in that quilt. Oh, there it is. Lovely, isn't it? Look. Now, slight departure in colour. I know, I've got really beautiful green. Did you get a new green crayon? I've got a new green crayon. <gasps> sap green paint, I think I brought. Sap green. Sap. 
sap green. But then now what colour is that one? That is what you get if you mix the indigo paint with the sap green. Because oh. they all start from painting, so. Yeah. It all. Then you got all the lot of that one. Lots and lots of that one. So now in here is enough to do the front and the binding Absolutely. of your quilt, mm -hmm. and it's ninety-five inches square. Now, it's not a difficult. It's not difficult, is it's it? It's not difficult. There's a few little um, construction um, techniques which are really, really fun to yep. do. So if you if you think oh that looks a bit boring, it's not. There's nice little <laughs> construction to do, and if you're a beginner. You could do it as well, I think, if you just took your time. Right, but the yeah. ninety-five inch quilt looks identical to that one. It's just bigger scale. Yes. So, so the squares no are more, bigger. Yes, but you've got no more sort of curved piecing or anything like that. The squares are bigger. The dimensions are bigger. So basically, the squares in that are whatever size they are. In the ninety-five one, they're exactly same, but bigger squares just, and bigger curves. So yes. on here, on your drunkard's path template, look. You've got your 10 inch and your 6 inch there. See what I mean? So you've got your templates for both sizes. And both sizes, yes. Brilliant. So what you get, look at all this as well. Again, all the instructions on beautiful, beautiful, oh, there's loads of them. Yes, beautiful lots of photographs paper. and lots of step outs because you would think that you were cutting individual squares and then laying them out in a pattern, but you're not. And I have got a, tool, a technique that I'll show you. Uh, I've got a demo. I'll Brilliant. show you how I've got it a all demo. works together. I've got a demo. I've got a demo. Um, so the construction is good fun. Yes, beautiful. Isn't it? So all the pictures of everything there, your templates, your instructions, your fabric. 100% cotton, <laughs> medium weight mode of fabric, manufactured in Japan. Beautiful. Oh, isn't that lovely? So that's the 190 pounds. Oh, hang on. Happy anniversary, Janet. Loving oh, the quilt. Hi, you. John. Missed you on Wednesday. Sandra. Oh, is that Sandra? Is that Santangle, Sandra? Oh, uh, happy anniversary, Janet. Loving the quilt. Hi. Oh, I've done that one. Read that one. Okay, right. So now this is one hundred and ninety pounds, sixty-three thirty-three split pay. That's your ninety-five by ninety-five inches. That's gorgeous. The size of that is lovely. A big size, and it all comes. They're all ready packed to go, aren't they? They're all ready to go. They'll be off to the post office. Oh no! When will we go to the post office? Monday. I think we'll do it Monday. We might go in over the weekend. Oh, okay. But I think it'll probably be. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, because my big post office. You go to Stratford to Maver. The big post office is open on a Sunday. Yeah, I don't think ours is open on a Sunday. No. I don't know whether we'll get a head start over the weekend. Let's say Monday. Let's say Monday. They'll go in the Let's post on Monday. Monday. Right. Now, you want to do the same thing, but you want to do the one, same as the one on the wall. You get all the same fabrics, just get a little bit less of them. Because yes. you're making a smaller quilt, aren't you? So you still get it all in the lovely calico bag. You get the instructions, the templates, everything. And all your fabrics. Same fabrics I just showed you. <sighs> Love that one. And brand new. We've only had it. Brand two new. Weeks. Yeah, brand, like brand, brand, brand new fabric. What's this one here then? That is, um, you know, if you go to New York and it's all done on a grid, yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. city blocks. Oh. That's what I was imagining. And what sort of buildings and trees and things were New in York? These city there's not blocks. many trees in New York. No. A a part, apart from on the penthouse apartments. And they're all up, up, up there. Because the I used to live on the 16th floor when I first moved to New York and just seeing everyone's gardens on top of the. Um, I Different couldn't afford world. to live there. Um, New York or Milton Keynes. That's what it could be Milton Keynes because that's could all on square. Be Milton yeah. Keynes. Well, they're all done on squares it's as well. It's all just come out of my head anyway, so it's nowhere. Oh, so it's nowhere. It's nowhere. It's Janet Clare Land. Yes. Anyway, there's all your fabrics again. That so that one there is your fifty-seven inch version at ninety-five pounds. Ninety-five pounds that one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we will talk about that and go through all of that in a second. Now, if you're thinking it's gorgeous, but I want it in pink or I want it in red, well, we've got the pattern on its own. Eleven ninety nine, eleven pounds and ninety nine pence for the pattern on its own. There, <clears throat> they're all ready to be posted out to you in Janet Clare headquarters. <laughs> Seen pictures of it? You put some pictures up recently, didn't you? Yeah, the studio had a big tidy up. Have you finished the husband's quilt yet? No. No. To be daft. <laughs> Is that as a bigger tidy up as we've had in here? Um, yeah, on a similar scale, <laughs> I'd say. The thing Just is, don't right, look too no, closely Janet to can corners. see over there where we used to be, you <laughs> see, and there's workbenches, there's wallpaper, there's glue, there's wet wipes, there's. It's a creative space. Well, the reason they rushed us in here was because they said they were going in, they needed to go in there. Is there anybody in there? No. No. 
Right, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Now, oh, now well, I haven't touched you. Hang on. Good morning, Janet and John. Your new fabrics are gorgeous. Loving the green block. I like that one as well from Carolyn Lancashire. Lovely. Now, to celebrate Janet's first year here, she's got a bit of a giveaway. So anybody who buys a Janet Clare product today, whether it be a pattern, whether it be a big quilt kit, whether it be a sewing quilt, anything up until midnight tonight, all your names will go in a hat and one of you will win this. Now, do they get the frame as well or do we take it out of the frame? Okay, you can keep it in the frame. Okay, what is it? It what? is a little applique and free motion drawing of a garden. Oh, made by you. Made by me. So, and, and there's only one. signed and I've only made one. Oh, signed look, it. only, only one. Made one. So one of you just, now it only counts if you buy a Janet Clare product today. Between now and well, from midnight last night. Well, no, they only went on at half past seven this morning. Didn't they? Half past seven this morning till midnight tonight. One of you won this. I'll, I'll try and get the name for you tomorrow. Now, oh, actually, so are you going to take this out? Will you post this out or will we post it? I, I thought that it was staying here and you were okay, posting Okay, that's it fine. Out. No, that's absolutely fine. That's fine. So we'll, yeah, I'll get okay. Hayley to sort all that out this after, uh, tomorrow morning and we can sort it out of the weekend. Right, okay, so that goes there. Now, we've also got Janet Clare sewing kits. Now, one of these is in the brand new fabric. So if you want the Bon Voyage fabric, brand new, it's brand spanking new, right, that the fabric is. So what you get in here is you, I won't tell you what you can make, but you get all the fabric you need in these little, um, you know what they call those little two and a half The little inch um, candies. Candy. Yes, two and a half inch candy squares. Yes, candy squares. There's a little popper, two little poppers in there. There's some felt, there's some calico, there's some wadding. And you know what you can make, right? Look, you make this. This is obviously a different fabric, but you make this. You make this. You make this little needle case. And you make a gorgeous little pin cushion. And this, obviously. So you can make all of this from one of this. So this is 19.99. They work out at five pounds each, lovely presents. Or self-gifting is the way to go if you want to give them out as presents. Beautiful, and brand new fabric, the Bon Voyage fabric in there. 19 pounds and 99 pence. <coughs> fabric and pattern kit for Bon Voyage, 19.99. Beautiful, we've also got it in To The Sea. So exactly the same, exact same, but look, the little squares are the To The Sea fabric in there. Very popular, this one on pre-order. Very, very popular. Oh, it's limited now. It's limited now, this one. That one's To The Sea. Lovely little boat there. Now, I can't guarantee you'll get that boat there in yours, because obviously they're cut out. You don't cut them, do they cut them for you? No, they're all pre-cut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. <laughs> Think of the husband's fingernails if he had to do all of those. <laughs> then last but not least, she did promise you'd be bringing him in this time. Where is he? Well, you need to be asking him that. Okay, then. Where is he? In bed still. What time is it? Oh, yeah, in no bed still. work. <laughs> uh, Astra. Astra. So it's exactly the same. Exact same sewing kit. Everything the same. So you make the, the needle case, the pin cushion, the scissor holder and the little pouch. You see that little pouch there? You don't need to keep it for sewing. You could have that in your handbag with your, your um, have, compact in and your lippy and things like in that there. in it, couldn't you? So they all fit in there. Or if you were doing EPP or something, you could put all your threads and your bits mm. in there. So you've got four separate items. Or oh, it's a nice little travel. And they're only half square kit. triangles. Uh, half square triangles, some rectangles, and quarter square triangles on the. Oh, with the cushion. other things on the other things, yeah. 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 yeah so oh, nice yeah, because the easy. scissor holder is like a little bed, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, nice and easy. Beautiful, 19.99. Now again, if you've got your own fabric, you'd like might like the um, pattern on its own. There you go. There it is, 9.99 pattern on its own. Everything you need in there. Again, I just you see it's got again on the beautiful paper, fabulous photographs, lovely instructions, very very thorough instructions. Beautiful, 9.99. Now, Bruce, I'm going to walk across. 
You're coming to me. I'll, I'm coming I'll over to you now. Myself. I don't need to bring anything with me for now. <laughs> right, we're just going to stop off halfway good. to look at this gorgeous. Look at this, right? If, this is the small one, remember? This is the smaller one. So it's just um, Drunkard's Pathways and then literally squares. Squares. So that is called a trip around the world. Trip, oh, oh, okay. So trip if they weren't the there yes. and you carried on with the squares, it's a trip you around the world. It's a trip around the world. Um, and I liked the um, a little bit of the drunkard's path because it feels like it's sort of a globe, isn't it? And you're going round. So I called it globe trotter because it's a trip around the world, and it's sort of got the little globe, and it's got the the fabric that's got all the postage stamps yes, exactly. and everything on it. So um, yeah, a little postcards home. Um, uh, Cat wants to know where the basketball players are. <laughs> 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 right so talk me through first of all the fabric and the design and the everything fabric. Like that. so i thought you always like seeing where the ideas come from yeah. and um th i was just talking to jane in the green room and we were saying they just come from living a life and being interested don't they really mm. um so i am a great lover of going thrift shopping and to car booties yeah and these are some of my car booty purchases and they are obviously somebody called harold beale was very proud of his um, foreign stamps yeah. and all the postmarks and everything. So I bought these and then they were just sitting in my studio for months and months and months. And then you start having an idea and they start pulling all these different mm, elements mm. together and then they start to become really useful. So this is what we sent to Moda and then they did a collage to create that fabric that's on the, um, the curved piecing. Gorgeous, right aren't they? I just somebody sitting at home going, oh, I sold oh, that to her from the back of my car. Yeah, 1947 he was collecting these. No, that's not when 49. you bought it. No, not quite. Not quite. But they're just beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Um, and something that's... And also in the day really when handwriting was, you know, kind of like... Beautiful. Oh, that's... Carter's Seeds. So I think this must yeah, be the seed Here, company. Yeah. So he was obviously... Uh, receiving seeds to oh but hang on Australia yeah look from Perth there's, all um, over there's the, the place, pyramids from here from Cairo presumably wow. you know just beautiful things Jamaica no she went on the over and called <clears throat> There you go. It's an old joke, the oldest jokes. Right, they're gorgeous. So, so they, that's, they, that's that how a, that that's fabric all came about. Juicing yeah. around, gets thinking about. And then I started thinking, so this was in lockdown, so I started thinking about um, travel and how I miss going to of different course, places. Of course, yes, yeah. But it was very rose tinted. You know, you forget all the passport cues and yeah, the yeah, stress yeah, yeah. And especially all that. now. It's just yeah. the lovely, lovely parts of it. So I started thinking about places that you could go, different types of landscape, whether you would want to be by a river or the forest or in a city break or a mini break or culture and all the rest of mm -hmm. it. And started looking at maps. So I was designing March 21. And I kept quite a small sketchbook for this one. I normally get much bigger. Yeah. But I started looking at map symbols and um, drawing maps and then chopping them up. And you can, these are here, you can see, this is actually the first sketch I did for right. this. And these are all map legends. So these are all boundaries and public footpaths, bridleways. Oh, wow. All of those. And we decided that the lines were These lines are too, too heavy. heavy. So there you go. And then I did a full colour yeah. version. So this is where the rose tinted comes from. Because right. it's all, um, you know, just the nice, beautiful blush pink where you think oh, everything was beautiful back in the past. Yes. Um, my cl indigo and the cream. And then by introducing that green, just mixing up and it made that yeah. uh, the teal colour. Beautiful. So there you go. So this is how it all starts building, building up. And I was thinking about where they live, what you might wear, just having a real play. See, some pages are really scruffy and some places are much neater. I was going to say, go some together. look like they were projects you've done for school, but others literally yeah. do look like you just sat there just and scribbled there in and your doodled. book. Just um, And this collection really, really came together very, very quickly because you can see I've got, I haven't got a very big sketchbook on the go, not many pages. It just really formed itself. So there's the little oh, there's so the green fabric. Yeah. There's the little, um, the little city block, which is here. So that's the sheet for oh, that. Oh wow! Look, half the stock of the big quilt's gone. Mm -hmm. Half the stock of the big quilt is um, gone. So you can see. So I just drew it in the indigo ink, and then I was painting it in. Yeah. Um, but it ended up being just green, then, did it? No, there is a multicolored one. It's just not, not in, in that quilt. That quilt. 
There is this multicolored one. Here. And are we going to have this fabric eventually? Well, or you not? need to speak to the them upstairs. See if they get it. It's quite. New. It's new. We've only had it a couple of weeks. Oh, so it's literally, literally yes. brand new. Literally, literally brand new. So we had it when we did the show in London a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and that was its first outing. Wow. We didn't even know we'd have it in yeah, time yeah, yeah. for that. Um, so it's here. So I was half expecting for you to have a few bits, but it obviously hasn't reached Sewing Street. Well, well uh, is Ian in today? No, where will it be? Ian or Paul? I don't know who it'll be. The bow buys from you. Friday. Right, they're in on Friday. We'll talk to Ian. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk, talk to, to Ian afterwards, yeah. Um, so this is the little... Mushrooms. Um, they're forests. Oh. They're a little forest, really simplified. Yeah. Like a map graphic. So where are we then? Where are, in your mind, what country are we in at oh, the moment? I don't know. Though? I don't know. Somewhere Switzerland, something like that. Oh, somewhere okay. quite... Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows where my mind is going? Do, do you go off in go off into one? Like, if anyone walked into the room, would you be completely not there? Or? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, particularly if I was listening to music as well, I'd yeah. be yeah, just okay. unaware. So, little boundary marker, and then this because I used to be a knitwear designer. This is how we designed knitted stripes. Oh, is um, it? Yeah. So uh, that's actually embroidery silk, but I would often. I bet you just use, glue it in a stripe. Yeah, just wind it round some card with double sided sticky tape on the back. Yeah. Um, if you're knitting a stripy jumper at home to use up all your odds and ends that you've got left, if you get yourself a long strip of card, double sided on the back, and then just wrap, and then do each row is a wrap of thread, you wow. can get the proportions how you want it. Um, yeah, that's how we designed a knitted stripe. It's much quicker than yeah. physically knitting. And then, and is that, I asked that them for to you or for them? For Moda, I asked them to print it on the diagonal, which gave us the ML stripe. So now, when you when you do this and you say to them, print it on the diagonal, they just don't go ahead and just print thousands and thousands of meters of it, do they? Pat, somebody, can you grab the red and blue stripe? Just bring one. Just bring one diagonal. of the bag. Just yeah, bring just one bring of the bags it. over. We'll show that's you it. how. Um, I could have done a digital print of the ML stripe, but actually I always like it to have a hand drawn and painted texture, that one. So you can see it's not completely solid. Right. Um, you can see the lines aren't completely straight. Yeah. They've actually taken it from the wrapped embroidery oh silk. so that's why it's slightly wobbly because yeah. it's because it's, well, it's meant to be but it's because those aren't solid stripes either yeah, absolutely and then we always get to design the selvage right and we are allowed to put a quote on it so this this is probably making your eyes go mad isn't it it's the worst fabric yeah. to show <laughs> on the television and it says every adventure requires a first step which is from alice, alice in wonderland, wonderland. We do these little icons so that took them one two three four five screens to print that stripe right. because there's subtle variations in the reds and the blues yeah and that is because i asked them to do it from something that was really textural to start with Great message. Morning, Janet and John. Love your work. This is you. Thank She's talking you. to you. Made your spin drift uh, design that's now hanging on my lounge wall. Looking forward to completing this one from Deborah in Kent. Spin drift, is that right? Which one was that? Spoon drift. Spoon drift. Oh, can't say spoon, spoon drift. Yeah, drift. spoon drift. There was two names on Google. One was spin drift and one was spoon drift. And I choose a spoon. But I think maybe spin drift might be better because a lot of people say... Spin drift. The spin drift at the top of the way. Only nine of the big quilt left. Oh Only nine my left. Goodness. Nine left. So there you go. So and, sorry, how many? Twelve in baskets. <gasps> so it's going to sell out. The big it's one's going to sell, sell out. out. Please be careful. So anyway, thank you very much. And the colours are all named after cities. And um, I was thinking. Have you about got red ditch there? Yeah, got red ditch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the the river, which I don't think is in the quilt. No, either. the river doesn't. So you've got the forest. You've got the map legend, the boundaries. You've got the ML stripe, and you've got the city blocks and the postage stamps which so this is hang on so that's bound that, that that's boundary, bound one, that's that one. the boundary right this is obviously your, your envelopes that one's boundary yeah. which is in the colors Sorry. lots of colors yeah boundary what, what what i was asking though was so you'll send it to them that one or that one and say this is what i want they don't just print it off they send you what they think yes. you mean and you can then yes. go 
Oh no, why have you put orange in there yeah. or why is that one mm -hmm. or, or something like that? I can that. change it over and over and yeah. over again. Um, and they are called strike-offs. So it's the strike-off process. They will literally send me back and um, the fabric hasn't been washed. So it doesn't feel very nice because it still hasn't had the excess ink washed out. Of right. Um, the, she, she's talking the about the, the strike-offs, not the fabric you Not this get. one. Yeah. Um, so I'll get the strike-offs. Normally, by that time, because it's screen printed, I can't change the actual physical design or the scale of the design, but I can play with the colours. Colours, right, okay. And sometimes I've given them eight or nine fabric designs and we only use eight or seven of them. We don't always progress all of them further than the strike -off. Okay, so some that might go to a strike off, then you, between you, you decide not to yeah. print that one up or yeah. whatever. So here, I have met, given them an idea of the multicolored one yeah. and then one with three accents, one you just know, one. just the navy on it, and they will give me a strike off from every single one of oh. these, at least every single one of yeah. these. Yeah, and then, and then you, when you, you get it home, you go, oh, that, oh, that mm -hmm. doesn't work. I or. just don't like it as much. Sometimes you like them all, and then it's a bit of a fight because the collection's got to be like thirty-two fabrics mm. because you know that's just the size of a fabric collection. Um, but oftentimes, I've got my favourite. It tends to be the low volume ones that are my favourites. This means. That on the pale background, yeah, they tend to be. Oh, you have got the multicolored map there. There you go. Oh, yeah. Um, they tend to be my favourites, and then I've got to then deselect some of the pale ones because I do need some of the darker ones. Yeah, because that's how the quilt. Oh yes, of course, yes, because then you need together. to go. You need to go to you your contrast. You do need to have them all together, don't you? You see, so that there is the same as that one. Exactly. Cream background, but with the coloured mm -hmm. lines. But then that one's got that mix of the what was it called sap green yes, plus an indigo, indigo to create that lovely teal mm -hmm. color but then you've chosen to keep all of the markings in the navy or the indigo yeah, yeah exactly that and there's quite a few screens there in the yeah screen. because yeah. you wouldn't think you'd kind of think oh that would only be like a couple but there's a few in there there's quite a few and then the green beautiful i, love I do that. really like the green thank you yeah it's nice and it goes with indigo so if you have got some of my fabrics left i do try to edge towards a new colour palette while still keeping Keep, it yeah, working so, with the others. So if you buy this but you've bought one of the ones we've got over there, yeah. that will work beautifully it with the navy blue one. Yeah. I just think that that one that, that green is just such a gorgeous colour. But that one's a slightly different green again, is it? I don't know whether it's oh, the different no, I think no, it's because it that's got the drawings the same. on it. Yeah. It's got more drawings yeah. on it. Um so yeah, it's a really lovely, lovely process and it's a collaboration and we'll make sure that whoever gets this kit is all nice, neat and tidy again. Don't oh worry. yes, please, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, right, so that's the fabric, the history of the fabric. Now, oh sorry, how did you um, then come around to design it then? So, you so it all sort of happens at the similar time. So a lot of the traditional quilts have names don't yeah. they you know mm. what they are so yeah. i knew a trip around the world would make sense for the collection and i also knew that um something to do with the world needed to come in and then i hadn't really done a lot of curved piecing mm -hmm. so i wanted to start really simple and bold with the curved piecing and that's exactly what we did so you can make the curved piecing harder by having like a na you've got the pie which is the quadrant bit here, let's go and back then to this you've bit got here. the crust which is the thinner bit so pie so that's the pie and that's the crust hang on Kate, 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 just get the camera around so th this is the pie the that's pizza the, slice that's the pie yeah. and that's the crust right and obviously you see look I've got nearly an inch there yeah and that makes it easy to piece because I could have had it meeting oh, much yes. further up yeah and then you've got a quarter inch seam allowance you've got barely quarter of an inch left of your crust of course so this if you've not done curved pieces before this is actually nice and simple it's nice and chunky and it fits in and do you do you stress. have a way that you do junk and spots? are you a pinning girl or are you a freehand girl or are you a glue pen girl definitely not glue pen right and they are pretty much all the curved piecing i've ever done so i oh. pinned okay fine i was folding the center part i've got a demo show yeah. um folding and pinning each end but not trying to pin the whole way round. just at just the top the beginning and, and the middle and the middle yeah because some people like lucy um brennan used to just match the top and the bot the top and then, just and make then it literally so, then she did lots of it and i think once you've got used to it you do yeah. a lot of that and then other people put the glue pen on stick it down and then just stitch it straight when away when you've got it i mean i'll show yeah. you they they're completely opposite yeah, each other yeah. do you think it's like doing that what's the princess seam yes, in yeah, a dress yeah, yeah. you're just thinking 
that but they don't go. fit do no. they and they, they they do they will fit they exactly. do and you're working with a slight bias yeah it's not exactly on the bias but you've got a little bit of give and the beauty of patchwork is well, you press it and you can always trim it back to square yeah. again yeah exactly all right so. there's only seven left let's talk about so now the sample that you're going to show us on is it on the smaller or the bigger smaller smaller so the smaller. same as the so one that's on the wall size let me put my samples out of the way yeah. and then i can get my demo Lovely. up and ready it's very cozy standing here next to you do you it? like it or don't you like don't it no it's more spacious it's not though it's, it's really weird it's not it's smaller it's smaller. but it's because it's a square rather than a long like corridor more space. do you want me to move then no it's all right you're all right <laughs> you're all right you're all right you're all right you're all right so lots and lots of photographs um how we made the quilt um it, we made it in four sections four uh sections and then with the sashing in between right okay so as I said, the construction for the trip around the world, you are not cutting one square, one square, one square, one square, yeah. laying them all together and putting them together. You are actually making a section like this. And can you see they've got offsets? So you've got one square, then two squares, then three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, and then one that goes from one to nine. Right. And then the bottom row, you actually sew it underneath the, the start of number two square. yeah and then when you have got them all pressed and sewn together you then cutting on this diag this so the first one doesn't line. have an indigo doesn't on have it have that because that is going to sit up you're going to move it uh, up. okay so there are notes here those arrows press 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 up that is quite important and I'm going to show you why. So there you're pressing up and that section you're pressing down. Now, when you come to cut your strips, you will see when you've made the pressing mistake and all you're going to do is just go back to your iron and press it again. Okay. But this makes the construction much, much easier because you've got the long lengths of fabric you're n and then you're subdividing them into squares. So you so never got that ever... Whole row. You're not sewing. That's the only time that you're going to have a square. Yeah. And that and one there. And there's two there. And then sometimes you need to. Yeah, yeah. Put but them at the but end. you're not cutting thousands no, of squares and stitching the thousands of squares together. You're not. Now, when I was making this, the section that I did for photographs was the top left quadrant. And it went together so beautifully because I was photographing it. I was stitching meticulously, I was cutting meticulously, and I was ironing very carefully. Right. Right. And then when I got to the last quadrant, mm. I knew what I was doing. Yeah. And I had my music on, and it all gone together. You can't tell which one I made. Right. But it was more of a little bit of a, oh, that seems not perfect. So you know me, I don't mind if you make mistakes, I don't want you to unpick for hours and hours, but if you just slow down this is famous last word yeah. coming from me if you slow down and do your most careful job it will go together so smoothly okay. if it if it doesn't you will still get a lovely quilt because i did but it was very interesting to see in the space of the one quilt how doing it really methodically yeah. to doing it doing just it like, with the radio on yeah. and just you know oh that will go fine so just be aware now then, I've got my little sample here of the rows that you move. Uh, I just made them with the leftovers I had, so they're not exactly what you've got. So you've got to cut them exactly as they say in the pattern. Okay. The first thing I wanted to show you was this pressing. So if we are pressing so that the fabric... Yeah. So look, this would be here. This would be one square. Perfect. One square... Yeah. and then the two squares yeah. there and it says to press up now if you press that fabric all the seam allowance up yeah when you come to cut it with your rotary cutter can you see that's a nice smooth edge right to line it up with yeah if you pressed it down can you see oh, you've now you can't yes. see and it's little tips like that 
that um, me making the sample while you're writing the pattern is essential for me yeah. or Pippa. Pippa's really good at this, but I made this one. And it's little things like that. If I can note them, we put them in the pattern. That's a game changer because look how hard that is. Yes now to line up but so also don't be thinking oh that's just janet saying press it that way i'll be fine right. i'll come to it later but actually you are telling us it's easier from the it's, word dot to do is, it straight it away it really is so yeah. now we imagine that this is this long stretch here yeah and it goes here we've got this bit can you see again if you've pressed it down i can now line this up immediately because you need that square yes okay so you will be your future friend if you do that so that's why that is so detailed in the pattern. Lovely. I don't normally, not normally quite so good at yes, following yeah. those things. And here is my little imaginary strips and they are ready. They're all ready for you to pull up. See, can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been like that. Yeah. That would have been like that. And that would have been like yeah. that. Yeah, so you've got your one, your two, your three, your four, and yeah, then the one with whatever. the one miss. And it's really, because you've got quarter inch seam allowance, you've still got seam allowance there and I've pressed all the seams. Yeah. And then when they're all cut, you're just going to go, that goes up there, that goes up there, and that one goes up there. So you can see how satisfying that is. Mm. And then here, you would be putting in your curved piecing and then the odd little squares to fill it in. Yeah, but the bulk of it the is all done like this. The bulk of it is all yeah. done like that. And then you're sewing. And then I like to press my seams open. So what I was doing when it was cut was that I was then repressing the seams so they're open because my long armour prefers them yeah. like that. Um, and also, I've got them all facing the same direction. So you've got an awful lot of fabric sat yes. there. So again, don't skimp that. You either want to offset them or I just press them open. Right. Um, because you've got a lot of bulk there. But this is all part of um, the challenge and progressing when you're making quilts, isn't it? You do actually want them to, you want to feel like you're progressing and learning new things, yeah. not just making the same thing. And this is really fun for a scrappy quilt even if you because that trip around the world you can use any fabrics you like i was going to say the trip around the world i've got is multicolored. it's got a navy blue yeah. background but all the squares are all it's different colors different. yeah yeah exactly so if you've got the pattern once you've bought it you've you got the pattern the or you bought the, the pattern on its own as well you, yeah. you could do that on your own and as long as you're following the the offset and then it all sh shuffles up it's so clever and i've seen them where you sew them together in a spiral have you seen that you actually have a continuous roll. Oh, like on a bar so you would, Yes, yeah, so yeah. you'd have a continuous, it would be, I don't even know, much bigger and, than yeah, that. Yeah, but then you and unpick. And then you put, unpick yes, so they're in the yeah, right order. Yeah. Um, but this is actually simpler because on a Bargello you can suddenly go oh, I've got to unpick between two and three and you don't, you unpick between three and four and then you suddenly think oh my squares have all gone, gone, gone yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this way okay. you've just literally, like you say, yes, literally. you started with that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You've cut them and then you can just slide them to where you want them. Slide them where you want them yeah. to go. And you're only making one section at a time. Yeah. Um, so obviously the stripes will be different. Are they different yes, for different each quadrant? different placing because we've got the diamond of the indigos that of course, frame yes. the globe. And these are, should we move yeah, over? You go, you go, you go. So that is, that's your pie. Yeah. So that's the random square Oh, hang there. on a sec, just need cat, sorry she was busy yeah she made a run um so there's your little curved piecing so there's a square there and then this is actually part of that sashing oh yes stripe. of course yes. and then you've got the vertical sash there yeah but sometimes you're putting a couple of squares next to each other mm -hmm. and that's when it's useful when you can step back and have a look yeah of course uh, but there's lots and lots of photographs in the pattern yeah because you're, you're, you're all your, your crusts in these are all your navy blues so that's creating your frame there yes. and then you fill in yeah. in between your frames with yes. the square so you can see how that the stripe started because it that goes there and yeah. you pushed it up a square so i've had to put the indigo square in there as an extra yeah and then the next row you've put two indigo squares in yeah to get it up so there you go. Fantastic. So, uh, you see it all at once. It yeah. looks overwhelming. Okay, so Ben, what were you saying about um, stock of the big one? There's seven of the big one left and 13 in baskets. So if you want that, you need to check out. What about the smaller one? 
We had more of the stock of the bigger one and the smaller one. Right? Okay, it's 30 left, but when you all check out, there'll be four left. There'll be four of those left, and we had more of those. The pattern on its own, absolutely flying out. 11.99, obviously it is, because you can do it in multicolours. Perfect. All right, then let's carry on then with Drunkard's Pathways. Is that what we're doing Drunkard's next? Drunkard's Path. Now, when I was making these, you cut out squares to start with. And one will be a pie and one will be a crust. And I thought, there's too much waste. I was going to say. There's too much waste. I don't like it. I don't like having random pieces in the scraps that I don't know what to do well, with. Well, also, they would be weird shapes. It's not they like squares you've shapes. got left over. They're they going to be weird shapes. Once you've cut a pie out of that. Yeah. And you've got a bias edge and you don't know what size it is. Yeah. All the rest of it. Um, so, what I did was... I actually put my scraps together. So this is the rest of the square that's cut from the pie. Right. And that is the pie that's cut from the border. Yeah. Now, as you can see, they don't go together beautifully. No. But you can trim them down to a useful size. And then with the leftovers, I made this, which I thought could be a cushion. Okay, so these are nothing to do with the quilt. This you is don't... what you do with the leftovers just wow. from the drunken path. But that would have been a waste. It to put those been in a, a box. That, you'd never have used this no, or that, you wouldn't. would you? And, you no. and obviously, what you can do, even though, this is why I'm telling you this first, I'm showing you this first rather than the other one. If you haven't done curved piecing before, these are brilliant for practicing on. Oh, because even yes. though they don't meet perfectly you have put a convex into a cave yes and this is so low risk like who cares yes yeah if it goes wrong it goes wrong but it's a really good way of practicing you've gone you've pieced you've worked out the curve you've got your seam allowance you've worked out how to press it to get it smooth of course and all you're doing then when you move on to the real ones that work perfectly you've gone to just going to pay more attention to getting the edges to match but this seemed like a real a gift yes for learning a new technique and i do not like having the waste and i don't like asking people to buy a certain amount of fabric and then throwing that much that away. That much away. Mm. So it's up to you. You can put it on the back. You can completely ignore it. It's up to you. But the idea is there. And I think we've got a little photograph in the pattern of it so you can think about it. But I thought that would be, that's actually quite a nice size for a little pillow yeah. or something, isn't it? And you could arrange them however you like. There's just a funny number. So I didn't know. You could, I could have had circles, but then not enough circles. Yeah, exactly. You could have a circle there and a circle there and then some odd ones yeah. anyway you can play with it yeah so that's why i'm telling you that first even though that's not how you do this. yes but that's what's that's left over practice. that's so you're not going to waste it yeah the practice so you will be starting with two squares and you have your template so mine have got drawings and writing all over them uh-huh um and as you can see you've got this um uh, convex and then you just think how are they going to go together yeah and then with the templates, you are going to cut out one pie and one crust. Now with the crust, because I've chosen directional fabric, you're going to want to think about which way up these trees are going to end up in the thing. Can you see? Oh yes, the they're all I've going cut, the right way up, yeah. The way I have cut that is obviously, and again, this is discussed in the pattern, that will sit like this in the quilt. This is multi-directional, it doesn't matter. But this, I want the trees going up that way. So you've got to think about that because even though you're making the identical blocks, you don't really want it to sit in the quilt with the trees going sideways or, or upside, upside down. down. Okay. Or maybe you do, you know, whatever. Well, I was gonna say, it, it depends on how you, because you've also got all your Air Force stripes going in the same direction. I have. And Honestly, I was almost like a different person making that quilt. Yeah, because normally you, you don't normally care about I things just like, like that. Oh, whatever, I haven't got time. Um, but I was a good girl this time. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do to mark up the uh, the thing, I've used a bit of soap. It's really nice to mark up on the darker fabric. Uh huh. 
Um, a good morning both. I adore the fabric colours. You have such a good eye for tonality. It will. Aww, I will certainly be looking out for these fabrics from Eileen in the East Riding of Yorkshire. Well, hopefully um, they may appear on uh, yeah. sewing sheets. So now that's not chalk you're using then? It's a, a little slither of old Is it imperial soap. leather? No, I buy really nice soap. And imperial leather's not really nice for no, those I who love it. I buy really <laughs> nice sort of with um, essential oils. And, okay. You know, I buy yeah. really nice soap uh -huh. um, because... A, it, it's a very affordable luxury uh -huh. and it lasts for ages yeah. and I know I'm going to put it in my sewing bag for even longer so it's just very satisfying. And does it still it smell to, then? Not as much, uh, probably not that much. Yeah. But anyway, okay, there you go. So, you've so it's really nice for marking up a bit of soap. Uh, it doesn't matter what you use on the back of the, the paler fabric because it's easier to yeah. see. Okay, so you've cut those out. And you cut on the line of the template, you don't have to add any seam allowance or anything like that. No, it's all no. done. Yeah. It's all done. So now I've got to get those two together. So why I've got my little notes here, um, I want these the centre parts, I want to see them and them to match. Yeah. But if you do two mountain folds, which means that the, the ridge is on the right side of the fabric, mm -hmm. then when you come to put them together, they fight against each other yeah. because they're both standing proud. Mm -hmm. So with this one, and I've got it on my note here, you actually want to fold it so it sits inside. Is that the instructions? Um, I think so. Okay, but... I think so. Right. Um, if you do it once, then you think, oh, actually, they're not sitting nicely together, then you will remember. Does and write it, your own little note. Does it matter which one is the valley and which one is the mountain? Probably not. No. But, see, they look like they fit there. They do, they do fit, obviously. But it's when you come to do this that you think, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, hold on a minute. So all you're going to do is you are going to then i've got these and they're hugging each other you probably can't see it but actually they're not resisting each other yeah yeah so the mountain so of the pie fits, fits in, in the, the fold of the valley of the <laughs> crust i've this made it even why, more confusing I know. this is why my patterns have so many diagrams and pictures in because what we have just said is right but try writing Take that it. down yes. and then reading it thinking what, what the, does she mean what yeah. is she doing and if it's something you haven't done before you'll be thinking oh, i can't do it and also I some people are pure visual learners oh, they don't take any notes of the writing yeah um right so now this one this edge has to go here yeah and again you're going to pin that but again, it still looks like it's not going to go it together. It does look like it's not. And maybe it won't. Who knows? This yeah. is live telly. Yeah. Um, and then what you want to do, I, I'm i not very experienced at curved piecing, but I found it easier to have this crust on the top. Right. What do you think? Have you got any experience? Yes, what do you I think? would do it the other way around. Would you? Yeah. You'd have the bit that you've... But hang on, when you do, I'm because I'm dressmaking. You're aren't dressmaking. I? So You're I would on a always sleeve, have the you? one or princess scene. Yeah, with the with the frill so, so on the top. The frill, yes. Yeah, so yeah. This one with the excess. Yeah. You would have on the top. Yeah. That's what I think yes, as well. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. That's what I think as well. So then all you're going to do without really stretching, just try and get it to sort of behave itself a little bit. Yeah. And you can pin as much as you like. Yeah. And then what happens is if it goes together beautifully, it goes together beautifully. And if it doesn't, you trim it back to square. Did you best press the fabrics first? I didn't starch the, um, the curved piece in because I think you do actually want it to stretch a bit, uh -huh. don't you? I did starch the, um, the other one. Yeah. Whatever that's called. Right, now I'm going to be very brave and attempt to sew this Do it live on, on telly it'll either go well or it won't yeah but the thing is you're practicing on practicing all your little wonky off cuts and then they'll go well or they won't yeah um and then you want a quarter of an inch seam allowance and you just have to hope for it also what you need to do is when you're sewing you make sure the bit that you're sewing is completely flat yes you will have a pie frill yeah. going on on the yeah, right yeah, hand yeah. side you, will. you ignore that as long as the bit that you're stitching actually, is flat that's good tip because what you, you can actually yes look you can start folding that up yeah and you're trying to keep this quarter inch seam allowance I would probably have a slightly smaller um, stitch mm -hmm. and you're just going to really just take your time 
this would probably be painfully slow on the television. That's all but right. But let's give you hope that you can, you know, let's face it, if I can do it with my wonky stitching, yeah. anyone can yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, stitching. once you get used to them, it's actually really easy doing curves like that. It's just the first time you do it, you just kind of think, oh, this isn't going to work, this it isn't going to work. It doesn't feel like it's ever going to work. There we go. Um, and the, as you say, you are only, ma how many are you making? Three, six, nine, twelve. You're only making twelve in the whole quilt. Yeah. And they have the massive impact on how it looks. So it's well worth learning. And it's a really good skill to have because some patterns that you may have sort of discounted in the past yeah. will open up to you because you've actually had a go. Yeah, exactly. And I say you've got all those, you've got 12 scrap pieces yeah. to play with. Also, when you've got the templates, you can go onto you Pinterest. Can just do. And yeah. Because I was so shocked by, I thought, oh, you can only do one pattern with a drunkard's no, pathway. No, no. You can make so, like at least 10, 12 yeah. patterns yeah. of a quilt just by doing drunkard's pathway just blocks. Just by doing yeah. drunkard's path. That is what's endlessly fascinating to me about patchwork you know you take well look at the sewing the yeah, squares together yeah, yeah. half square triangles yeah. this is a curved piece now i've been a bit distracted but oh. it will it will it's together okay it's together it won't be your world's best thing so i'm just managing this frill every now and again so that i've got the bit that i'm actually working on keep your needle in yeah the actual bit that I'm working on is hopefully going to be flat and then mind the edge and what you want to do is keep that edge as flat as you can mm -hmm. anyone who's got lots of experience will be thinking she did that wrong she did that wrong could have done there's that no better. right or wrong though doesn't matter no here you go look at that that's not too shabby no, not at all not too shabby and then what you're going to do is you're going to press the seam there is a tiny little oh, thing yeah. there but look I can iron that out I was going to say some out. little tucks you don't need to unpick because some of them are ones they that press out if you've got a great out. big pleat in there then you do have to and unpick that you want that. to go so you can set that seam first that's what we should do set yeah. the seam first there you go set the seam there you go perfect I've got a little helper a little yeah. lining person for me so you always set the seam and that seems again that seems like an unnecessary step but actually it means that the fabric stays where you've wanted it to stay. Yeah. And then you're gonna press away from, there you go, perfect. Perfect. There you go. One live television curved piecing that went fine. It's just fine. And as I say, you can always square it up if you need to. And you've only got to do 12 of those. Do them as a bit of production line. There you go, beautiful and it's lovely and warm. Lovely, lovely and warm. Don't do one and then walk away terrified. No. Do a few. You don't need to do 12, but do a few because then you'll get your get your little tips in and then it's all well, also you get your muscle, muscle memory. memory. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we know what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. About. But I, I, I agree with you. Do all the practice all ones. Those. Make a cushion cover before you've even started. That's why I showed you. Now, then, that's the practice one. They're not designed to work together. So that's why it's all over the place. Yeah. And that's how it will look but the techniques are exactly the same lovely do you want to just how, what time oh, is it we talk about sewing kits yeah but i'm gonna i'm just gonna go over there a minute just recap and then Where i'll come back to you in a second all right i'll get my sewing right. kit so out. remember everyone who buys a janet claire item today your name goes in a virtual hat and you could win this one off little picture that she's uh applique and um free motion right quilt kits the big one the 95 by 95 inches there are how many left six left 12 in baskets now uh, it's 190 pounds split pay 63 33 you get so much fabric in here Lo and it's brand spanking new only launched at the london show a couple of weeks ago so only people who've been to the stitching show in london will have seen this no one else will have seen this yet so you've got gorgeous stamps you've got your little boundaries you've got your um bf i keep saying bfpo it's because when my dad was working in the persian gulf and we had to write to him you used to do it on um that really really thin what was it called airmail paper Air airmail Mail. paper and it had that around the edge of the envelope didn't it then we've got the all the different things these mean um what were they pathways fences boundaries rivers all sorts of things like that in colors this is just gorgeous this is new york New York, mm. New York. This is the lovely uh, Forest of Dean. Then you've got your boundaries in that gorgeous. Now, this is a new colour. This is called Sap Green. 
Um, yeah, it's named after a city which I can't remember, but the paint I started with was sap, sap green, green, right? But then this is the sap green mixed with indigo to give you that really lovely teal colour. Then you've got your really, fr now it's not a navy, it's not a dead navy, it's a really, really beautiful, lively navy that. Plus all your instructions, plus your templates for your drunkard's pathway. Uh, please be careful because that will sell out and people will miss out and your name will go in the hat to win the little picture. Then we've also got the, the small one. Now it's not small, it's still 57 by 57. You get all the same fabric. Now the technique is exactly the same, right? But the squares are just smaller. The squares yeah. are just smaller in this one. So you, your finished quilt, whether you buy the big one or the smaller one, will look exactly like that. But it just means your drunkard pathway will be bigger, your squares will be bigger, uh, but they will look exactly like that. So you'll have that trip around the world. There's how many? 25 left. You can see them in there now. It's quite nice. You could be waving. Well, to yeah, them. you could wave, but it, it, his microphone's not working, so I have to look to see his lips moving. <laughs> Enough 30 in baskets see people are going to miss out people are going to miss out on that one as well beautiful make sure you check out your name mm. will go in the virtual hat want the instructions on their own there you go 11.99 half the stock of those have gone half the stock of that's gone already we've got lots of that but you know if you buy that if for 11.99 your name also goes in the virtual hat so one of you the, the, it's not it's not what's it's not uh, what's it, there's no favoritism the more you spend the more likely to you you're to win it's whoever buys from the janet care collection today your name goes into the virtual hat right now i've got to be very very quick and we'll talk through these in a second we've got three sewing kits here actually what we might do is i might introduce them now but we could talk about them in the next hour if that's all right yeah absolutely. because we're going to run out of time and don't go into jane's hour whereas the next hour it doesn't matter if we go a little bit over because it's just me so i'll show you the kits and everything you can make these right this these are from different fabrics but you make the pouch you make the little needle holder you can make the little scissor holder you can make the little pin cushion and the pouch all for 19.99 uh, bon voyage first brand new fabric bon voyage first half the stock's gone but lots of those half the stock's gone this is getting worse just so you know 11.99, uh, 19.99, 19.99, not 11, that was the pattern, 19.99 for that one. We've also got it into the C. Now also, remember what we just said, that fabrics from this range will go with the fabrics from to the C, because Janet uses colour ranges that introduces something new each time, but then also harps back to what Thank she's you. done before, so they'll all go beautifully yep. together. 19.99. Uh, you get everything you need in there don't you absolutely everything you need and if you just want the pattern you only need 42 squares L little because that's squares. all that's in there yeah. so you know you can cobble it all together with all your odds and ends cobble it we don't do cobble cobbling, it no, we don't. We don't. and then we've got the astra 19.99 there you go oh we'll find it in a second for you Astra, number five. Well, it's still not come in. There it is. There's your one in Astra. And if you just want the pattern on its own, here's the pattern on its own. Nine ninety nine. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, Jill, uh, we're still waiting. The, uh, Jill, I'll just explain very quickly. We haven't done the, the winner of the eggs in the jar because all the, the thingies went through to the email and nobody got access to the email. So I haven't been able to see who, what, who wrote the right number down. But it is being sorted now. Uh, Janet, you're a very calming and a chilled guest <laughs> presenter. We <laughs> love you. watching you. Um, Jean, love listening to your sketchbook journey. See what I mean? Um, and lots of love coming in for you there. Right, OK, we're going for a break now. Jan will be back in an hour where we've got a wall hanging that's all about the seaside. And, oh, a lovely book. A lovely book, which book. I adore, the Countryside Flower Book. And some embroidery. And, oh, and embroidery as well. So listen to Jane. And she'll what? tell you how to do it properly and then you can do my little project <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> all right, she'll we'll see you in four minutes with Jane. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> right, I need Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again.
head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. For ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Right, Jill and everybody else who wants to know about the eggs. Uh, this is what happens when you have a few days off and nobody emails you to tell you. There were 281, did you say, Ben? 281 sweets were in the jar and the winner has been announced and they ha will be contacted. So that's what, sorry, I, I got completely the wrong end of the stick on that one. So uh, they did get into the emails, 281. So if you'd put 281, right, so if more than one person put 281, then they put all of those people into a hat and then pulled one of those out sort of thing. But one person has won the £100 credit to go on your account. I don't know who it is, but I'll find out later. Right, Jane's here, Jane Greenoff's here. Hello, Jane. Watcher, watch watcher, watcher, watch watch matey. Watch right, now we've got to show you these straight away. These were supposed to be later on in the show, but we need to tell you these because they're absolutely flying out. Now, in the box, you can just kind of think, ooh, that's not very big, is it? That's a, that do two globes in a box on Ada, 49.99. But it, I can't tell you how gorgeous this is. Kat's just going to do you a close-up now. Ta-da. Ta-da. Look, there it is look at that isn't it gorgeous now jane if you could just stand next to it so you can actually see the, see the yeah. size of it because it's enormous it look it's huge for 49.99 now we have got on linen as well but the ada is more popular way more than half the stock has gone so what oh it's the favorite thing we've ever had to, to ben on cross stitch from the cross stitch guild favorite thing we've ever had 49.99 now i'll open a box please do oh now this box is ripped i didn't rip this no, box no 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 i've was that I'll you check you no it wasn't me not this time i just i cut my you nails last is. night didn't i so i've got no cat have you got a little like knife or something oh there's only four left now <laughs> i'll have got the um the bo the box will be um open i mean they'll have sold out before i've even got the box open look oh three left now so many of you got this in your baskets i'll still show you though Oh, he's not going to tell me how many because it'll scare me, apparently. There's only three left. Look, so. Oh, look. Oh, my word. Look at all of this. So you've got all your cork. How beautiful are those? There you go. Look at those. They're stunning. All sorted for you onto cards with the numbers. There's your needle. This. This Ada's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it nice? You wouldn't even know that was Ada. Then, look at all of this. You get so <laughs> much in here. You've got your coloured chart. You've got your stitch chart. Now, there'll be lots of those because obviously you need to join them all together. So you get, oh, I'll show you, look, actually, very quickly. Look, 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 look. This is eight pages of coloured in chart. Two left, two left, two left. Oh, we should have got more of these. Oh, look at that whale. Anyway, 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 that's it. That. One left. Do you want me to tell the story of this map? Uh, you, can, you can do in a second. I'll just, I'll just get them all sold and then we'll do the story. Uh, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. So that's the Ada one sold out. There's only four of the linen left. Well, okay, the linen one is exactly the same. I'm not going to open the box, except you get really, really beautiful linen in it rather than the yeah. piece of Ada there. Right, you hope? We're going to ask if we can get any more because I think upstairs should have bought... Look, there's the be oh, beautiful, beautiful linen in this one. So how many of these left there? Say four or six. Four of these left. Oh, the six in baskets. Yeah. Okay, right, tell us the story then. <laughs> <laughs> is there any point? Yes, there is. A, the story is this was taken from a map that was drawn in 1656. Um, and um, so that's why some places aren't on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, we, cause you, want to, you couldn't find Australia earlier, well, could no, you? No, exactly. There's no Australia because no. we haven't found it yet. Okay. Um, so it was the, the, the map my husband drew because he, he loves maps. Oh wow. So so we had a we had a, a print of this very we don't have the original obviously. I wish we did. No, oh, I can't imagine. Um and um and then we 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 added all the little 
novelties in the water. Yeah. And what I'd like to have done, if I could have done it, would have been have the four winds blowing. You know, oh, that wow, a, yes, a the gusty faces, they, yes, yeah. But they looked like some sort of monster. It was oh, horrible. no. I couldn't do it. Looked like a gargoyle at the yes, side. Yes, exactly. So I did this decorative flower. Oh, sold out. Ad. Sold out, sold out. We that, will find, we're making a phone call now to see if we can get any more, but I can't guarantee that we can. Um, very quickly, so so husband did the map. Yes. And, and then, then you did all the little did um, flowers. The and, around and um and the little flowers and insects to be of the time, of the period. Yes, of course. And what's the thing at the top then? What's it say? Uh, Nova. Now, you see, my husband will be able to tell you what this means, and I can't. Oh, OK, don't worry. Something, it means something Geographica. Yeah, Hydrangea yeah, tablet, tablet yes, like that. Sorry. Will he be watching, but or is he out real. playing cricket today? Uh, he won't be playing cricket, I don't think. He won't be watching cricket. OK, watching. Um, uh, cricket was completely rained off at Bristol. Oh, uh, it was a really bad so, rain, wasn't it? Because you had terrible yes. rain. Yeah. I mean, I think Bristol had part of that storm of something or other. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that, everybody. Oh, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. I love the rainbow, joining them two together in the middle as well. Ian's on the phone at the moment, trying to get more of those. So I'll just put it to one side. I will put it to one side. But the whole reason today, Jane is today, is to launch the April, which you've got over there, the April calendar checking. pocket. Now, you know, we've done January, February and March, which we've got available today as well. But here is the April. Go to the upstairs camera. There we go. Uh -huh. uh, on, on Jane's desk, sorry. There we go. There it is. There it is. The April. Now, we're so doing we, one of these a month, aren't we? We do one of these a month. Um, here are the previous ones. Yeah, which I'll show you those in a second. Yeah. Just push them across a little bit further, Jane, for me. That way. That, woo -woo -woo. But bear with me, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. It's like rubbing your hands and it's, and your it's head. all back to front. Yeah, Everything's exactly. Back front. Yes, so we, one, of our, one of our viewers, bless them, announced that it ought to be called a posy pocket, uh -huh. which they are. Now. Yeah. And this is the April version. And um, I wanted to sort of explain. The fabric is a piece of linen band. What we can do, let me go, if we yes. go through them, yes. and then I'll come over and oh, we can well, manhandle each yes. other and everything like that. Well, that's that. what we'll do. Perfect. Right, Lovely, then. perfect. So that's your April one, seventeen ninety nine. It's called Love in the Mist. Half the stock has gone already. Very, very busy today. Okay, so that was April. We also have March, which was the, oh, we'll go through all of this with, with Jane yes, in a second. Yes. Then we've got March, which is the daffodil. It's all going on today. His microphone's not working. Now his chair's rolled over his jacket. <laughs> it's one of those days, everybody. Yep. So this is March with the daffodil. There it is. Lovely. Then we also got February, which was the snowdrop. Beautiful. Okay, I can't get you any more of those uh, globes today, I'm afraid. So, Jane, you'll have to come back again very, very soon with more of those. We'll have to have them next time, yeah. maybe, won't we? Yeah, I can't get them today. I'll have a yeah. conversation with management when yes. I'm finished here. And we'll have more of them next time, please. And then, January, the Red House, Hellebore. Now, I was calling these Heliobores, and the ladies were messaging saying I was saying it wrong. Hellebore. Hellebores. Yes, Hellebore. They're Christmas roses, Christmas aren't they, Hellebores? Yeah. Let's have yeah. Christmas roses, because it's easier, isn't it? Has Jane seen the samplers from the 1900s in the old post office in Tintagel? I saw them and thought of you immediately. That I was haven't Sue. seen them. Oh. Um, so that's something else to think about. Yeah, somewhere else to Funny go. Funny enough, we did go to a public house once, Bill and I, which is quite rare really. Yeah. And there were a lot of samplers on the wall. And we had a conversation about them. I said, of course, if I nicked one, do you think they'd know? And there was much laughter about all this. And a week later, they were cleared. <gasps> Stolen. Yes, so they wouldn't have known. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, no. But Sorry, you could, yeah. Right, now, something we really, re this is huge, this is. Special sampler coronation of King Charles III flying out. Now, we've got lots of these, absolutely lots of these. Which are we going to do first? Linen is now the most limited, so we'll start with that one. Fewer than 20 left now. F 18, to be precise. There's 18 of those left. Now, Jane's got the real thing on her desk. We just do that for you. There you go. Just move it across for Jane. That's it. There Brilliant. 
so, so that's this, the real thing that's on linen that's where it's on linen and i wanted to, we we're going to talk about linen and ada in a minute yeah, when yeah, we've yeah. been through everything yeah uh that's the royal um oh fish crest no no it's come to me back in a minute okay Cypher. i think Cypher. That... Cypher. it's the royal cypher cypher it's, it's, it's the royal cypher it's it's prince charles's the king charles's choice yes. And it's the thing that goes on letterboxes. And, oh, oh, um, so that'll be it. And, so and the ER thing it, that we've had for years, it's now the CR. So that's it. Um, it's, it's obviously I had to minimise the crown a bit. Yes. Because there's an awful lot more jewels on it. But that was the best <laughs> I could do to get it in. <laughs> anyway, anyway, get this home. Get, get, well, the thing is, you don't have to have it done for no. the time. It's just a, a celebration thing, like plates and mugs and tea towels yeah, and everything absolutely. like that. This is the same sort and of thing, isn't it? And it would make it? a cushion centre or a picture. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's, or just do bits. I think the Royal Cypher's rather fun. Yes, yeah. That would make a nice little kit. Of some oh, sort. I suppose what you could do is you could miss, miss, the, miss the date off. Yes. And just have it as a, as a, as a him, thing. his as crest a and things. Yes. What's it called? Cypher. Cypher. Royal oh, Cypher. Never heard that now. before. Okay, so that's the linen one. 15 left and 20, over 20 in baskets. 15 left over 20 in baskets. Even more in baskets now. That's the linen version. Then we've also got it in Ada. Oh, Ada's caught up now. You read more of the Ada to begin with. Okay, and how many baskets? Okay, oh, oh no, I'm not even going to say numbers because the numbers are flying up as we're actually, <laughs> so I'd be going like this, 12, 14, 15, da, 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 like that, so I'm not going to say numbers. So there's your A diversion, we'll talk about that when I go over in a sec. We, we're going to have to talk, because at this rate we're going to have a sellout by quarter past, yeah, exactly. So that's that one, that's that one. Then the other gorgeous thing we've got here today is the uh, alphabet and crown pin cushion in what in linen one left <laughs> we haven't even have you got it over there on the desk yes, right? i've got it here but it's I'm on linen. the desk over there if you want to see I've the real thing linen version here that's the linen version that's what i've got in at the moment you need to check out check out check out just put your hand in shot jane so we can see the size of it brilliant there you go 13 in baskets that's going to sell out oh my word I've got it on ada Nice Ada, actually. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in a second. When, it, when himself joins me, we'll have a yes. chat about stuff. Now, four Adas left. Oh, uh, I'll come back. I won't do needles and books now. I'll, I will go off and do demos, and then I'll come back and do books and needles after we've done all of that. So, I don't know what's left. The globe's definitely gone. The uh, coronations will definitely go. They'll definitely go. The pouch, uh, the April pouch is flying out. Let's just ch check the April pouch before I go over. Oh, Ben's getting all stressed. Don't get stressed, darling. Yeah, you can look at him, tell him that now, look. 17 for April, love in a mist. Half the stock has gone, we had loads. We had loads and loads of those of these. Yeah, right, come on then, I'm coming over. You're coming Don't over. slip on the mat. Oh, there's a step ladder there, isn't there? There you go. How are you? I'm very well. Oh. Nice to see and you. And you, and you. Look, Hello, very gorgeous on blue. Right. So, what do you want? Right. Hang on a sec. So, you just Regroup. you just talk about whatever you want to talk about because everything's going to sell out anyway. Right. So, I'm going to what show do you, you want something. to talk about? Yeah. Well, just so you know about the. For those of you who are new to it and haven't come across Ada and Linen yet, I want to show you something. Now this, you can't have this, and it's no good ringing up, because you can't. Is this okay? something new you're designing? No. Oh. This is Ada and Linen. Right. Have I got it in the right place? More or less. Okay. So this is 14 count Ada in cream. Right. And this is 28 count Linen in a sort of slightly beigey colour. And the same chart has created both. Right. So now it proves that linen isn't finer it's the same yes this one you work over the squares which yeah. you can clearly see this one you work over two f threads in the fabric right so that's so this is the a reproduction of a needle case or a little purse that was made in 1780 1790 and i charted it from the original 
courtesy of Whitney Antiques, mm -hmm. and it's part of the subscription gift in 23 to members of the guild. Oh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. So, so, you, so, so if, you remember, you. if you're a member of the guild, you will be able to get the pattern for it. Exactly. Okay, we'll talk about that so, afterwards. So then. I just want you to have a look at the backs. Yeah. Now, you're, you're the person who says, I never look at the back of people, back of them, because if somebody walked in and looked at the back of mine, you'd I'd slap smack them. smack hands. Yes. Yes. I think it's rude to actually look at the back in a sort of... Um, What's the word? In, in a discri discriminating, commenting, or yes, yeah. sneering, or whatever, whatever. The reason you want it tidy is if it isn't tidy, the front looks rubbish. Right. Really? Uh, yes, of course, it's great to make it reversible. And some mm. stitches are reversible. And if it's something that's going to be seen both sides, oh, yes, obviously. inevitably you've got to get it back. Yeah, yeah. But I do think sometimes people can be a bit tiresome. Yeah actually so this is so what were you showing us on the back then i was actually showing that it's almost it's you know yeah. it's very tidy yeah it's very it's not, tidy but not reversible no no because you can see where you've you jumped to, to a go. couple of stitches yeah. and so the thing is if you were like you're saying if you were doing reversible project oh if you were doing You're a reversible project, here. then you would, you'd know you were doing that and you wouldn't jump stitches, you'd just do exactly. them all. Yeah. And there are ways of doing cross stitch, so it's cross stitch on the back as well. Oh, okay. It's quite fiddly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're having that, and there are classes out there where they do band samplers and actually both sides are that, si But that's lovely if that's what you want to do. Exactly. If you're sitting at home and you just love doing cross stitch. It, Make make it fun. Don't yes. get stressed about it. Exactly. I think is what exactly. I'm we don't use knots on the back. Right. And that's not about um, knots on the back. It's about that the wretched things show on the front. You know, when you've pressed your thing to frame it, you're going to see knots. Oh, uh, okay. So that's the whole reason you don't do a knot. Yes. yes. If you do a knot, it's on the front. Yes. And I'll show As a you decoration. It. No, no, not necessarily. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. No, no, I see. So you do a knot that you then cut off later. Yes. Yeah. So this yeah. is an away waist knot. Yeah. So it's away. But there's a knot from in where the you're end. Going to stitch. Yeah. And then you can snip this one off and hem that back into your stitch. Yes. Can't you? yeah. yeah. Let me just yank But also through. when you're doing French knots and colonial knots, oh. they're the knots on the front, aren't they're they? They're knots on the front. And yeah. that's what I was going to show. I've had emails from folk. Oh yes. Who wanted me to show the difference between a colonial knot and a French knot. Right. I think colonial knots are easier. Is that because that's your go-to knot, or do I, you think it's... I think it partly, because people... I mean, I've struggled with French knots. I've had all the wretched things on the back or up mm. the thread. <laughs> you know, it, and it can be tiresome. So I suppose it's a mindset. If you do French knots properly, they never go through. But I thought I'd show you on here. Yeah. And uh, let me... I've got one here that's... I've taken... I wanted to show these as they are. Yes. So this is... This is a piece of linen band. This is the pockets, right? right? I'm just going to go and get April from over here. Let me just, I don't know if I can sniff a little bit more. As I said, we're going to have to talk because we've sold everything. <laughs> yeah, well, no, we've got, got some April, we've got some April because we had lots and lots of April ones from you. But oh, let me just show you what you get in your kit that, because um, then... Then we can talk about yeah, it properly. Each month is the same, it's the same it's idea, shape, isn't it? You yes. get the same... Oh. And when we've got them all and we do the shows... Yeah. So the next spring, for instance, we'll have them up like bunting, hanging oh, in the stand. Oh yes, it'd gorgeous. Really yeah. But it'd be like an annual. It could be like an annual advent calendar, yes, couldn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. We've got a picture of all of them. Bruce got a picture of all of them. Look, have a look at this. Look, there's all of them. Oh, actually, one oh, that is them. that's not the one we took on the first no, month, no. is it? The first tell month, them, Jane them. left the real thing. <laughs> the, when we launched the whole thing, right? Jane was photocopying January and left it at home. So the complete launch of this range, we didn't even have January. But what you get, <laughs> I think it was fascinating. Right, what you actually get is you get a piece of linen like this. And don't that's you? what is important to understand. Because you haven't got any finishing to do. Can you see? That's the selvage. Oh! It's a piece that is woven on a shuttle that size. Yes, yes, yes. So the only sewing you've got to do is your cross stitching. Yes. And then when you make your little pocket at the yes. bottom. And look at that. That's how the pocket's made. All you've got to remember is some of it's stitched on the back. Yes. So I'm actually going to unpick the side of this oh, okay, to demonstrate then. it. So while you talk about oh, the chart. Yeah, a couple of messages while we do that. Oh, good. Uh, Jane, oh, Jane, oh, Jane, what have you done? Just had to drop the sampler and the cushion in my basket. Oops, today's it. Hope you checked out, Carolyn. Because if you put it in your basket, Sorry. it won't make it yours. 
Uh, hi, John and Jane. Just a little shout out. Say that I love Jane. You've made me and my kids love doing cross stitch from Kerry in Cumbria. Well, Kerry, that's lovely. Thank you. Aww. That's smash all of you. Brought me out in goosebumps oh, now. Oh, shut up. Silly old bag. Silly old bag. Thank she you. said it, not me. I said it. I she said, said it. it. Right. So it's the thing is, the instructions are so thorough. You've got everything you need to know in the instructions. So you, you start off with this piece of linen. Yes. And when Jane's unpicked that one, I'm you'll see that you, you do some minute. of the cross stitch on the front, some on the back, because you're going to, fold, what you're going to do is you're going to fold that edge and then fold that up like that. So some of it will be here. So when you've sewn it on, it'll be upside down on that side, as it were. There and we then are. some will be, oh, here you go, here you go. There you go. So that's so you understand what's going on. So there's your piece of stitching for the, the months. Yeah. And this is on the other side. Right. Yes, and the other way up. Yeah. Does that make sense now? Yes. So that's just to stop them being pinched. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, which you stitch first is really your choice. Yeah. Um, so, so hang on. Normally, when we give them a project, we give them. When we do a project, we say start in the centre. You, this right, is a bit so, more challenging. Yes, because when you've got this, do you start in the centre of that bit or do you start in the centre of that, that, that bit. bit? What I would do is take my fabric yeah. and I would experiment. And you could score this if you want to yes, be absolutely yes, straight. So I'm going to work this just below my fold line. Right. And it will fit. But then, so but then you first. say you're going to do that. You're going to do what? You can do that first. Yes. So don't start in the centre. No. I'm, I'm going to start at the top. Ah. Oh, so like what, like what, a band sample. Like a band sample. What I would do is start in the middle of the top. Only because because it's linen oh, band, right. you're going to want. The, have you got the chart there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a chart for a march or not? Oh, this is, not. this is April. I've got, I'll, oh. borrow, I'll borrow this one. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a centre mark. If you look on here, there's a centre mark, which you're going to line up with the centre, the fold yeah. on this one I'm pretending yeah. to make. Yes. Yeah. So, so I'm going to start there. Right. With those three. Right. And I'm going to work this first. Mm -hmm. um, here's my march back again. Yeah. Sorry about this. No, 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 that's fine. Anyway, so all you need is a little hem. So you obviously allow for that. Then you can have a look at where you want your pocket to go. Mm -hmm. Now, it's possible you want it slightly deeper. Can you make it slightly deeper? You could. So you can adjust this to suit what you're likely to want to yeah, put Yeah, but you don't in. want it to go over. No, no. That's, now you, I'm right, aren't I? You can't. No. I mean, you could make it... No, you couldn't make the pocket deep. No, yes. no, because if you if you fold you it lower over. down... You're not going to get it on. But you're not going to... No, no, no. So you so need to have it exactly as it is. So there you want yeah. it there. So fold the hem under. Yeah. And that's effectively yeah. how it's done. So what's then, this blue silk for, then? Th this is lined. It will be lined in different coloured silks. Okay. Yeah, none of yours are lined. Oh, there you go, oh. there you go. That one's lined. And that one's lined. Oh, so it's just lined so on the escaped. pocket. So, oh, to hide the raw edge of yes. the pocket. And also, just if you're using it for keys or something, stop it catching. Catching on the stitching, of course. So yes. each, each month has a different colour. So yes. February was a lovely soft green. One of them's missing. And April is this, green. April's this blue one. There you are. So they yeah. vary. Yeah. Depending on what we've got and what goes with so, it. So, and actually. also you get all your threads. You get, what's this for? Oh, yeah. the handle. You it's get your handle. handle. And that's linen band, so that's actually woven that wide. So you don't need to do, uh, you only need to fold the yes. ends over. Yes. And then the buttons are for there for the decorative yes. at the top there. So you've got everything you need. Because yes. the needle's in there as well. You yes. just took the needle off that one, this, didn't you? Yes, I did. It was in there. Yeah. Look, let me grab it. It's a gold needle too, please note. Oh, that's yeah, got that thing. Yeah, gold needle. So all of that, every bit of it comes in the kit. Yes. Lovely. So now you picked March up for a reason. Were you going to do some stitching no, on I'm it? I'm just going to. Sh yeah. Well, I will actually. But that belongs to. Oh you. yeah, that belongs to mine. So what all I've done is I I've unpicked there. Look. So you can see that was just a little slip stitch down the side. And have you used normal thread for that, or have you used? I just used use one strand. One strand yes, of your embroidery of thread. Of a colour that's close-ish to the fabric. Yeah. I mean, you've got actually a match. Let me just lose that for a minute. All right. Mm -hmm. So I promised I would show some knots. 
so I'm going to do some blue ones on here. Okay, so are there knots on there already? Are those little wisteria there. or whatever yes, that is? There. Yeah. Do you see little tiny ones? Yeah. Glasses. Glasses. Stop pretending, Jane. Yeah. Okay. And you've had your hair done this time as well? No. Have you not? No. It looks darker today. Oh. Last no sunshine. Oh, flipping okay. sunshine, isn't Have it? you not had sun? Oh, we've had a lovely couple of days. In London, it was beautiful. And then yesterday, it was really gorgeous where I am. Not this morning. It was two degrees this morning. Oh, no. Two degrees. About eight it's when April. I left. Right. Anyway. So, I'm going to do some little knots on here just to decorate to okay. show. All right. So, I'm going to add, where am I going to put? I'm going to put blue. So, I'm going to bring my needle up on the front. So, I'll show you. Uh, so, I've got the knot here. Yeah. If you were starting from scratch, you could have one strand folded in half and work with a loop, like we've shown before, yeah, yeah. but as I've got a knot. So this is, I'll wait for team to see where we are. I'm going yeah, he's, to do, he's right on you now. I'm going to do, it's almost like a backward um, letter S. Round the point and post it. So I'll show that again because it doesn't matter. So I do that again. Mm -hmm. So you bring it up. So this is this is a colonial knot. Yeah. Twist, round, post. Okay. And you're going through next door. Next door. So there's a thread. There's a little bit. Yeah. Um, if you're doing them on top of your cross stitch, it's usually pretty safe. Yeah. If you're doing them on the fabric, that's when they have a horrible habit of disappearing. Just bring to the side. So if I just do an, another colonial knot. Yeah. Now, when we get to talk about the stitch book later, these are all shown with words. So you can yeah. actually, if you've got the book, it's quite a useful reminder. Mm -hmm. So twist, round again, post the point. And that's where you pull it in nice and snug. Can you see there? Uh-huh. And that means that the knot's tidy on the front look. And they are. They're ever so tidy. So I'll show you a French knot now. And this is the one that makes people squeal. Yeah. I did 180 at one country. Con um, it, it was the Needlecraft Fair at Olympia. Huh. I counted because we were putting 10 peas into a pot for a charity. Oh, right. right. Ten Not 10 peas to eat with your chips. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right so, so a French knot I do like this. I have the needle under your thumb. Okay, I'm going to say, just get, get Bruce yep. on that. Yeah, there you go. Right. There you go. Sorry, Brucey. One, two. Pick up the needle and post the You point. see, that looks more I think cumbersome it's, to I me. I think it's more cumbersome. I mean, it, you know. So where's a, the knot now then? It's at the bottom of the needle. Right, yeah. And I'm going to hold on to the leading thread like yeah. that. Yeah. And then leave go. And what's the difference in looks wise? I think colonial knots are slightly neater. Right. But I think I could get 27 letters now from people who think the French knot's better. Okay, well, yeah, but so so that's it's what I mean. It's, it's a, what suits you, isn't it? If you need to, uh, and as I've said before a couple of times, I think, that if you want bigger knots, don't make the stitch bigger. So if I do a French knot again, so I've got the eye of the needle under my thumb, mm -hmm. round twice and post the point, roughly where it came from. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you've got all this spaghetti on the needle, which you don't want. Yeah. So f find your way to it. Come on, Jane, get a grip. And get it nice and snug. Yeah. And then pull through with your finger underneath, holding the weight of the fabric. And it always works. Yeah. Do you know how I know that? I was doing the French knots on a crib board for a game sampler. Right. For a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was due to deliver in two days and I was exhausted and it was about three in the morning. I'd listened to Sailing By, yeah. as we used to do in the old days. Yeah. And all my French knots were on the thread or somewhere else, but none of that. Anyway, the following day I was signing books at the Key, the Gloucester Keys, which is lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. And they bring the boat, oh, they bring oh, the boats keep, in, don't they? They keep leaving the table, sorry, yeah, it's sorry. me. Anyway, there was an exhibition going on of other needlework, and there was a woman there that had done a, a whole tapestry of just French knots. <gasps> and it was a 
what do you call them, herbaceous border. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It even appeared to have a path going in. No. So I went over and said, could you show me how you do that? Yeah. And that's her method. Oh, OK. Because it always works. Yes. But as <coughs> I said, But it I, still does look more, more cumbersome so than if colonial. So I go back to the colonial. Yeah. In, round, post the point. There we are. And then again, I keep hold of that thread just till it's settled in the place. Uh -huh. Sweet. So when you want bigger French knots, put more thread on your needle. Right. Don't change the stitch. Right. Or use silk ribbon or wool. Yes. You know, keep a stitch tiny and neat um, by keeping the number of threads correct. Right. And then if we take the old away waste knot theory, okay. which I now will snip off, mm -hmm. that's the one that you can now thread your needle and wind this back into the back of the stitching. Lovely. All right. I'm just looking then for... A colonial knot. Yeah. Where about the house? It's what? Curly cut. Where's your index? Where's your index? Here we go. Colonial. colonial. This is where it isn't in the right place and I spit there. That, that is. Colonial knot. Oh, I thought it would be near the, up, near the back. 29. So here's your colonial knot. There you are. So that's what this is where I bigger. talk about um, Ethan Danielson, who does our drawings for us. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you follow this, it does actually work. And then you post it, it does describe it to you there as well. Ditto, Brilliant. ditto the French knot. Good. Lovely. I'll just look up French knot now. Yeah, do that thing. So the, these, these calendar pockets, or posy pockets we've been talking about, um, none of them are hard. Um, the only additional stitches, I think, in the whole plan of 12 of them are a few knots, and they're optional. So, you know, you don't have to... Sorry, do. There you go. There's your French knot. So there's the French knot. And I would have gone down the adjacent hole to where it came up if it was on linen. Yeah. Um, because remember, we, we pinched the French knot from the embroiderers who were working on really fine linen mm -hmm. with a pointy needle, sharp needle, and we're using a blunt needle, so I find it easier to go down next door, which which works. I Perfect. Think, it? That book we're showing you there, we'll just talk about that next. <coughs> the Stitch Book, fourth edition, is Jane's book, and it's signed by herself. I told you, didn't I, that Bill had one returned, so the office said, someone's been scribbling in my book. No, and it was your signature. <laughs> it was my signature. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's only six books left. There's only six of the books left. So what is it? What is it, then? Well, it started off as a, as a refresher for me, uh, because um, I'll come to a stitch that I've done hundreds of times before, but not recently, uh -huh. and I can stand there and actually think, well, I've no idea how it... Where did I, how did I, I mm. and so I found the idea of something on my desk that lays flat, just like that, um, would be really handy. And it's grown. This is the fourth version. Mm -hmm. And Cross Stitch Guild members have, you know, sent notes as to what they want. And things like um, making twisted cords, making tassels, making making little what bows and mm -hmm. little scissor keepers and things were all members' requests. But but it can't get any bigger. I can't. Well, actually, it, it can. Oh. But um, I could add some. They they reckon they get two more sheets in this binding. Two. I've refused. You see, because yeah. I think this is a really good size. Yeah. In your project bag or on your desk when you're working, and the next binding's about that size. And oh, it'd be so, so it'd be a big. It would be a much bigger book. Much, much bigger bulkier book, book. And much less likely to be used mm. all the time. We have left a few spaces for you to scribble in. Yeah. It was lovely because we had um, 63 guests at the Hilton in Swindon just yeah. uh, two weeks ago now, I think. And um, the people had their old copies and they were dogged and scruffy oh. and had writing in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you want, isn't notes. it? Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Good, and so then, uh, the right, so let's talk needles before. Oh, yes. oh, the book's sold out now. The book's sold out. Let's talk needles because you'll have seen these before, this needle set before, but it. There's a change. This is one without the scissors, yeah. Oh, there's so only one left. Jane, what are you doing to us today? <laughs> 
But look at the packaging, because it used to be one of these manky old plastic boxes, didn't it? No, no, they were not manky. I think they're brilliant. <laughs> no, but, they're brilliant, but they're plastic. But, well, there's two reasons, yeah. actually. One is that we do have to, the Guild has to move away from plastic, yeah, yeah. obviously, uh, because we're all doing that. And the other reason is the manufacturer's no longer doing them. Well, no, but I think it's good to do to do time, cards and things like that. Exactly. It's finding but like something that looks smart. <coughs> I mean, yeah. this is this is not a cheap purchase. You know, it, it's a it's something special, and you had to have something. It's that's only sixteen ninety nine. Well, all right then. It's, but you can get cheaper gold needles. No, you can. But you but your gold needles have got how many microns? Two. And how what how many microns does a hand grenade pull have? Two. <laughs> Because you're, you you want your needles to last, and yes. sometimes gold needles with your sweaty hands and yeah. you're pulling through and pulling yes. through can tarnish them, it's, can't they? It's, it depends how the um, how out. they're being gold plated. <laughs> but no, no, we can carry on talking. So we've got this kit as well oh, yes. in the manky old plastic box. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this no, box. No, I'll take them out so you can see it like that. There yeah, you go. That's smashing. There you go. So this is an ideal first one actually, because what you've got in here. Uh, size 24s and 26s, which is what I would use on the fabrics we've been talking about today, on the linen and on the Ada. Mm -hmm. I'd probably go to a 26 for linen, but it, it's m marginal. The higher the number, the skinnier. Smaller the needle. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. And a little pair of scissors. So if you're starting out, this is a brilliant. Okay. So why point. do we need gold needles? Well, one, because I think they're pretty. Yes. Two, because if you're working, just as I have been, French knots, uh, they never stick on a gold-plated needle, whereas on nickel they do. Yes. And I've proved it over the years. Um, plus the fact I often work with more than one needle in my fabric. Right. And I'm moving around a border, say, uh, and a nickel needle can mark the fabric. Oh, OK. And also, I'm not allergic, but some people find that nickel goes very black. Right, and you yes, get nicely yes, yes, marks yes. on mm -hmm. your fabric. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's any any competition really. No. I wouldn't use anything else. And also, like Jane says, you can buy gold needles cheaper elsewhere. However, if you buy a gold needle from Jane and you can prove that it comes from Jane or from the Cross Stitch Guild. Cross Stitch Guild, yeah. Uh, yeah, not Jane herself. Yeah. Um, if the gold does come off, you send it back and they'll replace it. They'll replace it because what they do with each batch that they m make, mm. they keep some back so they can. If somebody, if a couple of people say, "Oh, mine's gone," they can test that batch to make sure the gold Absolutely. is all right on all of them. But if you find you've buy, like, say, if you bought these or these today and you've used them a little uh, for a little while, and then suddenly the, the gold's coming off or they're tarnishing, just get straight in touch with us or Jane yeah. at the Cross Stitch Guild. Absolutely, not Jane, but Cross Stitch Guild, and they will replace it. But you have to prove that you've bought them yes. from us. Yes, we did have a very funny one actually because we, you know, it's very, very rare that we have a problem. Yeah. If we do, it is the size 28, which is a tiny eye, uh -huh. and someone's forced three threads into oh, it. Oh, because you can't because use. It snaps. Yeah. Okay. But the actual gold business, anyway, the lady in question, I couldn't tell you her name if I knew it, um, she'd sent her box back showing that the boxes had come from yeah and it was a needle that we don't sell oh uh was a sharp right and the box seemed still complete oh so it wasn't one of ours no exactly so they'll find you out if you try and cheat but, no. right before we do anything else can we just recap on anything that we might have left today so we know that the globes have gone the globes have gone we're just recapping they, well, this is gone, the gold cushion's gone. In, in Ada, have we got it in linen? No, gone, so that's, you can put that away. The coronation crown, uh, coronation um, cross stitch. 10 left of the Ada, 10 left of the Ada. Am I in the right place, there you go. Yeah, yeah. But there's 28 in baskets. Right. Oh. And the linen? Linen. Linen. Five left of the linen, but 24 in baskets. So get that checked out and get it sent off to you as soon as we possibly can so that you can get start doing it in time for the thing. Needles have sold out. Needles with the scissors. Oh, good. they're all right because we've just got more of those in stock. So we're all right with the needles in the scissors. That's right. <coughs> oh, I say, look, we're all right. There's only 15. And the April pochette. 
Coming in. Okay, we had hundreds of those. Over half the stock has gone. So we're all right with the April project and the stitch book for the moment has sold out. We can always get can more we always get more of, of those yes, from yes. you? I can order more of those. Okay, I've got the hard danger book to do in a second, but before we do that, oh, let's put the hard danger book graphics in so we can put the graphics in because this is all about hard danger. A beautiful little book about hard danger, nine ninety nine. But I want to ask you, you keep you keep mentioning, you keep saying about cross stitch guild, cross stitch guild. Yeah. Who are the cross stitch guild? Where did they come from? How are you affiliated with them? Right. And what is okay. it now? Well, the cross stitch guild was started in nineteen ninety six by me mm -hmm. after somebody came onto our stand at a show, very upset that. Uh, an organisation elsewhere, who shall, who shall remain, remain nameless, nameless, said your cross stitch isn't proper embroidery. And I was leaving the stand to go and thump someone. Yeah. And my husband went, there must be an easier way of dealing <laughs> with it. And that is how the cross stitch guild was formed. Right. And it developed very quickly from that March date, the 16th of March, 96, to anything that's counted. So we don't do any pre-printed Cross stitch. Mm -hmm. Everything has to, be, and we do hard anger, we do hemming, we do all different types of counted work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, and I brought this just. But hang on, so show. before you go into that, yes. so you used to run it, you were it, and yes. everything like that. And then a few years ago, you decided to retire. It, inverted ha, commas. Ha, yeah. Ha. Nineteen. It was two thousand and seventeen. I, I. Well, we we found Andrea. Yeah. Who is coming in on the nineteenth of May? Right. To sit to meet you all. Finally, I yeah. managed to persuade her because she's. She's she, only going to pop on and say hello, and then pop off again, and then and she won't be doing again. this. But yeah. But it's, <laughs> anyway. it's important for us all because if you go to the shows, yeah, she's on the stand, course, she chats and everything course, like that, doesn't she? So. It's just the idea. <coughs> of this, yeah. It's a bit. Well, no, she just has to pretend. Yes, you know, we, like, yeah. we'll, we'll keep her yeah. organised. Anyway. Yes, so, so she Andrew, took over. I, I, my husband discovered her as a possibility to take over. I wasn't any, in any hurry, but was aware that, you know, I, I was ticking on a bit. Yeah, hang on, what year were we in? 2017? Yeah. Yeah, six years ago, yeah. ticking on. I know. Yeah. So I'm 72, 73 <gasps> next month. No. And, you know, she wants me to keep working until at least I'm 80. Well, of course, and you would want, the thing but is, you would want to I as well, would, don't I you? I don't know what I'd do, you see. No. Anyway, so, so she took over in 2017. Yeah. Um, and I was staying on board for a couple of years. Mm hmm um, which is obviously not what's happened. No, exactly. <laughs> so I'm the design director now. So any, any, dis uh, do you do all of their designs? I do all the designs except that we are trying to get to a point now where we invite a guest designer in each magazine. Yeah, good. It doesn't always happen. No, 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 but it's a nice it idea. It does have to. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, we'll have to. Yeah. Um, so the magazine goes out five times a year. Okay, so the Cross Stitch Guild you can become a member of Nothing to do with us. This is nothing. No, no. To do. We're not selling anything from them no, here today. But you can become a member because we have exclusives from them. Yes. So it's not like I'm, I'm kind of doing a thing. But you can become a member of the Cross Stitch Guild. If you become a member, you get a magazine yep. five times a year. Yes, five times a year. Yeah. This is the latest one, which is a super, super little magazine. Yours truly writes. I'm, I'm, I'm now allowed to be at the back. Oh, okay. Jane's jotting. Oh, you look. just get one page now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this time we've got a nice chart in. Right. To dig initials. Lovely. Um, and people get discount on their shopping. Yeah. And postage free shopping. And also, like that, f that flower you saw at the beginning, you'll yes. get patterns for oh, those. Yes. There's always projects in there, it's but there's also inspiration aspirational yes. Yes. and projects and all that sort of all thing that stuff. but if you don't want to, if you're not joining that you can go to the cross stitch guild website and look for free at not not the things in the subscription magazine but like videos of you doing yes. different stitches there's, and things like there's that there's a whole section it's worth use when you when you finish when we, sewing street finishes today go online to the cross stitch guild website and go to stitch basics and there are three or four videos um, another subject we have to tell you about in a minute. Oh no! Yeah, I've, I've nearly a million. Of, of what? F putting people to yeah. sleep. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Somebody has put all these videos together and got them on YouTube in the accidental going to sleep department, and I've nearly got a million viewers. Of now. People who put Jane on. I put her to sleep. I put them to sleep. So if you want to learn cross stitch, cross stitch go guild. there. Uh, if you want to learn to go to sleep, go to YouTube and look at the video. <laughs> 
<laughs> Some of the comments are hysterical. Oh, are they? Yes, apparently I speak like Lady Diana would have done if she'd reached 70. Oh. And I probably live in a cracker barrel, whatever one of those That's is. cheese. That cracker know. barrel used to be cheese when we was were younger. It, was it an English cheese? I presume. I don't cheese know. I just remember the, adver I remember the advert. Yeah. 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 Oh, I got my, la my last comment on mine was, oh, I hate your nails. Or we should cut your nails. No. Yeah, that's what I got on my last one. Anyway, anyway, wait, that's her, that's Crossy Shield, completely separate from us, yes. but that's where you can find Jane's designs and things like that. But we also do have exclusives. However, we've basically sold out of everything today. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the Hard Hanger book, though. Yes. So Hard Hanger is a art, a skill, a tradition from Norway, isn't it? It is, and the name comes from a ruddy great lake, yeah. Fjord, and um, the costume is still worn and used by... Um, Hang on, we'll just have a look yep. at that, Bruce. So this is used by families um, as part of their dressing up for special occasions and whatnot. Yep. This is the costume that belongs to a family who run a very fine hotel on the banks of the um, fjord. And then th this is a crown that would be worn by the senior woman in the family. The matriarch. The matriarch, thank you. And then in here, what we've done has broken down this technique into very small stages. Because um, what it is with the tradition is that they have silver buckles and silver fastenings for their clothes, but they're the main, they have a tradition, each area of Norway has a, a different traditional dress, but they all have aprons and the aprons all have a panel pattern. of hardanger on them. And if you see here, you can see this is imitating lace. This is where the hardanger and the fabric's being cut. So when you've done your hardanger stitches, this is the little project you make when you do the, your first test piece of hardanger for you to put on your scissors. It is, it is terrifying. It, it, the first time, did, first time I ever did it with Jane, and she did, you, so you do your cluster blocks, first of all. You, it tells yeah. you every single stage every here, both with like photos here. And, and Ethan's drawings, everything. But then you cut threads. And it was that when I saw Jane getting a pair of scissors out, and I was thinking, what on earth is she doing now? Because the last, because I was thinking, you cut the thread, the whole thing's just going to fall out. And of course, it doesn't. No. It, so you learn how to do this technique to make a little thing, yeah. and then of course you can make any of these big things. Yes. And but it's addictive. I'd say it was addictive. It's very, very pretty with little effort. Yes. Actually. Yeah. Uh, you need to be able to count to four, and we never count holes. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing I would say that you sometimes read. In magazines, they say holes per inch, and it's wrong. Yes. It's how many how many fingers? Four. How many gaps? One, two, three. Or one, five. two, three, four, five. Yeah. So you count your threads, not the holes. Yes. Now, can can you do hard anger on Ada or not? I have seen it done on Ada, but it's, it's not. not effective. No. It's not as effective. And what's also lovely is where you've cut the holes, you can then decorate the holes with like cobwebs and pigeon's Absolutely. eyes or whatever. Patterns. The, what's the one called? Not pigeon's eye. <laughs> cat's bottom. No, no not cat's bottom. It's, it's, it's a dove's eye. Dove's eye, dove's but eye. A colleague of mine once said, if you get them wrong, they look like a cat's bottom. <laughs> yeah, cat, put your clothes back on. <laughs> anyway, so you can see there's different stitches added in. Yeah. But the thing that you have to do is go around the edge. Every, on every single block, you've got to do yes, your cluster you, blocks. You've got to get those right. Yes. And then after that, you can create all sorts of interesting mm. patterns. It's a gorgeous little book and everything. It is sweet. Well, you launched it and we had we a did staggering it together, result, yes. didn't we? Yeah. The thing that's in intriguing about the uh, national dress as well is that it, it, different where you come from. So you could live in Oslo, but you could have been born in Folderide or somewhere like that. But when you go to church, both the men and the women, but when you go uh, go to church, go to a wedding, go to a christening, go to a funeral, or, or you just want to just wear it on a Sunday for your best, for your best dress and everything, you put your heart, or get married. So a friend of mine, Jan Olaf, just got married and both of them wore traditional dress, but because they're both from, they both live in Oslo now, but because they both lived, came from different areas, they both had completely different and they're very, very traditional. The ladies' dresses are like period yes, dresses, yes. even though they cost a fortune. Yes, a, there was very, a shop just around possible. the corner in, from Oslo where I used to live and at the upstairs window had all of these like Pan mannequins Oslo. standing like this, all the different patterns. And because you could, even though you live in Oslo, you can order your folder right one from there. But they're all exquisite handmade. They're thousands. Yes, they're thousands. Thousands, and thousands. And the ladies, like the buckles for the front of the dress, the buckles go on the shoes, the crown, they all get passed on. That's something like, that's a, 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 a hereditary. So like uh, Jan Olaf's mum, 
Livani, I used to call her, uh, well, she's called Livani. She passed hers on to her granddaughter, one of her granddaughters, because they tradition, it's a thing that gets passed from generation to generation. generation. Yeah. And it's why, I mean, it has to be serviceable, it has to be uh, washable, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be used for family weddings yeah, and Christmas. Yeah, yeah. S very small children tend to get given things made in embroidery on grey. Yes. Until they, maybe their confirmation at yes, 12, yeah, 12 or, or, like or coming of age at 18, 18, they could get a yes, proper, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's fascinating the history. Of yeah, it. Totally, totally. Yeah, lovely. Right. Should we just do a recap? Because I think I don't think I've got anything else left. We've got the April. We've got the April, April pocket. It's here. Okay. I'm going to. Have, have you taken my pockets away? My pockets <laughs> away. <laughs> Cat's tied it away already. We're not finished now, and it's in the box to go back to the warehouse. Look. <laughs> Very efficient. Thank there you. you There's the April one there. There's only 40 left. But how many baskets? Oh, you cut out. I haven't got Ben at all anymore. Th oh, okay. 30. 30 left. 30 in baskets. Only 10 left if you all check out. And each month we will bring back the month from the months before. So that's your yes. April one there. Yes. Which is your Love in the Mist. Now, Love in a Mist or Love in the Mist? Well, I put love in it, Miss, didn't I? I shall have to look at the seed packet and see what it yeah. is. Yeah. I've got some Nigella. I've got some to go in. Oh, have you? Uh, so I'll look and see. I'll have a look. Anyway, March was the daffodil. Right, let me just move you over. Yep. I'll go over here. Lovely. March was the daffodil there. There it is. Ben's having a moment. Then we had snowdrops in February. Beautiful. And then we've got hellebore for January. The first time I stitched that on something, I put hellebore. Hellebore. The, the I instead oh. of the E. <laughs> yes. How do I pick well, I'm not it? surprised. It's because there's a gemstone called Heliodor, which is what I was getting it mugged up with. Mm. 17.99. Everything else is sold out. If you got, well, if, I can't say if you've got any basket, check out. Cause, but anyway, if there are anything left, please, please, please make sure you check out. Jane's only doing the hour today. When will you be? Oh, you'll be back on? 19th of May, I think with, I am. With May. And Andrea. Andrea. And Andrea. <gasps> oh, Andrea. Am I on the 19th? Oh, no. Hang on. Look. It's the May, the one they've messed up. No, no, we've got May now, haven't we? Am I on the 19th of May? We need you here. Ben. Yeah. Well, that's your... Yeah, it's me. Right then, we'll give her a hard time, shall we? Uh, well, we will not give her a hard time, because she'll be watching now, <laughs> she and she'll will. refuse to come in. We'll, we'll give her a stool, and she can sit here between us like this. Thank you. Jack, and you, dear. And Have you. a safe journey home. Thank Have you. Have you got the bottle of fizz in the fridge chilling? Not yet, but I'm going to purchase one on the way on home. On the way home. Don't drink it on the way home. I won't drink it on the way home. And how's the new car? Lovely, thank you. It was a joy this morning in that terrible weather on my drive up. Yeah, but just think next month, it'll be a glorious, it'll be light when you drive in next month. Yes. Be lovely. And actually, I won't be able to take the roof off anymore. Because I used to always take the roof off my car on the way home. It was lovely. Oh, but this one hasn't got one. But, you know, it is nice being warm. Yes. Isn't it awful? Oh. <laughs> anyway, you take care of yourself. We'll and see you on, in a month's time. See Don't go anywhere. Janet Clare's... Oh, the set's going to be very empty in a minute, so we're going to clear all this off. Janet Clare's back in four minutes where we've got the... Uh, by the seaside, we've got embroidery, and we're going to talk about the sewing kit we had from the first hour. We'll see you in four. See you next month. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker.
Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. For ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Oh, I've just had a little coughing fit. I had my gluten-free lemon muffin <coughs> and it's all gone down the wrong hole. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, Janet's back. Let me just have a slurp of my water. Hello, know, lovely. I, say hello to hello, Janet. Lovely. Say hello to Janet. Janet, explain what this is and how they can win it. Oh, yes. So, to the day, it's been a year since I've been on your Sewing Street screens. I can't believe how quickly it's gone. 
love being here. So as a little treat, I made a little free motion <coughs> and applique picture, which one lucky shopper can win. You do have to buy one of my products today to be in. And um, I'm going to leave it here so the good folks will send it. Yeah, I'll take it upstairs after the show. And he won't take it home. No. I'll make him another one. He will take it Could upstairs be on eBay and for it will be posted <laughs> out to you. So one lucky person. Yeah, so all yeah. you have to and do... it's all signed. All you have to do is buy anything of Janet Clare's today before midnight. Your name goes in a virtual hat and one of you will win it. And I'll get the uh, announcement of the winner correct this time. Right. So, down beside the seaside really beautiful kit here for a wall hanging now the wall hanging that you've got in here you're all the fabric and the instructions looks like this try and hold it still yeah hold it still you're right behind the sewing machine as well but never there mind. you go beautiful so this is one that i'm going to demo on so Lovely. it's got no stitching on it but it has been pieced and applique so it's mainly it's, so it's pe piecing and appliqueing is it the whole thing piecing and applique as much sewing as you like some embroidery on it and it's in the to the sea fabric perfect so there we go down beside the seaside quick machine piecing and raw edge applique measures 14 by 27 inches gorgeous fabrics in here now am i allowed to open this one because yeah, they come absolutely. from you you'll seal it back properly won't you when you get it home we'll make it all nice and neat today, yeah you'd have to because i've just ripped the bag right there you go so these come from janet remember that they'll be they're already packed ready to go at home so you'll be at the post office on monday here's all your fabric what's it called so the range to the sea to the sea beautiful oh god look at that that's a morse code that oh is it so one line's a one line's b one line's c oh my goodness i know There's you should have written a secret message something. always means something to me oh what's that one there then that's a rope rope like a cable rope that's gorgeous that's like a grunge fabric seashells little seashells little yachts Oh, Morse code, but in like monochrome. It's a different colour, yeah. <coughs> what are you doing? Uh, then we got the more, more of the, the, the seagulls. Except you, they're not called seagulls, are no, they? No, they're not. They don't exist. They're just gulls, gulls, aren't they? I tried telling somebody that the other day, and they were like, "No, you're wrong." And I was no. like, "I know I'm not." Gorgeous, look, little fishes. They the silver fishes. Little fish. Little and fish. Some seaweed. And then you've got some uh, iron-on interfacing. You've got some bonder web, and you've got some gorgeous wadding. So now, do I need to display anything else? No, you've got everything you need. A bit of thread. I don't think we put thread in. No. And what about the back backing? You yeah, um, I have not put a backing on mine because I've actually, with this one, I've actually stretched it over a oh, frame, okay, a wooden frame. So the backing's not in there. You might cobble together enough of your scraps to or, piece no, it. No, no, don't waste your scraps on it because you can use something else. A piece of calico. Just a bit of calico. Because it's going on the back. wall, isn't it? Just on a table it or something. Yeah. yeah, put yeah. it on the wall. Beautiful. Plus the instructions. And in the instructions, you've got all, all everything you need. Have I got templates in here as well? You've oh, yeah, there you go. have got all the full-size templates, all the instructions. I'm going to free <coughs> motion mine and then do some hand quilting, and I'll show you, Is that um, you the free motion later. There's a little girl flying a kite. It could be me. I don't really spend much time flying kites. No. Where's the kite? Oh, there's the kite. Yeah, I couldn't see a kite. Yeah, she's flying a kite. Now, you know you said they're all life si the bright-sized template. Your seagull's bigger than your whale. Absolutely absolutely <laughs> beautiful yeah that's closer see the, the gull is closer that's gorgeous whole kit there 49.99 now if you want the pattern on its own because you've got your own fabrics to do it with you can have the pattern on its own oh over a third the kit's gone already it's good it's one of those days today <coughs> oh excuse me i do apologize <coughs> i'm going to stop bringing those in now i'm just they're too dry well it was lo it had lovely it was actually very very, very um, nice inside there's like a lemony syrup sort of mm. thing and that's maybe it's because you've got too I've much got to bottle do of water. in four i've minutes. got a bottle of water it's just it's got too much to do in four minutes yes that's what, exactly that's what the problem is yeah exactly you try telling the management <laughs> that they if they we could we'd have them no no break, no break. the girls on gems don't literally have 30 seconds at the top of each hour yeah we're nicer here oh what we're nicer here. yeah of course we are out of sheer nosiness how many overlockers does john have now from Irwin? oh in the in the break i go i'm off to buy an overlocker now just the one just the one 
Uh, I, I didn't realise that advert would be going out quite so much. I would have said something a bit more witty. I don't know. Anyway, pattern on its own, nine ninety nine. Beautiful. Flying out. Yeah, flying out. Now, uh, embroidery and how not to do it. Embroidery. It's all in this kit. <laughs> Well, they've all watched Jane now, so they know how to do their knots and cut the knots off. I'm yeah. like, there's a knot at the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not using... Oh, you sure? Is that linen? Is that linen? Yeah, in a bit of linen. Linen, yeah. So do it now, Jane's way. Do it properly. In the kit, you get the hoopy, you get your thread, you get your needle, you get your instructions, you get your piece of linen and what it's meant to look like. You yes. even get a jolly sailor. Well, hang on, is that an action man sailor on that show? <laughs> I don't know, my friend got him for me. He's really funny. I don't know what he is. From Paul Perro. Like, like some model fisherman. Um, he must be tiny, because look at the size of the books behind him. He is him. quite small. He, sit, he sits down. Yeah, he's sort of bendy. You can yeah. pose him. Oh. Um, yes, yeah, so a little embroidery, and we've got a transfer in there. So you just peel the paper off and then stick it to the fabric. Oh, so you're okay. not tracing well, we'll show, well, anything or counting open? anything. Um, I've got one open, it's perfect, at the bottom perfect. of my trolley. Perfect, perfect, we'll show you that in a second. But you don't have to put it in the hoop if you don't want to, because here's the finished hoopy. They look nice framed on the hoop. Yeah, yeah, they do, but I also love this. Yeah, that was just on a little cushion. Gorgeous, on a little cushion there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, there you go, so that's that. Now, before I even met Jen, I've told this story before, do you remember a couple of years ago during lockdown, we made, uh, oh, me and my ladies and gentlemen, made a skirt for Amal, who was like the 30 foot puppet that came from Turkey, walked all the way along for, to, to highlight the plight of orphans uh, due to war and things like that. And, we, and th th what we said to them, what would you like? What would you like? And they wanted six inch squares with wildflowers of Great Britain or something <laughs> like that along there. And I just went onto the website, onto, um, Google or whatever went wildflower booklet and this came up right so I told all everybody to go and buy this book because it's fantastic for inspiration for tracing for copying for making quilts making blocks and things like that and it's just called wildflowers by Janet Clare 12 of our favorite wildflowers appliquate into a little quilt to enjoy all year round we weren't making a quilt obviously we were just making the skirt I just wanted to make the, the little six inch squares but in here this is fantastic because look all of your templates are all there so you can draw around everything buttercup forget me not red campion bluebell primrose snowdrop um crocus daisy there's the quilt we'll show you that oh the cat's going to show it you on the on the wall in a minute there it is look Am we I might the get way? the top of janet's I'll be head in the way i'll stay put there you go right but then it also has free motion stitching irish chains blocks in the instructions you've got lily of the valley how, and all the different ways all the different things you can do whether you do a plique or embroidery or anything like that everything is all in this adorable book for 15 pounds and 99 pence the thing is it's lovely as a coffee table book as well even if you're not going to draw around them it's just it's like reminds me of when i was younger when i was like a teenager there was a craze and everybody was buying a book called the diary of an edwardian woman la oh, yes, lady, lady. lady yes and it was all like this it was yeah, like because it's quite natural and yes. a spur of the moment like it's quite real but this looks like you know the There's book you're showing sort of thing. Thing. Yeah. saying like a scrapbook with the fabrics yeah. and the drawings and little notes and everything like that and i just think it's a gorgeous little book well, it's not little Thank actually, but it's a nice size nice spot. It's beautiful. It's really useful and, and, and they all are just an outline. So you could embroider them, you could applique them, you could photocopy them and paint them, colour them in, whatever you like. They're quite useful things, yes. aren't they? The flower templates. Yeah. Take so them you've out even or... got what, what you need to buy if you want to make them as a, like green fabric for leaves, purple pattern fabric, green and purple threads, green embroidery thread, everything you need for each of them. But this is what's brilliant is that you don't have to, so many of us go, <clears throat> oh, I can't draw, I can't draw. Just trace it. Just trace it. It's what it's, it's there all for. there. It's all there for you to use yourself. And in terms of the fabric I use, quite a lot of the leaves have got quite a bold print on them. Um, this one in particular, Buttercup's got a really bold sort of zigzag print on it. Yeah. And it just works. It oh, just yeah. blends in. Or use the reverse of a print if you want it to tone down. I wasn't too literal. No. The crocuses have got quite a bold pattern on them, but it just looks like they've been hit by the sun or something. But also, what I love is they are very, very 
necessarily I don't don't say this the wrong way. They're very simple drawings, oh, they are. Yeah. but that you can see. You know what you they don't are. Don't need to have written <clears throat> buttercup there because you can see that you the buttercup know is, what it and is. The, the primrose and the bluebells and things like that. It's just they're so obvious what they're like. The crocuses you could you use any fabric up there, but you the could. shape of the silhouette is a crocus. You know isn't that's it? a crocus. Yeah, and the. The stitching you can do as much or as little as you like. You can really play with the detail. So with the daisies, I've actually got a pink thread, and because you know some of them are under pink underneath. Yes, yes, yes. So I've put that in. But they're very, very graphic and simple, and they're a nice size. They're not too fiddly. Yeah. Um. So there you go. Nice, nice little project. Glad you like it. Yeah. And traditional Irish chain blocks, but you could put. But that's in there as well. But that's there. also in there as yeah. well, so you haven't got to you worry about that. Anything between them. <coughs> right. Um, June says the girls near her are called herring gulls. She's so got herring gulls. UK herring gulls. Right. Now, what we we introduced these in the last hour, so we're now going to talk about the Acts. We didn't have time to talk about them in the last hour. The Janet Clare sewing kit comes in three different. Um, three different colourways. One is brand new fabric today, the Bon Voyage. So you get everything in here and what you can make with it is you can make all of these. You can make a scissor keeper, you can make a needle holder book, you can make a pin cushion and you can make a pouch. All of that is made from all of that in there. You don't have to get anything else at all but apart from some thread and things like that. 1999. Bon Voyage fabric, latest, latest, Janet's latest, latest, latest range, 19.99. We also have it in To The Sea. Kat, have you got the pattern on its own there, please? Yeah, that's it. That's Thank it. you. And then we've also got it in Astra. My dad, when I first started driving, he wanted me to have an Astra. Were they Vauxhall Astras? Vauxhall Astras. Yeah. I think we had one of those ones. Oh, did you? I think so. I refused. Yeah. Oh, no, because then, of course, I should have just said, thank you, Dad. That I'd, be, I'd say, no, no, I don't need your car. I don't want an Astra. Went and bought a Vauxhall Viva from my friend Tom. Yeah, I know. I loved it <laughs> for years, but it was it's not the best car. And then, do you just want the pattern? It's only got your own fabric. Make it from scraps. You can make this yeah. completely from scratch. And it works with all of those Moda candies have the same number of squares in. So if you are a serial purchaser of those little candies. Oh, yes. The pattern. I tell you, whenever we works. get those candies on, yeah. we only go, oh, we've got, this, oh, sold. Oh, they're gone. I know, because yeah. they're so cute. Yeah. They're lovely. Really lovely. Right, yo, so I'm coming over. You're coming over. We're going to talk about the sewing kit to start with, aren't yes, we? Yes, well, I'm actually going to talk about how you use the little candies. Right. Because a lot of the... Um, this is something that comes up a lot when I'm teaching, is how you work out the tonal values of things. And a lot of the patterns and the sewing kit is a really good example let me bring it down so you can see it is um you've got half square triangles and they work with the the darker and the lighter the contrast works yeah um now you've only got a limited number of each shade in your chart little candies so if you think Right, I'm going to have high contrast. They're the most obvious ones to put together, the indigo and the cream. Yeah. But then as you go through the projects, for example, that little, the little um, pouch needs 22 squares, I think it is. So you need right. 11 dark and 11 light. And then, of course, you still want the contrast in the other items. So what I found is, when, when I've been teaching, that people just gaily start and they put those two together because they're the most obvious light and dark. Yeah. But actually, that indigo is also darker than the grey. Yeah. And it's got enough contrast with the blue. And obviously the blue works well. But this has enough contrast as well. And that grey also is... So what you're saying, you can put anything with anything, You can really. put anything together, but what is light and dark depends on what you're setting it opposite. Yeah. But what happens is that people go for the most obvious, the biggest difference. Yeah. And then you're left with much less contrast going forward. So when you open your pack, separate it out into colours and then just have a little play. It tells you in the pattern 
how many of the squares you need for each item that's in the little sewing kit. Okay. And it will tell you whether you need them to be light or dark. For example, that little scissor keeper, you could have them all navy. Yeah. Or they could or the they could all be grey. It's up to you. But if you want the contrast to work, then start sectioning things out because that is enough contrast that will make a lovely thing but of course it also works with any yeah, yeah, yeah. of the others yeah. so particularly if you're using your own scraps or you're just substituting just have a really good think about uh, it doesn't have to be the strongest contrast to get the effect no. and you want to split it all up um, and the other thing you can do, if you're in any doubt, squinting really works. <laughs> squinting helps, yeah, it, is, yeah. it makes you see. But you can take a photograph and put things into grayscale. And then that will show you where the contrast mm -hmm. is. And things like when you're making the Globetrotter quilt, I've got a big design wall and I can step away. But I know not everyone has. Sometimes I put it on the the downstairs floor and then sort of lean over the stairs to get enough distance because you can see mm -hmm. when things are in the wrong yeah, place yeah. or take a photograph and that separation really helps you so if you're new to quilting or you think that's something that i've i know i've come up against quite a bit how do i get those tonal values yeah. right this is a really simple little project to start with and start playing with how they manage because um, the Bon Voyage, you know, you can't just think all the greens are going to be dark. No. There might only be six of them yeah, or something. Yeah. So just play with it like that. Very, very simple piecing, half square triangles and uh, quarter square triangles. So really nice skill builder. Lovely. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, so we're all it's going catchy off now. now. I haven't yeah. even had a muffin. I can get a whiff of a muffin. Um, so that was what I was going to tell you about the sewing kit. I've okay. done demos of the half square triangles before. Yeah, exactly. So that one literally is just made just up of half square, square triangles. triangles. That one there is your quarter square triangles. Which start with half square triangles. Lovely. So that one, I think you make the pouch first. Right. Because that uses, I think it's 11 of each. So that you've got that divided up. And then this you have um, less of, and then the others are just straight pieces. Oh, you just added them together, <coughs> just sent them just together. Add, just pieced them together. Yeah. Nice little needle case. There's quite a few leaves in there. So actually it's all, although it's small, it's actually a very usable size. <laughs> she's a size that she's never seen before. Oh, got quite a few leaves in this one. Yeah, look. <coughs> Brilliant. Let me have those They're back all then. catching. Yeah, we are. It's, it's, right I think it might it's be air, air cotton or something like that. It's air conditioning. <coughs> and remember, <laughs> everyone who buys anything uh, from Janet today, up until midnight, your name goes in a hat and one of you will win this gorgeous little applique and free motion, uh, free uh, free motion. Uh, embroidered, uh, signed, framed little picture. One of. There's not, not another one in the world. Nope, there's one. There's one? You haven't got 40 of them I under your desk I haven't scanned it in. I haven't got a print of it. I haven't got a photograph of it. I've got oh nothing. No. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's One it. and done. Well done. Right, so that's the needle case. So what should we move on? <laughs> what are we just Have you catching? got water? You're all right. Let me catch. We're fine. Okay. We're all fit and healthy. We've just got dry. Let's move on to this then. What are let's, we up to let's now? Move the, 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 the side, the seaside, the side, the sea. Down beside the yeah. seaside. Okay, down beside the seaside. Right. So mine is at the stage where i've done all the piecing yeah of the bits let me move I've got bits everywhere Ooh, oh it's oh, all over the floor have. let me get those for you. thank you all over the oh, floor beach huts and everything down here there's now. no wires down there <laughs> I have to look after john i have to look after john so you've got lots of bits of fabric and you again we do all the maths you'll have 10 percent more than you actually need but you've got all these little odds and ends of fabric good range of them there's more than odds there's and ends. more this is what i've got left Let's over the bit left over my scraps yeah this won't be this won't be your leftovers it won't be that generous i don't think okay so you've just bought <coughs> that, the same fabric from home but you do get let me just you show you plenty. you get loads and loads of fabric there will definitely there. be 10 percent more than you yeah. need um and you've got your embroidery thread and you've got your stitch and you've yeah. got everything you need Lovely. but what you're going to do is and now you're going to have to be not brave but you're going to have to play be playful with this because the pattern doesn't tell you exactly where to put the fabric right now there is a full color image of what i've done right but i've cut all the pieces with scissors 
and I've deliberately done very wonky, just improv piecing. Right. Because that gives it that sort of quirky, naive style. So if you try to slavishly copy this, you're going to come unstuck and it's going to be miserable. <laughs> so what you need to do is just play with your fabric. Yeah. So you are going to make a big piece of patchwork fabric, which you have cut by scissors, and done all different lengths and shapes and just let build really organically. Let me put that out of the way. So what you're saying is you've got two stripes down the middle here. Some people might not have the two stripes yeah, there. They some might people have them somewhere not else. Do yeah. So look, here's, here's the little bits that I've prepared. So it's this sort of thing you're going to get. Right. So you can either do it as a big patch or you do little chunks. Don't throw any of your odds and ends in the bin. Keep them all until you've got to the end because a tiny little bit might just be enough. Yeah. And I haven't always used the front of the fabric. So that is the front of the rope fabric and that is the reverse of it. Oh. And it gives you another tone. And again here with this blue, mm -hmm. that's the front and that's the reverse. So you're making little scrappy patchwork and then you are appliqueing on top of that and then piecing it together. So although it looks like a big jumble, you're actually breaking it down into little chunks. Right, yeah. And all the templates are here. I just feel like I've exploded all over this desk. Mm -hmm. And the one that I've made behind us does not use the fabric that's in the kit. It is really, really scrappy. Really, really scrappy, but it's exactly the same te templates and actually the the, the structure's the same. I've got that vertical row, that horizontal row in the other one as well. And the gull is sitting on stripes. This one looks less patchy than it this does. one. It oh, sorry, does. sorry, sorry, I've taken that away. So look, there you go. There. So there's my little gull. And you can trim it down as you want, make it, give him as much space as you like. So, so when it's in little pieces, do you do your applique then? Or do you wait till it's all put together? I, I think it's easier to do the applique in a little okay. piece. Yeah. Um, it's not so big that it would worry you anyway. No, 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 no. It's not really not so big. But the idea really is that you're playing with all those tones and prints. It follows on from what I was saying with the the sewing kit. You're playing with the tones and you can vary and use the reverse of the print to get some shading and just really play with how you place it. Uh -huh. Okay, so the stage I am at with my wall hanging is it is all pieced together. I have put all of my applique on it. It's all fused down. I have got some wadding behind mm -hmm. and the wadding I am going to use. Um, I'm going to actually do my free motion through it and then I'm going to do some hand quilting as and when okay lovely okay so it's very very simple let it build but as i say this you can see how wonky this edge is you know <laughs> i'm not worried about it being straight i didn't want it to be straight uh -huh. and actually there's enough excess here that i could then staple it to a wooden frame or you could bag it out and finish it you could finish it as a proper quilt and oh, do some binding on it, it. Could you could bind it as well you could just do some binding mm -hmm. but it, as i said there is this is a photograph. This is, you know, as close to this. In fact, I think that is a photograph or a digital no, rendition. That's not the same They're as this. Not exactly the same. So uh, that's digital, so I coloured it in. Yeah. But you've got plenty there. But be playful. Just play. Yeah. So we're going to do some free motion. Oh, are we? We are. Oh, I love a bit of free motion. I do always love your upside down mushrooms as boats. You could do mushrooms there's, if you wanted you to You could the be seaside. mushrooms, there's all <coughs> sorts of... Again, everything has just been really simplified down to a graphic shape. Uh -huh. Now, I like free motion. If you don't want to free motion, you could do some embroidery on there. What else? I mean, you could do buttonhole stitch, you could do blanket stitch, yeah, 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 exactly, you could yeah. do whatever you like. Yeah. But I like free motion. So you need to put your feed dogs down mm -hmm. on your sewing machine and you need to put a darn, they're usually called a darning foot. And this one that um, I've been given has got a spring on it. And that means when you put your presser foot down, it doesn't grip the fabric very yeah. tightly. It gives you that movement. Sometimes they hover even higher than that. You see, there's barely any movement when you put the foot down. Yeah. But the spring will give you the tension 
there's, there's a bar that sits over the top. Have a practice first because um, the tension is sometimes a bit tricky with the free motion because it is so free. Yeah. The most common problem is that the tension through the needle is too tight. And this was working in the green room, so hopefully. You've carried it in here since I've then. I've just carried it in since then and I've looked at it and it's going, oh, now I'm on TV. Um, it is a quilting stitch, so although you can do it on one layer of fabric with the bond web on it and it will work it actually likes a bit of structure and depth so i do like to do it through some wadding so you would do this bit after you've put it all together yes i think so because otherwise you're going to have lots of little bits of wadding yeah. where you're going to have stabilizer yeah, behind course, yeah. it so i've done all of this and again it's not so big if you're finding that a bit onerous then you can stabilize it with some stitch and tear right, or an yeah. interfacing mm -hmm. or another layer of fabric. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. But the first thing you do is always have a little practice. Yeah. Now, free motion is a continuous line. So every time you start and stop, that would be taking the pen off the paper and you've got thread ends to deal with and mm. they're very boring. So just think continuous yeah. line. And what you're gonna do is you're going to keep your fingers well away because you can move the fabric in any direction. It's very easy to get a finger in the way. Mm -hmm. And look about where you're going next. Okay, so you're thinking about flowing. If you were drawing with a pen and paper, you're moving the pen. Mm -hmm. And if you're drawing with a sewing machine, you're moving the paper, which is the fabric. Now, if you're not very confident with doing swirls and flowers or shapes, mm -hmm. whatever, can you draw them first? I find it harder to draw first. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Because, in fact, let me draw something. I find it harder to draw. I'll do one freehand and then I'll do one with my name. Yeah. Right. I find it harder because when you're doing it by eye, you are just reacting to what's happening. Oh, going a bit fast. Let me slow down a bit. I'm just guiding it round with my fingertips. I'm not putting any pressure on the fabric at all so i'm allowing it to move mm -hmm. so that's just being free and easy hopefully that's in the right place and now i'm going to do it with um trying to get on my drawn line and what happens is i'm now not being free and easy i am now worrying about keeping my line my stitching on the drawn can you see you've lost that flow Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes, yeah. And it will show in your, it will show. It does not feel as nice. And then of course, I've done this in Barry, you wouldn't have done it in Barry. But then you've got lines that you've got to remove. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I can't even see what shape that E is. So when you said, if you're not feeling very confident, I actually think this makes you feel less, less confident. confident. So th it's best to, have a practice like on your piece there don't draw oh yes i can see now yeah it, there's something about not hitting that mic mark and the mark is right yeah. so everything else must be wrong yeah i think that decreases your confidence um it's not difficult what you're doing all you've got to do is move the fabric constantly mm -hmm. okay so really really just guide it round. You don't need, if this was a quilt, you'd have three layers. You start in the middle. Mm -hmm. It would be rolled up under the throat, wouldn't it? Yeah. And it would be trying to fall off the table, like dragging the sewing machine off the table with you. Mm -hmm. You're working in a small piece of fabric. So you're really just going to do fingertips and guide it round and just let it flow yeah. all the time. And you can draw anything you like. So when I get started, I always write a few things and I always draw some faces because they're my favorite thing to draw with the sewing machine. And I'm just guiding it around and I've drawn hundreds, but it's just practice and having a bit of a can do, I'm going to play. There you go, one little face. <laughs> one wonky little face. Okay, but you, it's all one line. You haven't. When you did the eyes, all you didn't then just, stop no, and start again. You kept it all going. Just continuous. Yeah. So I'm going to do exactly the same as that, but I'm going to do it <gasps> on, on the real thing. On the real thing. Oh, on telly. Let's do my little seagull. 
Well it will done. be a seagull by the time I've finished, anyway. <laughs> um, and I'm going to start with his eye. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lower the needle so it's in the right place. Okay. And uh, then... Oh, sorry. Does it matter what... Because I notice you've not ch changed your stitch length at all. No, because the machine's not making the stitch. Mm -hmm. You're making the stitch by moving the fabric. So some machines... I didn't check the instruction book with this. Some machines want you to put the stitch length to zero because that's how it's been set up yeah. to work. And this one hasn't complained yet. No, I don't think it does. On, I don't think it's <laughs> when you get further up the ladder that it does it that. It yeah, matters. Yeah. Um, the other thing is I've just used the needle that was in here. And I, at home, I would have a finer needle. But this has been, at, it's not been a problem You could have had a thinner needle if you'd asked. I know, but I didn't ask. And, you know, yeah, it doesn't matter. Chatting, chatting to, Jane to Jane in the green room. Um, and I use a polyester thread because it um, has more give in it. It doesn't right, okay. snap. Um, so I'm just going to guide round. I'm going to do a few stitches where I am. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to try and draw a gull on here. And I'm not worrying about keeping a consistent length distance away from the edge. Right. All I'm trying to draw is put some personality on this applique shape. So I've done the foot there while I'm there. And actually, the more instinctive and the more you sort of tell yourself a little story about what you're doing, the the better it is. Okay, so what are you telling yourself in your brain now? I'm then? just telling, you know, he's he's there and he's he's looking at, there might be people in here eating chips and he's guide, guiding them or something. It doesn't matter what you say, yeah. but if you're there saying, I'm really worried, oh, I've gone wrong Oh, there. no, no. It's going to be a complete of disaster. Of course it will be, of course So you're better be. off going, oh, look at his foot, that's a bit, you know... Just give yourself a little yeah, positive chat. Now then, here is a bit hard to see where the rest of this body of the bird goes. Yeah. Around, so I'm actually going to turn the fabric, oh, which I don't do very often. No. But I just thought, because this bottom of his tail there is on that pale bit, I couldn't see it. So I am going to turn the fabric and yeah. go round. Keep the needle in the fabric and then it gives you the freedom to do things like that because it hasn't moved, yeah. you know? There you go. And I could put as much detail in this wing as I want to, mm -hmm. or I can just leave it just an outline. And the beauty of using the bond web, the fusible web, is that it is already very firmly secured. See, like, I can't see his head there. It's very um, firmly secured down, it's ironed, Yes. On. Yeah. So, and this is going to be a wall hanging. Mm -hmm. So, if you didn't want to do the free motion, you didn't want to do an outline, then it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall off. No. The only, the only thing is, if it's going to be, if it's something that's going to go in the washing machine, left that you have to. You have to. Yeah. You have to secure it. So there. And if I tidied him up, there. He's not fine. He's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with him whatsoever. And I've got one little free motion. And a plique girl. Ben wants to come out and to have a go at it. Does he? Yeah. Come on then. Come on, Ben. Does he? No, he doesn't. He's saying come no. On, he's ben. looking come like on. no. Come on, he just said I want to go. Do you want a little go? Yes, yeah, no, come fingers. on, come on, come on. It, now I need to warn you, Ben, because mm. the first time I did it, I got it completely wrong. But after he's a couple of minutes, out. he's here. He's coming out now. Look, here you go. Look, you oh, can take okay. it home. I'll give you a whole yeah. girl. There you go. You go in there and have oh, a practice. This is producer Ben, everybody. If learn, you haven't met him, I need to learn not to shout things out. Don't, I? don't swear. Yeah. I won't. Yeah. I've never used a sewing machine in my life. Okay. Okay. So you don't know what it's supposed to do. No. Nope. No. Okay. So it's going to do. It's not going to do what most people think it's going to do. Okay. So if you get here, I'll get you set up. Mhm. Mm um. Don't worry, it's just like being a, like drawing and you, you're artistic, you're fine. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to, the machine will be running mm -hmm. and it will, it will form a stitch as you move the fabric. Okay. So if you move the fabric up, the stitch, you know, that it will correspond immediately. If you pretend that the needle is the nib of your yes, pen. Yes, you're just going to do a continuous line drawing okay. all the way around those shapes. Keep your fingers away mm -hmm. from. Yeah, and also I'm just going to do something. Slow yeah. it down a little bit. I'll slow it down a little bit yeah. for you. Ooh. Go on. Foot yeah. yeah, little foot pedal. So that's the accelerator yeah. of the car. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ooh. There you go. That's oh it. my goodness. Now you can move it forwards, backwards, yeah. to the left, you to the right, wherever you need to go. You might have a bit too much fingertips. You might have a bit too much pressure on your. Yeah. Okay. Cause he's brave, isn't he? Yeah. 
been there since 6 a.m. and he's on live TV doing his first sewing machine. Oh, there you go. It is good fun. It is good fun. Oh, yeah, look, we've got texture around him. See, most people would be quaking about yes. sitting in there with three million buttons yeah, and yeah, live yeah. TV and putting a TV show together. Get us in front of a sewing machine, we're calm. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. You wow. need to get that finished, don't you? I think I do. I need think you do need to finish first, it. No. Yeah. <laughs> you need to finish it. But do you know what, though? That is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. To move, to move it around. But now, when you come to make a quilt, you mm. mustn't do that at all. It's a okay. different sewing oh. skill. No, 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 no. I meant as in when he's doing a straight oh, line. Oh, yeah, straight line. Straight lines, not because he's never done anything before at all. There you go, look. So oh, he's got wow, lots of... he's done it like feathers on yes, his chest. Yes, he has. Yeah, he's gone freestyle. Oh, it's I'm lovely. I'm going to put that in the green room and I'm going to have a coffee and then he'll have to come out and get it finished, won't yeah, he? Yeah. Between shows. So Bet there you go. Between shows. Between shows. In the three he's minutes. got four minutes. He's got four <laughs> minutes. There's bags of time. Okay, um, so you've you you you've so you would take it from back to your one. Yes. So you put all your pieces together, you put your wadding underneath, your, all your applique bits were done when they were small. So you'll have done the fishes when that was yes. a block that big. The little um houses, um what are they called? Sheds. The little beach, beach huts. huts. Beach you huts. can do it individually, just like the bit I've given to yeah. Ben, but I wouldn't have put the wadding behind Here it. Because go, of course you want the whole I'm not brave enough to try free motion in my own sewing room with no one watching. Well done, Ben, from well Andrea. Done. Right now, Andrea, you've got no excuses left now. No. Whatsoever. No. Go for it. Everything's good. Yes. Everything's good. Um, you will get a quirky, naive line. Don't think you're going to get... I think people set themselves up thinking I've got to get this most pristine well, yes, because, outline yeah. and that's not the effect you're going for, no. you're going for a quirky line. You're going for, I so say you've got a pencil and you're just doing a little pencil line around the outside, yeah. that's what you're going for, you, the more wobbly and the more off it is. Now do you only do one, so that, that goal, would you only go around it once? Probably, yeah. Do you ever go around it twice? Because some free motion people go through, you go through it, it twice, a couple of times. I tend to only do things once and I try to stitch the details on when I'm there. Right, okay. But there's not, it's not a there's rule. There's no rule, no. What normally happens is that I'm trying to get something done for a deadline. Yeah. And so you end up doing enough while you're there rather than going yeah, and working yeah. in. I mean, you could put shading in. I could have changed to a paler color and put shading in and, you know, you can really play with it. But the construction of this is really, really simple. And then play all yeah. the time, play with your piecing, be brave enough to cut it with scissors because you will be disappointed if you've cut all of that with a rotary cutter and it's pristine and absolutely straight, you're not getting the charming, quirky the, the little movement. picture yes, exactly. that you were attracted to. So let go of some rules and have a play. Okay, now show a couple of, Ben says, thank you so much for all the lovely messages. He's not gonna show them all, but I think we show a couple of them. Just because, only because Ben, because you've never touched a sewing machine before and you've just done the one thing that we get most people saying, oh, I can oh, never can't do, do that, can't, can't do that, do can't do that. Well done, Ben, fantastic from Joanne in Lincolnshire. Look, good work, Ben, from Collector well in done. Suffolk. You see, ben. this is what should inspire you to do it yourself as go. well. This wall hanging will go brilliant with my spoon drift quilt. Thanks, Janet. Oh, well will. done, Ben, from Karen yeah. in Leicestershire. There's so many messages that thank you. The machine Flash. does do the work for you, but people are, fr you see, because people who are traditionally trained like me, you never, would never, ever, you, you, you let the fabric, the fabric go through the machine. Yeah, you don't push it or pull it or anything. And you don't move it to the left, no, to the right, or any of that. So, th so it's really good that you've done that because you have no traditional background of like, oh, I have to sew a straight line here and I have to do this. Whereas that, you can just be an artist like you are and just move it. But it means also that you can be an artist as well. You could be a needle artist as well. Because if Ben, I don't this mean this rudely, but if Ben can do it, you can do it. He's yeah, never he's touched a sewing machine before. Four. Uh, he's probably been up since four no, as well. No, he gets, he, he, no, he gets he's here for like, six, he gets up at five, five to six. To six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my youngest is like and that as well. And then he stops at McDonald's on the way to get his coffee. Yeah. So that's yeah. it. My youngest is like that as well. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, so this kit, 49 dollars Now, um, so in the kit, I get all... Oh, hang on. You get back. lots and lots of uh, to the sea fabric. 
Yeah, at all least the 10% to the sea. more than you need. Yeah, loads of it there, loads. Um, and it's all to the sea. This is not my design, but it is mode of fabric. <laughs> I have not brought out bright red yet, so yes. we had to but admit defeat. But that'd be fun with just colouring in a square of yeah, red. Yeah. yeah, you've got uh, uh, interfacing, you've got bonder web, you've got wadding, you've got instructions, you've got all the templates, everything in there. I can't remember why we needed the interfacing. Oh. Must be in there some for some reason. Probably to stabilise bits yes, if you were. But it's all in um, the instructions anyway. It's all it? in there, and I've showed you how it all breaks down. Yeah. And um, it's a fun project, and there's the scrappy one in yeah. there as well. But so don't you don't have to stick if you don't want to oh, do no. a row of oblong square, no, no, oblong no, no, square. No. As long as you make all the components, like it. Don't even have to do all the components, yeah. just do whatever you like. So the trick for this is just to play. You'll be happier with the result if yeah. you have a play. Exactly. And, and also mix grow. and match your fabrics. You don't have to go, oh, Janet's used this one here or that one there. You I can just do whatever you want. I think it would take the fun out of it if you tried to slavishly copy. Yes. And it comes down to confidence again, yeah. doesn't it? Having the confidence to just go for it. But also, once you've made this one, if you've got this kit, once you've made this one, you could then do a completely different colour scheme and maybe not do beach huts and whales mm -hmm. because you could do flat, you, you could, could do, do that flowers. background with gorgeous, yeah. the whole system's crashed, that's why I'm waffling on here. Flowers. Everything's crashed, has but, it? But look, but look, you could put these. You could. On the top of there. It's an applique you? background. What you want to do is press your seams open because then it's as flat as it can be when you're doing your free motion on yeah. top of it. Um, and see, I'm not particularly, I had an email the other week, actually oh, this yeah. week, and she was talking about how messy the inside of the quilt was. And she'd sent all these photographs and we reassured her that that's what they look like. Yeah. That's actually what they look like. And I think we're, we're guilty as well. We're not showing people what the workings actually no, no, look well, like. You the, see the finished result that's all tidy. What I will do, can you see this? Yeah. That's the blue thread. Is it coming through? This blue thread, I will make sure that is not going to sit behind that pale cream because it will show up. Yeah, exactly. But I'm not worried about that bit of cream no. there. But that's what they look like. And you, she was breaking her heart over how messy it was inside. But, but, but there's going to be a wadding, there's going to be a backing, yeah. there's going to be all sorts of quilting, yeah. there's going to be yeah. all sorts of there. But you're right about the... Try not to get a dark colour behind, like if you were pressing those seams not open, yes. you press them across. I would try and avoid putting a dark colour going over just in case Absolutely. you did see it going through. Pippa, who is technically spot on, if she can't press over, she will cut. Snip. Yeah, she will cut the darker fabric shorter yeah. so that there is it doesn't overlap yeah. so much of the cream so it doesn't show okay. through. So you can be as That's a fastidious little bit, yes. as you like fastidious. but this is what they do look messy inside and they are some things are a bit wonky there's threads everywhere so to the lady who emailed in we understand and if you're watching and you can identify with that you know it they do look messy and then they get tidier and nicer the more you exactly. get to the end yeah and they're yours. They're unique. Yeah, totally. They're totally unique. Lovely. There now, I just go. need to explain. To we can't put any graphics in at the moment because the whole of the system here and next door have, has gone down. Ben's trying to sort it out now. Poor Ben. <coughs> we'll That's carry on talking about the embroidery. There just won't be any, we won't have any graphics in. Can they still buy on the web and everything and still ring the call centre? Okay, we'll just double check, double check. Let's so go on to some embroidery now. Let's then. go on to some I'll embroidery. I'll just go and get the kit from over here. So the embroidery kit. Now, would you say this was somebody who'd never done embroidery before? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And there is, with Jane's, oh, she's gone. She's, she's taking gone. it with yeah. her. Absolutely <laughs> Shouldn't leave it here, would you? Beautiful, no. Because I, I would have helped. I would yeah. have looked after it for her. Um, really beautiful. You're counting, you're checking. The right tones have to go in the right place. Completely different skill set. Um, this is backstitch and split stitch super super easy and you get a little sticker with the template on oh in the okay kit. you can open it up and you show sure them. yeah oh yeah this one's not open it up jane's bags i don't know what she uses to stick them down with but you can't open it like that you have to literally tear the whole Check bag to pieces well there you go right so in here in here you get your embroidery thread you get your hoopy you get your instructions you get your gorgeous linen you, you get, get your linen. needle you get your needle is it in and there oh look so it's not even a transfer? No, no. Um, 
and you've also got the line drawing so if you do want to make more you can and uh, like put it on oh, a that's, light bulb that's or how you've done that one then because yeah. you put it straight onto yeah. a piece a big piece of fabric so hang on how does this work then? so you're gonna peel or you could do it Are you sure why not i've got to pay for it nah. you sure yeah you haven't got to pay for it. So you're going to peel that off or just <laughs> a little bit off. You can do it, off. she says. I can't even get my fingernail under it. Oh, it's, there it is, yeah. Everyone has a manicure the night before they come on telly. There you go, yeah. There you go. So, you, so it's like on a gauze. It's yes, like printed it's on, a on a gauze. And it washes away. Right, so where would you like it? Anywhere you like. I'll put it in the centre. Oh, right. no, can it go over a crease? Yes, why yeah. not? Oh, no, Does I'll put it, it there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you put it where you want it and just smooth it down. And that will stay there for plenty long enough for you to stitch it. So you it. stitch through all of you're that? You're going to stitch through all of that. And what you're doing is you're not missing any of these little fine details. Yeah. They're all there. You can see it. And then when you have done all of your stitching, you're going to put the whole thing in a bowl of warm water. Now watch the temperature because you don't want anything to run or all yeah. the rest of it. Try not to rub it like yeah. really aggravate it just keep it there and it will all dissolve away it all dissolves away and it just leaves you with your you said that with grid. a smirk on your face i'm so happy because when we went to the printers this is not rich who does our patterns this was cyrus i went to him with my sketchbook with all the bits falling out yeah. of it, you know and i had this idea and he went okay so you want me to print on a film that can't be wet and hot? <laughs> That's the whole printing process is oh. wet and hot. Okay. Anyway, he solved it. Yeah. So we have got these labels and they are they will wash away. They so this is like a stabilizer or something yeah. like that, is it? Yeah, it's no, a soluble no, film and yeah. we just print on it and it's not deep, deep black ink. It's like done at 75% or something. So yeah. it's not dark. I have done so many experiments where I've just put that straight into a bowl of water to see if any ink's left on the cloth yeah. and it washes away. Just watch the temperature. Brilliant. You don't want it to be too hot. And you have got the line drawing in the pattern. So if you want to do it again, you totally can right and then all you're going to do is again i've got a knot sorry jane mm. i've got a knot at the back and i'm just where am i i'm up here how many threads nice have you how many i've actually got three i think with the finer line i would go down to two right. you, and if i was filling in the boat there i'd probably go to six okay and i'm literally just on the line and I'm just going to do a little stitch ahead and then go back, back, back stitch to where I was. And that's it. Okay. And that's it. Mine has been in and out of the frame and it's been demonstrated that many times. So yeah. you can see it's not sitting as flatly as yours is because yours is brand new. Yeah. But there's no nothing wrong with the line or how I can stitch on it. So there you go. Lovely. And that's it. That's it. That's and what all were the two stitches, you, have you to said? Do. So split stitch. Right, shall I do it into... Have you got gap? enough thread? Yeah. So split stitch. If you were making a back stitch, I've got the stitch ahead. Yeah. I've gone a whole stitch length forward, yeah. brought the needle out, and then I'm putting the needle back in at the end of the last, the last stitch. stitch yeah. So you make a continual line. So that line, is a yeah. back stitch. Right. Split stitch, I'm going to go half a stitch length ahead, bring the needle up, and then I'm going to go halfway through the stitch oh, before so you're literally so it splitting. splits it. I've got it. And that gives you a firmer line because back stitch can be, it can still look a bit dotted. Mm -hmm. So the, um, the split stitch gives you a firmer line. And then when you're finished, um, Jane maybe did this, but no, I'm, gonna, no. I'm going to just do a few stitches here at the back. Yeah. Over weave it all. And you can start you can start your thread like that, but I, I'm lazy and I tend to start with a knot. But you can start with a longer end and then yeah, weave, that's what she thread that say. again and then weave that yeah. in or have it on the front. Yeah. But um it's really about making sure you're enjoying what you're yeah. sewing. Yeah. So if there is a satisfaction of doing everything by the book and beautifully, 
then you go for that. And I'm quite happy to have the odd nod on yeah. the back of my friend, as long as Jane's not looking at it. No, she'll she'll be in the car now. She'll, <laughs> she'll no, she'll be in the supermarket. She always buys herself a bottle of Prosecco on the way home. Does she? <coughs> yeah. Oh, why don't I do that? I no. could do that. <coughs> the only trouble is it's not chilled when she gets home. So I thought she'd buy it the day before, put it in the fridge so when she gets home it's already chilled. Why ready. hasn't she got a champagne bucket with her? You think she would But have. she's a genius, so she buys herself something to celebrate with yeah. on the way home. Yeah. I just phone home and say, I'm stopping at the supermarket. What do we need for dinner? No, I don't, don't do that. buy bubbly. Uh, Barbara has been sewing for over 50 years and only just done my first bit of free motion. Well done, Barbara. Well oh, done. lovely, Barbara. Well, well done. done. Right, we've got graphics back. We've got graphics hey. back. So that's the embroidery kit. 14. What a lovely gift. Either really for yourself, nice gift. self gifting, or just give as a gift to the kids. And I always think. I know, I know COVID's not over, but the pandemic is over, but we, I think it's had an awful lot of, um, I can still quite get quite down about it, do you know what I mean? Because we, what we've been through and everything. And I just think something like this, if you give it, it's 15 pounds, you know, yeah, give it a gift to somebody. Yeah, give it as a little gift. And it's, 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 it's what they say, isn't it? It's not what you say to people, it's what you do for people, isn't it? Yes. If you just buy a little gift for somebody. Give them a little boost. And it's a, just a tiny little bit. And somebody you know that's going to love it, or maybe somebody who's never done it before, going to do it for, buy it for Ben to start his uh, sewing, uh, ki you know, sewing what? career yes. off. You know what yeah. I mean? What I like about it as well, with these embroidery, I do a little bit of very simple embroidery. Um, we bought a cross-stitch kit when we were in London, so we're going to start some cross-stitch. Yeah. I do a bit of knitting and obviously do my quilting what i really like about these embroidery projects is that's all i need yes. with me yeah and it doesn't even need to be on the hoop so i can fold it into nothing in my bag my handbag and i can literally do one stitch yeah well, there's the thing one is, stitch that's live yes. whereas if you're here you're thinking i've got to get the right foot yeah, on i've got yeah, to check yeah, yeah, the tension yeah, yeah. Blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah one stitch but this Anywhere. Could, this could live in your gov compartment. If you're a mum, a busy mum, yeah. and you think, I don't get time to do yeah. this, I haven't got time, yeah. put it in the gov compartment, mm -hmm. you take the kids to, or collecting the kids from after class, yes. sports or whatever, you always have 10 minutes yeah. waiting for them yeah. to come out. Don't you? you could just get it out, just exactly. have a little bit you of you time. just have a little time. time. Yeah. That's how I met one of my best friends. Oh, is it? Julie Gymnastics. Guess where I met Julie? <laughs> Uh, gymnastics by gymnastics. <laughs> what our were you doing with like an our sons were doing gymnastics oh not you and they were there for two hours yeah and we can't remember which one of us was knitting but one of us was knitting yeah. i think it was her she thinks it was me okay um but anyway she's one of us whoever it was sidled up to the other one if i bring my knitting next week will you be my friend oh <laughs> so we that sat, was you we sat here with probably yeah. wasn't me so we sit knitting and now she comes to the studio once a month we have wine cake and we sit and knit Wine and cake, wine not wine flavoured cake. cake. No, wine, cake. So one of us brings wine, one of us brings cake, and we sit and knit and we put the world to rights. Oh. And we do it once a, once a month, and it is so lovely. And if her or me didn't have our knitting with us that day, we wouldn't have spoken. We probably no. would have looked at each other every Tuesday well, no, night in yeah, gymnastics yeah, yeah. and said, mm, oh, and off we nod, went again. Yeah. So it's good. It's it good is. for you. It is good. Brilliant. Good what, for you. What time? Oh, look at the time, Janet Clare. Right, let, me, let me go and do a recap. Look at the time, Janet Clare. It's, it's your fault. <laughs> look at the time, Janet Clare. Look at Claire. the time, Janet Clare. Right, let me just go. Oh, where have I put everything? This where, isn't working you today, is it? Right, here we go. We're let's, all over. All over the place. Right. So let's start beside, down beside the seaside. Right, we, the computers have gone a little bit weird on us, but we think, working out, there's about 20 left. But there were way more than that in baskets when we... 32 <laughs> in baskets, according to our computer. So, there it is. There's your kit there. You have got 10% more fabric than you actually need, which is the same with all of Janet's kits. They always over... We do the, the fabric's 44 inches. We do it on, do all the maths on 40 and round it up to a sensible yes. measurement. So there you go. So, so, you've, so got, you've got plenty to play with. Plenty to play with. That's all of that, 49.99. For that's for the whole kit. Now we've got the pattern on its own. Have you got somebody to do the repacking tomorrow? Because I made a right mess of all these I'll things. I'll be very nice to Tessa. Actually, yeah. no, she won't be in tomorrow, it's Saturday. Oh yeah. I'll be nice to her on Monday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 9 99 pounds £9.99 for the pattern on its own. Then we had the Wildflowers book, which was hugely popular. Right. Oh, my word. 
three quarters of the stock has gone already and we had lots of these didn't we we did have lots of those so that's an awful lot of envelopes you've got to, uh, to um, right. address on well we'll enjoy it over the weekend you could do that over the weekend I've got to get started over the yeah. weekend definitely well, yeah. so I've got I've got like 20 of those left now that's it and we had so many of those oh and there's way more than 20 in baskets so I'll move on what a fabulous day this is right i haven't got any of this but a lovely day have you, had, have you enjoyed yourself that's the main I thing i always love coming here oh good that's all right then right um so this is an embroidery kit this is this is just something that janet's made here i don't know what i've done with the actual you haven't got enough linen in your kit no 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 you can't that. make this but this the is stickers work on everything and i have put a robin which again i don't have i've got a robin on my apron and i just use well, the same soluble sticker but we've stuff. had that robin before we've yeah. done that robin here haven't but we? i was brave enough to put it on my apron okay, okay. So oh are. actually while we're talking the apron the apron is it still available oh the adult apron sold out we've got the little one for the children perfect but it's on the website right now we also had what time is it sewing kit sewing kit sewing kit with the brand new fabric bon voyage so in this you can make a pouch, a scissor keeper, uh, a needle holder and a pin cushion. Oh, that, you don't need anything else. It's all in there. Oh, I suppose you'd need, if you like your pin cushion to have like sa um, sand in it or sand something. Sand in something yeah. like that. How many left? 20 of those left. 20 of those left. Hello, old cat producer cats. Come to say hello, everyone. Right, then we've got to the sea. To the sea. Yeah, Ben says he's in a weird mood today, so it's all over the place. Then we've got that because when we put them on the blooming um, pre-order earlier, they were all mixed and matched, weren't they? Uh, here we go. So this one is called your Astra. $19.99. Now, if you want the sewing kit, but you just want the pattern on its own, you've got your own fabric, then you can do that with this. You need one candy thing. A little bit of calico, a little bit of fuse, but and some wadding. That's all you need. I read a message. Here we go. Is it a complaint? Oh, John, I'm so excited. My new embroidery machine is coming today. Just having to tidy up and trying to make space for her. Oh, oh it's Susie. Nice. Susie in Gloucestershire. Look, right now. Now, they did the show on Tuesday that I was meant to do, right? And I fixed it a swap. I think she must have known, wasn't she? They sold so many of these embroidery machines, right? Sold out completely. Then they got some more and put them on to advanced order, right? Is it one? There's one left. There's one left. If you want that for the embroidery machine from Tuesday, it's a new embroidery machine from Brother. There's one left. A couple bounce back. One's already gone this morning. And this is one. Are you going to put the graphics in or is it? So there's one left, there's one left, that's it. We will get more in in the future, but for now, five, oh, right, now. It's, that is extended, did they say when extended delivery would be? Couple of weeks, apparently. So you wanted, if you wanted to secure it, couple of weeks time. Um, look at that, 599 pounds. Should be 999. If you go to the Brother website, it's 999, there it is. There's one left, that's it, just one. And it's on split pay. Sorry, Jan, I just had to split that in quickly. Right, when are you in next? Oh, I'll come over there. I don't know, John. It'll be in a few weeks, three weeks or something like oh, that. Oh, that's soon. I'm going to Prague next week, darling, so it's not next week. You're going to Prague? What, I'm on going holiday? To Prague with a little la group of ladies. Oh. We're going to stitch and chat and shop our way through Prague next oh. week. Oh. Nice There's a quilt show. There's a proper patchwork quilt show in Prague, so if you ever fancy going, and doing a spot of quilt shopping. So you, is it there. one of those like people go on a holiday? Like yeah. uh, then yeah, they, they yeah. have you as a, yeah. oh, that's nice. So that's next week. And then I'll be back in a couple of weeks and we will have, we've got new kits in the new fabric. So we're more Bon Voyage. And I chatted to uh, Ian oh, in the break. Yeah. And Where is Sewing it? Street have bought Bon Voyage. It's just blooming not here yet. Okay. But he said they've got some coming. So my, hopefully when you come next time, we hopefully should have, so what, by, we'd be able to sell it by the half metre, that kind of thing. Hopefully, hopefully And did you do pre-cuts in it and things like that? Um, I don't know what he bought. But have you done? Have you done? We've got pre-cuts, yeah. we've got yardage at home, yeah. but Sewing Street, he said he, he has ordered some. All right, good. It's coming. Brilliant. I'll see you then. Lovely. Thanks so much. Care. Take care of yourself. Okay. Uh, don't go anywhere because I'm back in uh, four minutes. With four minutes. Four. Take those we muffins off him. I haven't I've eaten it. I only had the one. Uh, clearance deals on fabric. Oh, it's Ben's deals. Ben's. What did you call it yesterday? 
Ben Steeles. Ben Steeles, get on your wheels. I'll see you in four. <laughs> He's got a gun. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. for ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. My word, this is an hour and a half. I've got fat quarters galore. I've got 10 inch squares and I've got all, all sorts, all sorts. Oh, George, you've been a sellout. Okay, naturals. Is it the Christmas one? What's the number of, of it? YJZ, that's gone, right, okay. So cat, I'll put that underneath there because that's sold out, that one. Okay, right, so. Oh, Crash and Brighter goes to 6 99 I haven't even cleaned my glasses. Can I just have one of my glasses? Sorry, thank you. That, heck, that, that break was so manic trying to get everything sorted. I didn't get a chance to have a comfort break or anything. But never mind. Right, okay. So next. Oh, we're going to do the other. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I sorted everything out into twos, threes, fours, five, sixes. But it's fine. I've got the natural. I've got them here. I've got them here. Yeah, here we go. Which one first? Where's the numbers on them? They haven't got any numbers on them, Ben. Brow oh, Brown, hang on. No, none of them have got codes on them. Who unpacked these yesterday? Because the back, the, they're on the bag. The codes for these are on the bag. So tell me what it's got in it. It's definitely not SMZW, because I've got that one there. Yeah, show me your web image and I'll be able to tell you. If it's got brown gingham in it. Yep, yeah, that's that one. <coughs> so that's it. That's this one here. So you get four fat quarters in here. You've got a gingham. You've got a spot, which is on like a canvas. You've got a white heart, which is on a canvas, and a white spot, which is on a canvas. Should be $12.99. Goes to $8.99. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh... Oh, there you go. Tree says, when I used to foster, I used to sit outside the family contact centre in Broider for two hours in the car. Then I sat in a coffee shop. Very nice. Beautiful. Uh, $8.99. Blimey. Is everything farther away? Or why my glasses just gone very weak? $8.99. When we get everything in the right place, it'll be fine. Thank you, Kat. Then I've got the other one which has got the French writing in brown. It's got like some canvas. It's got the, oh, the dot canvas we just had. It's got like a calico and it's got the one with the um, tailor's dummies on and things like that. Pack of five, yep. 9.99, goes to 7.99. Here you go. Printed fat quarter natural, 7.99 for five of them. Four left. Uh oh. Four left. It's about to sell out. Oh, loads in baskets. Got to move on. Got to move on. Okay, what's next? The which one? Tartan. Yep. Yeah. Now these aren't. These are polyester. These feel all like polyester. Oh, polyester cost and mix. One's like a flannel. One's like a jute. One's like a kind of soft canvas. Oh, they're both soft canvases, those two there. Should be $6.99. $4.99. $4.99. Haley's done this hour for you. This is a Haley special. 
You asked for Ben Steeles, and you got Hayley Steeles. For no, she's she could do things that we're not allowed to. Four ninety nine. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Now next, I have Christmas. Yeah, snowflakes. Oh yeah, I've got the number. This one S M Z W seventy four. So this has got wide open jute. It's got canvas with red hearts on it. It's got like a polyester with gingham. And then it's got snowflakes on canvas. 12 99 these should be. 7 7 pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Lovely, thank you, Kat. Next. Uh, are some of these here, so I've got twos, I've got singles, twos, threes, fours, five, six, and eight. Oh, is that that one there? The non liberty one. Oh, wait. Right, hang on. Is, what colour gingham's it got in it? Oh, has it got the gingham in it? Oh, is it that one? Now that's a Liberty one on the top though, let's have a look. Yes. Oh, it's that one, it is the Liberty one then. No, well, are they Liberty? Let me just check. They have to be, that's Wiltshire Shadow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Liberty. Liberty Wiltshire Shadow there in the grey. Wiltshire Shadow. This must be made for a, a quilt bundle, I think, because it's a mixture of designers. So you've got two Wiltshire Shadows there. Then you've got some yellows and some greys and some pinks ochres that's um isn't that one alison glass let's just have a look yeah alison glass that one you see so you got alison glass liberty and all sorts in there should be 29 21. go on then five pounds off five pounds off eight pieces in there only eight left ten people got them in baskets Ben's gone all tully tubby mode on us today. Uh oh. Ah, it's been a brilliant day. Twenty four, twenty one for eight fat quarters. Remember, a fat quarter is a meter of fabric, and they've cut it down the middle, cross and down the middle, down the middle, down the up and down and down. Oh, what am I trying to say? You cut a meter of fabric into four like that. Fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter. 24, 21. Make sure you check out. <laughs> A pack of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got one with lilacs and greens and blues. And I've... Is that that one? Yep. Yeah. That's all for, I don't know who presses these, but... Oh, there's Munch. Is he showing his family round? I don't know. Right, here we go. Okay, so 28.46 this one should be. Oh, that, that's, um, I recognise that one. I don't know which fabric that is, but. No. Anyway, beautiful colour range, look. Five pounds off. 23.46, five pounds off, especially for you today, especially for you. So it must have been a country garden quilt that somebody designed or made, and this was the bundle they put together to put into that quilt, I'm thinking. Last 16th of December. Oh. Gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely colours in that one. The lilacs through to the pinks through to the blues. Oh, it's a Sarah Brangwyn pattern, was it? Oh. On what day was it? 16th of December. Oh, 16th of December, was that I hit my head? Oh, was Sarah Brangwyn? Yeah, it was, because she said, I'm so looking forward to meeting you. Oh, where are you going? Hospital. <laughs> and then I came back like that and did the long arm, didn't I? Do you remember? 
Anyway, moving on. So what's the other one look like then? <laughs> Show me a picture. Can I see the picture on the big screen, please? Yep. I wouldn't call this pastel. This is designer fabric, this. Look, there's Tilda. Well, Liberty. 25 94 how much was it? 27 94 two pounds off. Two pounds off that one. Well, they obviously go together because they were in a quilt, weren't they? Yeah. Was Sarah Brangwin's first or second project, wasn't it, that she did for us? Uh, Christine said, anyone else's Facebook jumping and re repeat? No, mine isn't, Christine. Mine's fine. I'll let you know, but mine, this must be yours. Not, mine's definitely not jumping. Anyway, moving on. But Liberty, Tilda in there. I'm sure that's Riley Blake, that one. I might be wrong. What is it, Kat? I think it's Tilda. You think it's Tilda? It's got nothing written on the thingy, so I can't see. Anyway, that's nice. Well, that one looks like a Riley Blake as well. All these people who don't write things on their selvages make my life very difficult. Anyway, there's your pastels. Thank you. I want what? I'll be this one. Is this it? So you've got a big gingham. Then you've got your flowers. Then you've got some script. Then you've got more flowers and more script. Then more flowers and more flowers and more flowers. £29.99. How much are you taking off this one? £6 coming off that one. £23.99. Oh, you just said £6. That's £3. That's £4 off that one is. So I, oh. There you go. It shouldn't be. It's supposed to be 25 99 but he couldn't add up. 25.99. That's good. You, you uh, take advantage. Take advantage. Cozy up, cool colours, eight pieces. Like Ben says, you don't have to use them all in one collection. You could just mix them on one project and mix and match them in your stash. Ready to go. Beautiful. Lovely. So that one can go to Cat. We'll watch that bottom of that box. It's about to fall out, Cat. Lovely. I've got polar bears. Lewis and Irene polar bears. Now, some of these are light up in the dark. Oh, no. Look, look. look. Polar bear, whales and orcas, penguins, more whales and orcas on purple there. Then you've got foxes, you've got, uh, 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 what are they called? Sea lions. Then you've got more penguins on grey. Oh, hang on, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in there for 39.90 is where they should be. Not all of them. You see, just the bodies of that one light up in the dark. The sleeping foxes on that one light up in the dark. The dancing polar bear. We need one of those, um, you know, that, that you do your nails with. What are the UV lights, that's here. So 39.90. 10, you get to already the 3.99 each. Oh. Right, cat. <laughs> cat nearly walked into a camera then. Uh, 29.90 makes it 2.99 a fat quarter. Lewis and Irene light up in the dark. Why? Yeah, we would. They just made us shout it out. Beautiful, 29.90 for 10 fat quarters. Light up in the dark. Small things polar. Ah. Oh. I like the pink one best. Okay, oh, and that green one's nice. Beautiful. I'll just pass that to cat there. 
pack of five so that's one two three four five yeah blue textured got it so i've got spots plain white gingham is that the one splodge flowers oh that one there then it's that one there it's unusual oh so it's never ever been on air before done that one seven pounds 88 three pounds off for you there so you get a black one then you get an icy one then you get a big exploding firework one then you get a little ditzy flower one then you get this kind of batiki esque one let me just have a look at it oh yeah it's batik it's on both sides look very popular no you wouldn't Ben beautiful now i'm not sure who this was made for what it was made for because according to our records it's never been on air i don't recognize this fabric i don't recognize this fabric ben's going to buy this one for a bit of his free motion um free motion later oh it's not going to be any left for ben 788 for five fat quarters beautiful That's nice, look at the batik on there. Now, I'm saying it's batik, but it's definitely, they should be the same on both sides, but that one isn't. That's definitely a one-sided batik. 10 of these left, 19 in baskets. Chicka chicka, boom, boom. There we go, one, two, three, four, five. 788, I should hope not. Gorgeous. Oh, so something got, gone wrong. Oh. Okay, now we don't need to argue. No, no, we don't need to do that. Just keep going through for that. Just keep going. Clear all that off, Kat. Clear all that off. She's just got the sewing machine to move. Then I can take some over with me. I can take all the twos over with me. And then we can bring the rest over. So rather than going for a break, we can just carry on going. Right, you ready? I'm going over the other side now because the upstairs camera's broken. These are all bundles of two fat quarters. So I'll go through all of these while Kat sorts me out. But Right, Chartreuse, this one here. Where's my... Now I've got to stand slightly to... Oh, look, there's nothing on my shelves on my brand new set. Never mind, look. That one. £3.49. That's its price, is it? No, £3.49. Some of them aren't crashing. Thank you. It's very reasonable, it is, says Bruce. More than reasonable, Bruce. More than reasonable. <laughs> keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Right, that's that one, Chartreuse. I'll give that one to Kat. Oh, I'll put it there. Oh, no, that's no good to you there. I'll put it there. Next one. Yeah, it's got a grey background or a white background. So there you go. Tigers. Well, it's not just tigers. There's giraffes and pelicans and monkeys with a cream blodge. Right, okay, not 4 99 not today. 3 99 3 £2 pounds a fat quarter. Gorgeous. Moving on. Same one now with the grey. Same, it's the same blender, but now with that, it's, it, it's not grey though, it's like, a, I said it was grey, it's purple. Purple? Oh, they called it blue. They called it blue. <laughs> so grey, purple, blue, whichever you like, depending on which camera you're looking at. 3 99 very popular. Make sure you check out on all these, remember. Oh, 
the blue textured one we had a minute ago sold out as will most of these by the end of the hour you love alibaba well no don't use that word though do we're not allowed to use that word shouldn't call it bargain but they're bargains right what color i'm going to next then dark green and yellow this looks like a football team to me i don't know which football team i was in norwich i was thinking of australian football west brom away brazil that's what i was thinking of brazil 549 not today Three forty nine. What's the matter? Well done, moving on. Refer well, I'm not gonna say it out loud. Shouldn't have gone that low. No. But well I'll talk to you later, I'll keep that one out there. Okay, what's next then? Scarlet and pink. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's your price. That's your price. Beautiful. £3.49. So you get a fat quarter of the pink and fat quarter of the red. That makes them um, £1.50. One seventy-five. No, hang on. Yeah, one seventy-five fat quarter. Beautiful. Don't wait, what, what? Green stripe and yellow. Yeah, I've got that one. Four ninety nine. I like that green stripe because it's a little bit kind of um, wobbly lines, isn't it? That's your price. Four ninety nine. Well done. Moving on. So I've got. Oh, that's nice. I've got like a dark rose and a cream. Vanilla rose and vanilla. Three forty nine. That's your price. Rose and vanilla fat quarters. Gorgeous. Then I've got dark red splodge with a vanilla. Claret. Oh, claret. It's a mixer. It's the splodgy one. 3.49. That's your price. Loads in batter baskets. These packs of two. gorgeous make sure you check out though make sure you check out make sure you check out there we go now i've got differently folded ones now i've got like a sage no it's not sage and a lavender or is it moss no it's not dark enough for moss oh sage was right in the first place lavender and sage 379 that's your price three pounds 79 for two fat quarters beautiful now i've got a peach melba i'd call this one i don't know what what they are i'm gonna say this what Raspberry and salmon. Oh, I had my raspberries for my breakfast this morning. No salmon. Ugh. Three seventy nine. That's your price. Nice. Beautiful. Now I've got some spotties. Scotty spotties. Now these are on their own. 
They're poplin these. Pink first. White polka dot. That's your price. Moving on. Lavender. Just a single fat quarter. 269, that's your price. There you go, it's a Rose and Hubble Poplin. 269. Beautiful. I'll just put that one there a minute. Right, yo. Now, they were my twos. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I've got three. I've got a three now. Oh, yeah, hang on. Three, four, four, four. Yes, I've just got a single. No, I've got lots of threes here. I found the pile. Oh, hang on. Which one's that? I've got Kaif. I've got Kaif first here. There's three Kaif fat quarters here. There's only five left. You see, that? Okay, that's your price. Beautiful, 11.99. Very limited now. Very, very limited. Just 20 minutes left of me today. And then Ben goes home for his weekend. But me, Kat and Bruce carry on all weekend. Beautiful. Do you want me to put them somewhere else rather than you come to come all the way around there? There you go. Right, you know, then which one do you want to go to next, you say? I've got Tilda. Oh, that's four, is it? That's the four. Right, okay. <laughs> this one. 11.24, this one. These are fat quarters, even though they've been pressed differently. That's your price. Mode of Starlight Gatherings. Starlight Gathering. I wonder what one of those is. It's Modar. That's cow parsley. Not quite sure what they are. Or, what's, there's another word for cow parsley, isn't there? And say, ya, ya something, ya. I can't remember, my friend uh, Shamoy Mary lives in a road and it's called Ya something. My Facebook's just stopped. I don't know if there's anybody on it or not. Yeah. I mean, it's there, it's still going, but the mess no messages have come in. Right, yo, moving on. This one. Yeah. Moda. Three fat quarters, 11.24, that's your price. Now we're just gonna switch Facebook off for a minute and then we'll bring it back on because we think it's playing up. Oh no, the one I've got is the early bird. I've been watching the early bird on my Facebook now. Let me just switch that off again and I'll come back to the beginning. Okay, let's have a look. I'll go to the Sewing Street page, that'd be easier. There you go, that's right. There we are. Just lost all the messages though. Doesn't matter, don't worry. Oh, there you go, 11.24, beautiful, and then I've got uh, three solids, I've got like a beige, a chartreuse and a grey, 5.23, that's your price. You can have a word. 
Oh, June's Facebook is all right, she says. Good, well done. Oh, don't worry, it's too late now, don't worry. Thank you. Right, yo, then I've got, now this is a funny mixture. So I've got a bumbleberry, I've got a thick canvas, and I've got a blue floral. Is that right? Yeah, light blue circle of flowers is that one. Then I've got a bumbleberry. And the duck egg blue striped one is like a canvas. So, unless it was made for a bag. Oh no. <laughs> it could be a Ben early, early one, this one. Twelfth of July last year was this was built. Were you here working here then, Ben? Yeah, it's a Ben this. Um, but I don't know how you managed to get a designer, a canvas, and that one all for nine pound fifty though. But anyway, take advantage. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Then we've got, oh, that's the end of my threes. Pack of four, I can go on to pack of fours now. So I've got a Tilda, got a lovely mushroomy one, got Lewis and Irene one. Tilda! A oh, one's not a Tilda, one's a misty blue. At £12.49. Gorgeous, three Tildas and a Rose and Hubble for £12.49, that can't be right. £12.49. Make sure you go through. Did that last embroidery machine go? Oh, it did. Well done, whoever got that. Oh, eight people. I know they're going to try and pre-order it, but I'm not quite sure. Not pre-order it, but re -plan, But I'm not sure when they're going to be able to do that, you see. Right, now this is nice. This is like a deep magenta. Then I've got a pink, looks like a Tim Holtz fabric. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Brenda Walton, Laurelwood. Never heard of her. Gorgeous, though. Fourteen ninety-eight. that's your price. Oh, these are lovely, look. That looks like somebody, that reminds me of somebody else, though, that one. Liverpool, I, I think I know this one, because I said that was the Anfield. Isn't that the Liverpool, the Liver Bird? Yeah, on the Liver Building. When we did, um, when I filmed Hillary and Jackie, we made the ground floor into Harrods 1960. Anyway, it's lovely. That's a lovely bundle, that one. 14 98 that's your price, that's your price, that's your price. Do you go on the River Mersey, like the Royal Iris and things like that? The Daffodil. On the first date, did you say? Oh, for your third, oh, blimey. There you go. Okay, now I've got mushrooms. Yeah, enchanted wood. The three fabrics exactly the same, but just in different colours. Plus your seed pods. Thirteen ninety-eight. That's your price. Gorgeous, lovely colours, aren't they? Lewis and Irene. Oh, oh, <laughs> don't pull a thread if you don't know what it's attached to. 13.98. Beautiful. We can do this. Now, another Lewis and Irene here, I think. Oh, is it not? Butterfly, pack of four. Oh, now this is Cassandra. We launched this when she... Cassandra was the very first non-family person to design for Lewis and Irene. And then Delphine, I think, is the second one. Because that's all in-house. It's all done by a family, you see. And then Cassandra was the first non-family. 
Twelve ninety eight. That's your price. That's your price. Twelve ninety nine. Beautiful. Oh, Claire's waving. What are you waving at, Claire? Right now, I've got one bundle left of loose fat quarters. Blue. It's called what? I'll wait. Oh, button and bow mini quilt. Yeah, it's an and. There's an anthus and there, look. Button and bow mini quilt. $21.99. Let's go out with a bang on these loose ones. $16.99. Five pounds off. Five pounds off. Is it still raining outside? Well, no, because, like I say, I put my um, tatty shoes on today because it was so rainy when I left. I had my brand new shoes on when I went to the, the, the crematorium on um, Thursday. We parked up, me and I took my friend Cleany. Well, no, I collected Cleany on the way, she's a friend. We parked up and I was so busy chatting. I got out and there's a great big muddy puddle just outside my car. Hello. Yeah, well, I'd parked then, so I thought I'd reverse. Then my friend Amanda, you see, it's all full of Amanda, who's the location manager. She's doing the new Beetlejuice film. It's just all the huge Warner films. She's massive. She's massive. She pulls up in a brand new Tesla behind my little old red car. And I was like, I'm trying to back up. And she's like, hello, darling. Hello. Anyway, $16.99. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you now. $16.99. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well done. Now, that's all the loose ones, as they say. Now I've got ones in little packages. Oh, God, I could do 10 inch. I could do 10 inch. Floral cash, please. <laughs> cash is the go. There we go. Floral cachet, not cash. I was looking like for pounds and pennies. 10 inch squares, 42 of them. Uh, should be forty two ninety nine. Ten pounds off. Ten pounds off. All right, Roy, what do you want? Oh, look, Roy wants your cat. Do you what? What? Ignore you. I will. I'm good, thanks. I'm busy. I'm work working. Look, beautiful florals, lilacs and reds and pinks and blues. Oh, that's not. I don't know if I've seen this one before. These are lovely. Roy, can you let me know when the calico comes back in stock? Oh, never mind. You just carry on. Five left. Look, we're just taking ten pounds off. A lovely, gorgeous colours in there. Lovely spring, not spring, summertime. Imagine a summertime project made of that. Four left. Now he's done his bit of free motion. He's going to make a summer patchwork jacket out of this. And then you'd make the jacket. Okay, moving on. Next, are we still doing 10 inch? Yeah. Petals and pedals, please. Thank you. There's only three of these left, so I'm not going to open this one because one of you will get this one. We did, used to have this one open back in the day, didn't we? Anyway, it's lovely. I'll show you the. I'll show you because you know, there you go. There's all the fabrics. Ten pounds off. Ten pounds off. Beautiful. You can take those. I can't be bothered. No, not selling them. They were things I was going to go upstairs with later on to complain about. But so I've got flowers. I've got uh, writing. I've got baskets. I've got poppies. I've got bicycles, hound's tooth, lovely tartan, beautiful. Yeah, what? Yeah, thirty-nine ninety-nine. Well done. 
Moda, one fine day. Let's just swap. Thank you. Here you go. Now, you saw some of these fabrics. No, it wasn't one fine day. We did it at 8 o'clock this morning. It was a long time ago now. My Sunday stroll, wasn't it? Very much like this. £10 off. £10 off. Here's the fabrics. Oh, that was cat. Beautiful. You've got your blue florals. Blue and white florals. Look, gingham. Then that's like a, a little quilt, isn't it? Then you've got your peppermint greens or the spearminty greens. Then you go on to your apple greens. Oops, look. £10 off, this was £10 off. One fine day. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's I couldn't think of the words. Then you go on to the salmons and the oranges and the pinks. Do you sing in your band? Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Of course, you've warmed up when you do your real singing, haven't you? Is it more rocky what you do? What kind of music is it? Oh, bluesy. Okay. Oh, Christine's Facebook went off for seven minutes. No, it was only off for a couple of seconds, Christine. It wasn't off for seven minutes. I can't blame Ben on that one. Oh. Beautiful. So that was one fine day. Now we're doing beautiful day. It's such a... Oh, no. Perfect day, that is, isn't it? Not beautiful. It's... Oh, thank you, Bruce. It's a beautiful day. Da, 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 da. 37.99 temp oh 34.99 two left are you taking 15 pounds off was that 15 pounds you just took off 47 37 37 no no 13 pounds no baker's dozen that's brilliant beautiful two left oh do you know what i'm really looking forward to a soy vanilla latte or oh, got oat milk actually oat milk latte Beautiful. So do you take the protein shake, then go to the gym? <laughs> so Ben's bought protein shakes, right? Gets home, he sits down, drinks his protein shake and falls asleep. And then, that's it. Must be my phone, Ben, not you. It's gone off again. No, it's definitely not gone off here. How are you messaging on it if it's gone off, Christine? Anyway, what's next? My country. This will be American, this one. It's lovely, isn't it, this one? Kathy Schmidt Studios. Let's go to 32 99 That's £15 off. That's definitely £15 off, that one. I like this because it's red, white and blue. There's a couple of... Uh, look at that. That's a lovely one, isn't it? This would make a lovely coronation quilt because it's nothing, so far there's nothing American on it. It's just red, white and blue. Oh, there you go. Honour, liberty and patriotic. We'll get rid of that one. Beautiful blue. Look, these are all gorgeous. So if you, the thing is, if you cut it up, you could still make a red, white and blue one for the, for the, for the coronation. Nobody would know that they were American words, would they? Not that there's anything wrong with American words. I'm just thinking, you know, there needs to be tradition and everything. Oh, I like that one. I like the tea dyed ones. Oh, it's unusual. Concrete. There's only one left. One left, one left, one left. Well done if you get that. My Country by Kathy Schmitz. One left. It's going to go. It's going to go. Next. Anna Maria. This is pretty. I love this collection. Uh, Forty nine ninety nine should be. Oh, look! Aren't they beautiful? These prints. Look. Ten are off. Da -da -dum, boom boom. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely bright pure colours 
Oh, I like she's done some patterns and then she's made them bigger. What's the matter, cat? Beautiful. Oh, that's nice, that one there. That's very Anna Maria, that one, isn't it? Loads in baskets. Not surprised, just taking ten pounds off. Lovely. Mix and match it with some of your planes. It'd be beautiful. Gorgeous. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Right, there's five, right, five of you are going to now get disappointed. It's sold out when you come to check out. Christine, it must be your phone, my love. It's all right this end. Yeah, they sometimes say delete your Facebook ad app and re reinstall it. Right, what's tomorrow? Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Beautiful. Keep going through for that one. Lots of you are going to be missing out on that one now. How many? Nine left. And how many baskets? Twelve people got it in baskets. Beautiful. The, oh, look at the time. I've got one more. This, is a, this one's a big fat one. Arcadia tiles, this one. Oh, I like this one. This is the one with the butter, um, snowdrops in it, aren't they? Did you? Oh, I used to um, deal with their press office a lot. Arcadia owned all of the, like, British home stores, Wallace, Top Shop, Top Man, Burton's, Dorothy Perkins, to name but a few. It's not the same Arcadia, though. Tenor off, never been, oh, 52 pounds 99 First ever crash on this bundle. Beautiful. 42.99. Should be 52.99. Five left. <clears throat> They're going to go. They're going to go. And we've got to go in a minute. Should I do anything else? I'll shoot the menu first. And then if I've got time to squeeze anything in, I'll do that. Here we go. Tomorrow's menu. It's me. Uh, oh, the new necklight launch with Claire Donnelly. Now, is that the one I saw you playing with earlier? Let's have a look. I'll get Kat to model it for you now. Uh, then we've got Nick's dress and blouse. Nick's dress. I want to do who the designer is. Is it Nick's? Is it new? I don't know. Then we've got Love Tula Pink at, at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got the Dorothy jacket. Oh, there you go. Maybe you want that one. It's by whom? Closet core patterns. And then at 12 o'clock, <laughs> Miss It, Miss Out Quilt Kits. Look. I'm giving you a free preview of tomorrow's show. They look orange on my screen. They're not orange. But they're lovely. Oh, change colour. How'd you do that? Oh, look, 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 look. Now, I'm not supposed to be telling you this, am I, till tomorrow? Claire will be really angry because that, look. I wonder what the orange is for then. Landing. Mm -hmm. I bought some of those. Um, because after driving the dark a lot, I bought some of those uh, yellow night driver glasses, right? And, um, well, I kind of, I wore them to when I drove home from that the Jane Alcox quilt night the other night. And then I was, better, I, I was driving, thinking, oh, these are brilliant, these are brilliant. And I took them off like, no, it's better, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant without them. Anyway, am I going? Yeah, Dell's back tomorrow, Christine, so make sure you fix your phone by tomorrow. Uh, thanks for your company. Make sure you check out of everything you've got in your basket. It's been a very, very busy day. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Do not be late.